Cagalag like and California kid. What's up with you? Make sure y'all hitting the like button. And trash one of y'all. Ooh. She went out with her friend. I don't remember her asking nobody, but shit, she old enough to go outside. That nigga Quaz, get out the bowl. Trash you. Trash you. Trash you. Trash you. I don't care. I'll trash you. Now, how you like them apples? Trash you. How you like them apples? Trash you. She over here cussing me out, y'all. We got a lot more. Wait, wait. Put that in there. Whole lot of gang shit going on. A lot, a lot of uh, this, this more Diddy. Um, who else we got? I'll be sure versus Fifty Cent. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, Young Pharaoh in the, what did you say, Young Pharaoh in the high as hell making crackhead noises. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I said too. Lilith, I don't know, Nick would be, did I see Nick in there? No, that's Lilith. Yeah, uh, what's the face? I said it correctly. 50 Cent versus I'll be motherfucking sure. Well, I'll be said something to 50. Goddamn kids. Touch your shit back up to goddamn do now. Hold on, y'all. I got it. Straighten up a little bit and then fucking turn my camera. Alright, I look like a gamer. Alright, dude. I just like to hear my microphone. Done. I am grilling hot. I mean, it can be. It can be. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, where's my glasses? Braylon! Can you bring daddy glasses? Bring me my glasses off my uh, dresser. Okay. I got I got some iron grilling that, that, that we can do. Oh, uh, Beyonce allegedly was caught at the freak off. Uh, they got a Missing You parody and some skits. Oh, here it is. I'll be sure... I'll do to Diddy regarding his coma. Yeah, he talks about his coma. Thank you. Shut that door, Braylon. Where is it at? Oh, yeah. I'll be sure checks 50 cent over him joking about Diddy putting him in a coma. He cracked your head. So, yeah. Whole lot of shit. Whole lot of gang shit going on. Well, boom, boom used to say whole lot of gang shit. Mm. 
We got some Gene Deal. Uh, Gene Deal exposes Diddy's status as a confidential or informant. Says Fed allowed him to commit crimes. Ooh. Diddy is a coward. He knew his house was getting raided and left his kids. <laughs> Gene talking all types of shit. Lemon. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Bullets Gotti went at Hassan again, killing him. And uh, I, I've been. I, t I told you I found that fucking video of him calling the cops on himself drunk. I want to play that shit. I want to play it. So y'all come on in, hit that like button, so we can get started. You sent another email? No, I haven't. My email got piled up, and I wasn't receiving none of the new ones. It says delivery incomplete. There was a template problem delivering you message to your Gmail. Gmail will retry in 46 hours. When was this sent? Oh, wait, that's not it. Try to send it now. Try to send it now. On this show, it's stack. yeah, it's stacked today, but it can only be stacked if you know time is added. And y'all know the uh, the join. If y'all wasn't here, if y'all wanted extra time, it's five dollars for a half hour, ten dollars for an hour. Then we doing five dollar video request. If y'all got any videos y'all want to watch, hold on, let me go to the bathroom real quick while we wait for these two minutes for people to get in. Quaz, go ahead and mail me that email. email.
I got it, Quas. I got your message. Mr. Switchy, what's up with you? All right, we're going to start it off with... Um, <laughs> That's the M Nasty picture. That's Mr. M Nasty. Oh shit. He had that hairline for a very long time. Ooh, you look just like his dad. He looked like his dad in his 40s. Now. <laughs> this nigga looked like his dad in his 40s. Now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, this nigga got French tips and everything. Hold on. Hold up. This shit funny as shit, y'all. Hold on. I'm about to put it on the screen. Hold on. This nigga, this nigga looked like his dad. His, he, 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 the way his dad looked like in his 40s, he like in his 40s in this picture. But this what Pharaoh look like now. That nigga had that hairline the whole time. Now, now we know where you get the perm idea from. Hold on. Wait. Wait. There's more. And this is his dad. Tell me that don't look like Pharaoh right now. Tell me that don't look like him right now. Like right now. <laughs> right now. Oh shit, I can see he never he never hit a growth spurt. He never hit his growth spurt. That nigga still the same height. This nigga do got French tips. But he always had them Jones. He always had French tips. That nigga been gay. Been gay like been gay. Alright, let's get into this. I'll be sure. Can you shut that door, please? I'll be sure checking 50 cent. I'm working on the life story as we speak. And the way I got to be in a coma, stay tuned. It looks like 50 Cent had some jokes about Al B. Sure being in a coma due to Diddy putting him there. Yesterday, Al B. Sure yep. gave a speech with Ben Crump dragging Diddy and exposing Diddy for putting him in a coma with a Lifetime movie about himself. He also demands his son Quincy to come back to his home so he can protect him from Diddy. 50 Cent says this to Al B. Sure, man, Diddy got your head cracked. Wait, I'm not going to lie. This is so funny to me. Why is no one talking about this fool but me? This is what people had to say in response to 50 Cent comment. This the same man that allowed Diddy to adopt and raise his son. Never let these folks know your next move. Al should have learned his lesson from Kim when she said she was releasing a tell-all book. The only thing she released was her last breath. He should have shocked the world like Cat Williams spilled the tea. I don't think he should have announced this. I just don't want him to mysteriously disappear or the movie suddenly gets canceled. This the same man that allowed Diddy to adopt and raise his son. I'll be sure checks 50 cent in a response. God damn, 50, whose side is you on? <laughs> who, who the fuck side is you on, 50? God damn. You don't know whose side 50 on. Welcome back to the messy sweet spot where the tea is always hot and the stories even hotter. If you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to catch all the latest drama. And don't forget to like and leave your thoughts down below. Because today we're diving into a tale so twisted, it'll have you questioning everything you thought you knew about the glittering facade of the music industry. In our latest episode of Celebrity Feuds and Shocking Revelations, we're unpacking the explosive allegations made by none other than Al B. Shore. 
Yes, the RB legend himself has come out swinging with claims so bold, they'll make your head spin. And who's at the center of this whirlwind? The mogul, the myth, the legend Diddy. I'll be sure, waking up from a coma that seems straight out of a mystery thriller, is not just back on his feet, he's back with a vengeance. At the Equal Justice Now Awards in LA with the esteemed Ben Crump by his side, Al dropped a bombshell. He's working on a documentary that promises to blow the lid off the real story behind his near fatal coma. And guess who's allegedly pulling the strings behind the scenes? Diddy. But wait, there's more. Al's throwing shade, not just about his own brush with death, but is linking Diddy to a string of tragedies that read like a who's who of the music world. From the untimely demise of Kim Porter, mother to Al's and Diddy's shared children to icons like Biggie Smalls and Craig Mack, Al's hints are as subtle as a sledgehammer. Producing the I'll Be Sure Life story. Look, Diddy, it looked like Albie was waiting until all this shit happened. But where did he check Diddy at? I mean, where did he check 50 Cent? Come on with the clickbait. So hold on to your, hold on to your britches, and you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. You're really. Hey, look, you heard everybody in the audience. Ooh, oh shit, they know already. They just wait for him to confirm it. But I be look like he was dead already. God dang. Hold on to your britches, and you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. Everybody, oh shit. I'm mean, yeah, I know Trip C is gonna get that book. I'm gonna say I asked her to submit a copy if she did. Really gonna need to call Homeland Security. Oh! Oh! Ended up in a coma. Oh, You're really gonna need to call Homeland Security. Oh! Oh, that's a huge hint that Diddy did it. He said, you're going to find out how I really got into a coma. And you're really going to need to call Homeland Security. Oh. And all right, we're saying that you're going to be producing. Yes, What's going on? Well, I don't speak about another man's endeavors. I do care about my son. So the post. I just spoke to him actually, just hung up the phone with him. He's actually filming. I'm so proud of him. He's doing so much amazing stuff. Um, so, of course, the metaphor is very simple. My door is always open. It's a safe zone. That's corny, though, because this is a recent picture. This is recent, right? So why you got this old-ass picture of him up when he first got out, out the coma when he don't even look like that no more? That motherfuckers is crazy these days. Go for my child. My grown. Don't like that no more. This is for him fresh out of fucking coma. Of course he gonna look skinny and decrepit and crusty. Nigga was in a coma. Man, no longer a child, but it's the same thing. And, and all the kids. Listen, this entire situation is very unfortunate. There's no good outcome. Uh, there's no. There's no good with any of this. Um, so I just want to make sure we keep the, the young people in prayer, um, keep them uplifted. This is a very difficult time. You don't want to see anyone go through anything. But you know, people have to uh, handle what they have to handle, whatever situations they get themselves into. Of course. I mean, so did your, did your son come home? I mean, how are you? I mean, did he go home? Quincy. Not safe with Diddy. Like, what's, what's going on? Well, I don't speak about another man. So he is wonderful. I'll I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't bit, but what makes me what confuses the fuck out of me is like, why would you let that man adopt your son? Like you knew what type of nigga he was. I don't give a fuck if his mother was there or not. Why did you let him adopt your son? Well, were, were you that scared of that man? Like that's my only question to Al. Like, were you that scared of Diddy? That you will let that man adopt your son? You got me fucked up. Did he had to kill me? Unalive me. Albert is wonderful. Devin is wonderful. I'm a happy grandfather. I'm truly in an amazing place. Um, it's unfortunate that social media got their panties in an uproar for telling my son that I love you. 
I send him a text like that every day. Mm -hmm. Just follow his new platform and you'll understand why. I mean, I want to know, do you think it's fair that all the kids are, you know, getting so much hate on the internet? I mean, we've, I mean, we've seen it a lot. I mean, you know, just because of what Diddy's accused of. Do you think that that's fair? I don't really pay attention to a lot of the social media. Obviously, you know, pop culture is what it is. And I yeah, it seems media trained or, or off. I see what you're talking about, Lilith. Like his mannerisms and the way he talks, it seems like he's like media trained or he's just off. But like I said, we got let's remember the nigga had a stroke and was in a coma. Some people wake up with half their left side, though, and half of their right or left side drooping. And, uh, uh, nah, and can't move the hands and shit. And he lucky he got the fuck about that bed correctly. I just want everybody to keep in mind that these are young people who have futures, and we want to make sure we uplift them the best that we can and keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. And that's in my daily prayer at 5 a.m. every morning, prayer and meditation. Please keep all of the young people safe from hurt, harm, danger, or anything else that's going on. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep is wonderful. Albert is wonderful. Devin is wonderful. I'm going to keep everybody in there. I mean, do you think that... I guess I want to know. I mean, would it be better for you if, you know, your son was more with you rather than, you know, kind of hanging out a little bit? And well, you, you, you know what I think people don't realize is that my son is 32 years old. Mm -hmm. He's a grown man. They're still kind of stuck that he's a teenager. I ain't no Quincy with 32. He's a grown man and he makes his own decisions. Um, and he's actually really good at making decisions. I'm just glad that he wasn't there when all of the hoopla jumped off. Um, I happened to be on an airplane and seeing some of the news. And uh, just the entire situation is unfortunate. I don't speak about another man's business. All I know is that I'm working on the life story as we speak and the way i got to be in, in a coma stay tuned keep everybody in touch. i mean do you think that and in the corner throwing jabs with the finesse of a heavyweight champ is 50 cent ever the provocateur 50's taking this opportunity to roast diddy suggesting al's daring to speak up might just be a fool's errand in true 50 fashion he's all laughs and sarcasm but underneath the chuckles there's a hint of truth to the madness al's response to 50 a cryptic reminder of the time when he too reached out for help against unseen forces only to be labeled as crazy. But who's crazy now when the shadows of the past start forming a picture too coherent to dismiss? As we peel back the layers of this celebrity saga, one has to wonder about the casualties caught in the crossfire. Quincy Brown, Al's son, and Diddy's protege is caught between a rock and a hard place, or should we say between a father and a figure who's been both a mentor and a suspect in the shadows. No, uh, he's been caught between a father and predator. A father and predator. What are you talking about? All right. This story is far from over, and as Al prepares to expose the truths lurking in the dark corners of fame, we're left to ponder the price of silence and the cost of speaking out. What do you think? Let's hear about Beyonce at these free Today calls. we have this video posted by... Oh, yeah, the baby. The baby. Uh, That's what it was. The baby. The diddy got him. Diddy got him, y'all. They they labeling him 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 as a victim. They labeling the baby as a victim. Nigga, you's a killer, a damn killer. What the f baby, the baby, whatever the fuck your name is, Bruh, That's some Hassan Campbell shit right there. How you shoot niggas in Walmart, but letting Diddy play with your booty in Miami? Titled "Industry Secrets." I am not gonna lie. The title of the channel in itself has my attention, but apparently we have the baby coming out and exposing some of the truth behind Diddy's freak offs and uh, some other topics that we're going to be getting into. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe. A lot of these artists are coming out and exposing things, and I love to see it, yeah. I love to see it, but let's get it, y'all. Yeah? This was the beginning of uh, 2020. You know what I mean? Uh, uh... Diddy had he had put everybody else out the crib, like the the influx of people he had put him out. 
but he had he had a uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, really you know what I mean, like putting his arm around me. Right. He kicked everybody else out the crib and made you and certain other people stay. That wasn't a clear sign that you should get the fuck out of there with the people that he kicked out. Not only did he kick people out, he put his arm. Look. Look. It would have been Diddy Campbell soup up in that motherfucker. <laughs> I already shot that nigga so many times. That nigga, sh nigga the whole body would have caught fire. The fuck you talking about? It would have been Diddy Campbell, the Diddler Campbell soup up in that motherfucker. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm -hmm. Me and, you know, maybe about, maybe about. Fifteen others, you know, right. Jay Z and Beyonce being, you know, two of the other 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 fifteen people in the room. So that that just put it into perspective of the type of company I was in. I heard that there's supposed to be some tapes or something that's coming out real soon, and I guess we'll all really know the truth if anything's on those tapes. You guys aren't going to believe this one. In a recent interview, the baby dropped some bombshells about his experiences as a Diddy freak off survivor, and you won't believe the <laughs> twists and turns he's sharing. We've all heard the nah, shady. They called him a victim, basically a Diddy freak off survivor. Oh man! Stuff that's been going on. By man called him a victim. <laughs> behind the scenes at Diddy's infamous parties. You know, the ones where Diddy likes to invite all of his best buddies and have fun with each other. And recent news has it that DaBaby not only was present at these gatherings, but he's actually pulling back the curtains on this dark, dark era of his life. Get your popcorn, folks, because this is going to be a wild one. All right, so let me start with this wild night at Puff's crib. That happened back in 2020. When DaBaby talked about it in an interview, he had us hooked on this story. And you could tell by the way he was telling it. He was nervous, real nervous. Now, does that mean he's seen things that people... You said, what, Brim, you're doing the same thing today and we liking it. <laughs> Mr. Jones, appreciate it. People like Diddy wouldn't want the world to know? Maybe. Let's get into what happened that night. It was this star-studded party at Diddy's mansion with Beyonce and Jay-Z chilling in the same room. The kind of thing you would expect music moguls like Puff and Queen B to throw, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what you're saying is when 9 o'clock hit and Diddy kicking everybody out, Beyonce and Jay got their own rooms? I expect Jay-Z to be in them free calls. But Beyonce too? Hey, you can't put nothing past nobody now now these days. Let me find out Beyonce and you're in the motherfucking free calls. Manzi, what's up with you, good brother? Let me find out. It was the kind of party you'd expect to see in Hollywood. A bunch of celebs, beautiful women, the whole nine yards. But as the night went on, the crowd started thinning out and things took a bit of a turn. But what went down that had the poor guy so shaken and terrified? Well, the baby started talking about how during the night of the party, initially it was all cool. But then at one point in the night, Puff started getting real cozy, like invading his personal space. And it wasn't just inappropriate things that Diddy said. Things went a little too far. During the night, the baby talked about how, at one point, Diddy even had his arm around him. And you could sense the discomfort in his voice as he spilled these details. Diddy had, he had put everybody else out the crib, like the, the influx of people he had put him out. But he had, he had, uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really. I don't, I don't, I don't, baby, baby. You ain't got no excuse, bro. Everybody know about them Diddy parties for years. The baby started out his career in a diaper. Yeah, true. Enough said. Everybody knew about them parties for years, nigga. When you saw him kicking people out and only letting certain people stay, that's when you should have beat feet, nigga. Look, even Luke say he left the Diddy parties early. Exactly. That was my next point the too. Father of freak nasty. That's what I said. Even Luke got the fuck up out of there. Come on. Luke bro. say, Luke say, cat right. Did he like the party? And you got to tell him no. Right. You should have been feet Look, instead. You stood there and beat anybody feet. seen one of Luke's videos from back in the day? Everybody remember them VHS tapes? Mm -hmm. He had women with 
pythons crawling out their tooch, popping um, eight balls out, sitting up there swallowing 40 bottles with their cooch. Now, if this man got a problem with Diddy, we should all have a problem with Diddy because everybody right. had a problem with Luke Skywalker back in the day. Hey, man. Right. Z- right. It should have definitely, bro. Everybody knew about the parties, bro. Hey, no excuse for this. If Luke know about the parties and know to leave early, everybody know. You know what I mean? Like, like, putting his arm around. Right. right. Imagine being at a party with big names like Beyonce and Jay Z, and things start getting a bit too close for comfort. Now, if I were an up and coming artist, it would be hard for me to make sense of the situation, and that was exactly what he was going through as well. Hard for you to make sense of the situation? What the fuck would be so hard? If I get the fuck about you, Let me translate for you, bro. Get out for him. Leave uh, him alone. He ain't had nothing to do with this. Right. The fuck is wrong with you, niggas? He, 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 he probably yeah, had trouble. I ain't maybe. seen that's so many. I've never seen so many people that's been so transphobic or so homophobic, and now all of a sudden, everybody like, oh, if he gay, what's the problem? The problem was never Diddy being gay. If he'd have jumped his ass out the closet in the 90s and twirled around in a circle, would none of us been surprised. But he no want to sit up here and force, not coerce, basically force, because when you don't have an option that's relatively legal or good for you and the other options are fucked, that's basically what it is. They was forced into right. these LGBTQ relationships that they might not have been in if they wasn't because they didn't like the party. And apparently it's hard to tell him no. Right. For some people. Because they like fame. That's the difference. There's one thing about being gay and a whole different when you force him. Cause look, you wasn't here last night for the book reading. We was no. reading Dancing with the Devil. Diddy told Mark Curry that Andre Harrell treated him like a whore. No context. He did. He, okay. That's what Diddy he did. told. That's what Diddy told Mark Curry that Andre used to treat him like a whore. Yeah, he started treating other people like that, and it trickled down that usher. Well, no, 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 no. The, the whore, W H O R E, the long form of whore. Yeah, I know. He said Andre Harrell was treating him like a little hoe. So I don't. You can't. Especially with all the allegations coming about Diddy's behavior towards another grown man treating him like a hoe. You know, when they wasn't of the rainy go. Yeah, I don't even want to think about what the fuck they did. (laughs) Young artists that he shows a liking for. We all know what happened to Cassie and her relationship with Diddy, given the lawsuit she filed about the horrible things she had to go through. That's the crazy. baby said it was like the vibe went from party mode to, wait, what's happening here? With just a handful of people left in the room. He then revealed that the party initially had a lot of people, but as the night started going into late hours, rumor has it that Puffy had the room cleared out with only a few hand-picked people, some of which included big names like Jay-Z and Beyonce. What happened next? behind the closed doors of Diddy's mansion has yet to be revealed. But judging from Dababi's shaky voice, it couldn't have been good. Fans also felt bad for him with one person writing, damn, and Dababi just admitted Diddy got him at one of his parties. Yeah, that's basically what he did. He started out his career in a diaper. Yeah, that's basically what he did. He knew Diddy basically he telling everybody he knew whatever it take to make it. Right. Another added, Dan is really a Diddy victim, yeah. I want y'all to hear, I want y'all to hear the way that people are phrasing it. He's a Diddy victim, bro. Like I don't know how else to say it. The man is a victim. At Da Baby, right where he wanted him. Now here's the thing: this whole Puffy getting a bit too cozy with the baby doesn't exactly come as a shocker to some of us who've been following the music scene closely. He's got a bit of a history when it comes to getting up close and personal with up and coming Diddy got everybody that thought everybody that we thought was gangster Diddy got oh and here go another one remember the smash hit from the 90s all about the Benjamins baby yeah well apparently Diddy was signing new artists 
taking their songs and remixing them for him. Cause that yeah, was rock shit. Yeah. yeah, but that ain't the only one. He was doing that shit to everybody. He put their record on the shelf and then took the songs from their record, redid them as he is and put them on his record. So his first record is full of other people's shit from their debut albums. He didn't just do it to one, he did it to all. That was his, that was his thing. He had that record label so that he could be an artist. And yeah. he had all those artists in there so that he could take their talent. Yeah, you didn't know that? That's what uh, Mark Curry Yeah, said. but it's, look, it's getting more and more clear by the day. But the reason they let his ass keep on like that is because Clive was trying to save his job, not because they was booty buddies. Yeah. That's what, that's what, uh, what's the name put in? That's why, uh, I forgot who put it in the uh, chat. It was like, no matter if I write rhymes, I write checks. That's what we were talking mm. about. In the chat. Biddy, 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 uh, basically was doing all that to everybody. To everybody. Like, if you take Mark Curry, he, he took Come With Me, but then get the writing credits. He still took half the fucking publisher. Yeah, and in some kind of way, he finangled it so he was getting the majority of the money. Yeah, that's fine. Then it say he was hooked on weed, Xanax, and ecstasy back in the 90s. I would, wouldn't be surprised. That's what the bull said. He had a whole ashtray full of that shit. Mm, but see, artists in the industry. He just ramped up over the years. Over the years, Diddy has played the role of being a mentor to many artists that are now extremely successful. People like Justin Bieber and Usher come to mind. Now, what exactly happened behind the scenes during these mentorships? No one knows, but fans are speculating the worst. I mean, you remember what Usher had to say about the infamous Puffy Flavor Camp, right? That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending you New over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and hoard like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. Uh, what were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. <laughs> Right. And, and I saw it. Not long after, in the same. Now, notice when he said it was filled with chicks and stuff, huh? He said, no, not really. Replace that chicks with men. And he wouldn't have said, no, not really. Yep. Same interview, Howard Stearns even asked Usher if he would mm -hmm. ever send his son to Puffy Flavor Camp. And it doesn't seem to be a big surprise that this was his reaction. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell know? no. Over the oh, years, man. Diddy seems to have followed a pattern when it comes to the young artists he mentors, maybe even getting a bit too close with them. And DaBaby might just be the latest on the list. So when DaBaby came clean about feeling uncomfortable... Bro, that's really grooming, bro. Like, P. Diddy is really grooming a lot of these artists. I hope you understand that. At that party, some of us were nodding our heads like, yeah, we've seen this before. Sean Combs got a track record, and it seems like the baby's got a story that fits right into that narrative. The question now is, what's the deal with Puff's personal space boundaries? Is it just his way of bonding, or is there more to this story? And this isn't the first time someone has come forward about Diddy exploiting and invading their personal space. There's also Young Miami, who went through something similar. Young Miami? God damn to the baby yeah, yeah. ever since these accusations started flying at diddy it's been a whole drama fest involving everyone in his crew including young miami for those of you who don't know young used to be one of puff's partners now apparently there is talk that miami is catching some serious cancellation vibes right alongside diddy but honestly it's not that she should have been canceled before diddy she that's surprising the considering the yeah Puff's big shot Allegedly. status in the industry, and Miami's reputation is kind of linked to him. Some even think that if she's caught in some shady stuff, chances are that the root of it goes right back to Puffy. With P. Daddy taking a hit, it looks like young Miami is feeling the burn just as intensely, maybe even more. But here's the real kicker. We got a glimpse of Combs' reaction to young Miami, and she apparently did something that's gonna stick with him forever. There's even some leaked footage. Let me spill all the details. Mm -hmm. But first, let me introduce you to Gina Huynh, a model who used to date Puff and allegedly also faced much worse than what DaBaby went through. Yeah. You probably heard about Cassie filing a lawsuit against Diddy, but did you know she wasn't the only ex facing the repercussions of dating Diddy? He's got another ex, Gina Huynh, 
who is claiming some wild things that she went through during her relationship with Puffy. In a recent interview, Resurfacing, from 2019, she talked about allegedly facing violence during their five-year relationship. Gina, who reportedly dated the music mogul while he was in an on-and-off period with Cassie, claimed he went all out in one disturbing encounter. According to her, he allegedly severely injured her in an encounter that left her with damages to the head, Damn. stomach, and chest. Another Man, he's beating women over the head. I'm again, Did is sick, motherfucker, man. Oh, 50. Other time eight. was when he caught her. 50 responded to Stevie J saying, run him his fade. 50 say, but he never said it wasn't true. LOL. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And, and nobody gonna uh, notice the part that he never answered to the feed because he said that. Texting another man in Miami, and that's when it got really crazy. Wait, Let me set the time in an encounter that left her with damages to the head, Damn. stomach, and chest. Another time was when he caught her texting another man in Miami, and oh. that's when it got really crazy. Let me set the scene. They were upstairs in walk-in closet, and he pushed her to the ground. Then she claims that he stood over her, punching the side of her head. She said she was just covering her Whoa, face as hold he did. On a second, let's take a breather. Damn, damn, Diddy. A little flashbacks again, motherfucker. You just, ah oh man, you just beating up women, shooting women in the face. We don't hear you beating up no dudes. You just all win. <clears throat> oh, girl, say she willing to get that shrapnel taken out of her face and she don't care if she die to prove that Puffy the one that shot her. Yep. Because they still got them gun shatter now, buddy. What? They still got those gun fragments from the club Love shooting. Oh, yeah. YouTube is going to get a little... Uh... Uh, viewer discretion is, is advised as we continue yeah, to stay in time. Gina spilled more, claiming that he compared her to Cassie, calling her the bad one and Cassie the good one. She even said that everyone in Combs Circle allowed the alleged altercations to happen multiple times. In a surprising oh. turn of events, Gina spilled the beans that... When I'm pretty sure he had a whole bunch of enablers around him, the yes men around him. You gotta have that type of people around you doing the shit. That well, you look, in the 90s, him and Wolf and this guy named Ox went in the, what was it, Interscope Records, Uptown Records, and beat the shit out of Steve Stout. Did he beat him with the telephone? And for those of y'all that are too young to realize, in the 90s, we still had them big-ass clunky house phones. So this wasn't no cell phone. He you beat Steve Stout. On one end, they still have a whole... <laughs> Right. So he's sitting up here beating Steve Stout with a telephone, and they kill him. And the other two dudes sitting up here kicking him and shit. And they settled that out of court. Go ahead. The um the club trampling. Nine people died. The pregnant girlfriend of a hip hop star passed. Um, he jumped on Kirk Burroughs. Made him sign over his 25% of bad boy. This man been doing this shit for years and nobody ever pulled his coattails. So he just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah, that's what happened when you got a bunch of people who won't call you out. Yes, man. Mm hmm. And then here goes the thing when about she became celebrities. Pregnant. Some of them will remove anybody that isn't a yes man. And that seems to be the way that Diddy roll. That's why mm. people are me kick certain people and handpick the certain people. <coughs> and that's why and people like Gene Deal, up. that's why people like Gene Deal were around for a camouflage, but he only had Gene there on certain days. He knew not to do that shit that he was doing around Gene. So he'd hold his. See, that's the thing. It's like, um, you know, that scene on Friday when old boy, like, Oh, he, I'll be quiet right now, but when he leave, I'll talk again. That's Diddy. Except for the thing is, after he get his ass beat, he turn around and beat somebody else's ass because he want to feel powerful. Right. With Diddy's child. Whoa. He offered me 50000 to get rid of it, but I turned it down because um, I just... 
I just loved him, and I just. Uh. She knew that she could get more than fifty thousand, and she would have kept that motherfucker. Nigga, she not. I loved him. Get the fuck out of here. More than $50,000 if you had that kid. Shut the fuck up. She knew that if I would have kept this big, I'm getting more than 50k. She's probably still making money off of Diddy right now. I want to find this interview. This is the interview that we have to watch, y'all. And I wanted, I wanted to, I was like trying to prove that I wasn't the girl that was wanted him for money. Okay. I just. That's bomb chest. What's up? just care about him and um i just wanted him to be nice to me that's it gina disclosed having a second abortion from their relationship and this bombshell interview is causing quite a stir especially after cassie accused sean combs of r and sa in a recent lawsuit as of now he hasn't publicly addressed gina's claims and it seems like he probably won't what the fuck was he thinking or maybe Lilith, this is the shit storm that is hitting the world. The beginning of it, at least. This ain't them hiding shit. This ain't them trying to get away. These motherfuckers is going down. What the fuck was he thinking in this damn haircut? Who told him that shit? That was back in the 90s, man. That oh, shit was this in. This was a year or two ago, sir. He was always, always like a, a jump behind the fads, but everybody let him get away with it for some reason. I never liked this little spinning ass. This haircut, the shadow, what's up? This haircut right here was like shadow. a Who fuck convinced him that this shit was, 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 was it? Yeah, man, that's it right there. His head ain't even shaped right for a gun. Yeah, bed. that's what I'm saying. Who told him this, this was the right move? There's not much he can say in his defense, oh, so he'll likely let his lawyers handle the situation. She even said once. He was like mentally, emotionally, and physically a me. He yeah, would I'm always like, compare me like, to Cassie like, and tell me that I'm the bad one yeah. and she's the good one. Everyone else just kind of just allowed it to happen and just like look the other way. Now you remember how I said there was a connection between Young and Gina? Well, things took a shady turn for Young Miami when rumors started circulating that she and Diddy were collaborating to cause trouble for Gina. Miami spilled the tea, revealing that he went from being cool for the first three and a half years to turning into a downright mean guy. So while allegedly Miami was in it with him, she then realized that he had completely brainwashed her. Some even suggest that he included her and convinced her to be a part of all these dirty things so that if he ever got caught, she would be just as effed as him. Now reports suggest Miami had enough of it. She has had enough of Puff controlling her narrative. Oh if, if he ever got caught, he immunity by saying, um, you forced me and she has some type of proof of you forcing her. There, there's nothing that can get her in trouble. Oh, great. But, um, oh, all right. That's cool, Mike. Appreciate you. No, I didn't drink all the waters. There's something here. Oh, speaking yeah, of audio, her down. that alleged Meek Mill and Diddy audio, they saying that came from some movie. I don't that's know which I'm one, but probably get them to the Greek. But I don't know because it came out the day after um, that lawsuit dropped. with him and then it's apparently a to put an end to all of it she saying that he's a bodyguard that's claiming that he's the one that took the audio mm. said that he was outside the office and he heard it so he started recording how that work i don't know but that's what he yeah. said yeah that's that that's another thing that had me you know kind of iffy about the story the way he said <coughs> why are you recording two men having sex anyway yeah, because see, I was thinking that it came from the, the lawsuit because, you know, they have to, <coughs> the burden of proof, the burden of proof is with the person filing the lawsuit, right? So when they file it, they have to show proofs of evidence. That's what those screenshots are. But for all we know, they sent audio clips in and video clips into the court as well. Because dude keeping this stuff under lock and key and probably hiding right 21 people of 21 likes and 50 almost 60 people in the building come on family hit that like button refresh your page the likes ain't been going up when you least stay on the page too long uh, let me check yes i just made it a habit to refresh for i say anything. likes come on hit them like hit them like buttons 
Yeah, he is now teaming up with 50 Cent for a documentary exposing his alleged actions. Whoa. 50 Cent's production company confirmed they are working on a doc about the allegations against Comb, adding another layer to this unfolding saga. After this drama, on a carpet looking like Pepto Bismol. Hold on, pause it. Stomach bubbling, just thinking about looking at this nigga. Wait. Is that 50 or did it? That's Diddy. Mm-mm-mm. Look like Pepto Bismol. Nah, it look like somebody, somebody tinkered with that photo. No, that's that's I remember that uh uh carpet walk. That's Saying that. it's a bad airbrush job. They airbrush all photos before they put them out. Mm -hmm. Mm, quick lesson if it looks um what's the word i'm looking for here if the skin looks too perfect like plastic like on the photo that's an indication of photoshopping this wasn't a, this was film mm. allegations against comb oh, no adding wonder another layer to this yeah that's film yeah that's why i say no i thought it was a photo the diddler strikes again it's hey, unfolding everyone. saga after this drama people what? all over the world have had enough of diddy this man is a monster why isn't he locked up what kind of world are we living in to allow this blatant to go on for years but that isn't the end of it diddy's facing some serious heat not just from the four women suing him for sa but there's this whole other drama. Back in 2018, a former male escort named Jonathan AI spilled the beans in a police video, claiming he was a captive for Puff and his ex, Cass. Pause. Dude's name is Jonathan Odie, O-D-D-I. This is, this is a bad AI voice translation. Yeah, yeah terrible. You called him the Bobby, Young Miami. <laughs> Jonathan Addy. Yeah. See Ventura. Wild. Jonathan AI. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. AI dropped some bombshell allegations during the interrogation, saying he had a thing with Comb and Cassie like 15 times. And supposedly there are tapes of these encounters. Oh, yeah. Even Diddy's ex-bodyguard, nah, Gene Deal. I have to watch. Where do I find these videos? Those are the videos we got to watch. Yeah? I'm not going to lie. Commented on the situation. I heard that there's supposed to be some tapes or something that's coming out real soon. And I guess we'll all really know the truth if anything's on those tapes. But nobody really knows what happened to Jonathan AI. Some say he yeah. might have passed away, but there's no solid info. The reason that people think he passed away is because when you go search him on the Miami Dade website, it brings up an officer shooting report. But nah, that ain't him. You got to go and search the inmate, him by first and last name. He'll pop right up and it tells you his charges and it tells you that he is still currently incarcerated. He in jail, jail, down in Miami, sweating, probably got mold on his head because the AC broke down that motherfucker. And people get fungal infections down there because it's swampy. But that's another story. Shout Fast forward out to now with Cassie oh, and damn. others accusing Diddy of assault. Of and it looks like Jonathan's claims are getting a second look. This whole thing isn't just recent gossip, though. Jonathan talked about it back in 2018, long before Combs' current troubles. He talked about getting involved in some shady stuff with Diddy's crew, even blaming Puffy for messing up his escorting gig. In the interrogation video, Jonathan revealed how messed up his life got after being involved with Diddy and Cassie. He ended up breaking into a hotel, had a showdown with the cops, and got shot in the leg. After that, oh. he spilled everything. The drugs, the intimate acts, and even STDs. When he tried oh. to bail, Puff apparently forced him into a settlement, probably to keep things hush-hush. But that didn't stop Diddy's lawyers what? from coming after him, making Jonathan feel like he was being hunted. And it's not So Jonathan said that Puffy gave him the gift that keeps on giving. It starts with an H. For those of y'all that know, you know. For those of y'all that don't, tap us inside you and ask, huh? He gave him the package. I don't know if he directly gave him the package, but the freak off sex capades got him the package. So he sued and he got an undisclosed amount from the diddler. 
Now, he took that money and was doing all kind of stuff. And then when the money was running low, that's when he went and shot up the Trump Hotel. Not just about yeah, the intimate stuff. Jonathan movie. also claimed P. Diddy and Rick Ross are gay. He even brought up the Illuminati and some seriously dark rituals. Now, people are torn. Some doubt Jonathan's story because of his mental health struggles, but others think he might be onto something. Back in 2018, authorities didn't take Jonathan too seriously, but with all the recent accusations against Diddy, folks are starting to wonder. There are even rumors that Jonathan might not be around. Take the fact that this was 2018 and Jonathan Odie said that DJ Khaled was a Hamas supporter. H A M A S. He hasn't spoke out against any of it at all. Not even his. They guy. weren't a thing like that back in 2018. Right. So how the fuck? It was all about. That? It was all about the other terrorist groups over there. Y'all know which ones I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Then he said some other stuff, and then what he said in that interview matches what mark curry said in the book matches what cassie said in the lawsuit matches what's coming out now right from all these other sources people are going the internet is a wonderful thing <clears throat> people are going back and pulling up blind items from back in the early 2000s that's why i understand about these niggas like you do all this stupid shit knowing that the goddamn internet is undefeated well, yeah. in the early 2000s, we did not know the internet was going to turn into the social justice warrior that it is now. <clears throat> I'm talking about today. Yeah, I'm saying, but this was, I'm saying they, they recorded this stuff then. So it's like the forums, people were dropping blind items. People were trying to tell the truth. That's why I don't understand people like, why didn't they speak out? They did. You just didn't hear them. Um, all this stuff is matching what is coming out now. Like, it'll give you, if you read it all at the same time, like right now we reading Bling, we reading Dancing with the Devil, and we reading the court documents, right? Mm -hmm. So you read a little bit of one, then you read a little bit of other, then you go back to the other one. So last night we was reading Dancing with the Devil, the day before we was reading Bling, right? Right. Okay, so... When we were reading Bling, we were confused about which person was which because it's a fictional novel and they're supposed to, you know, she's supposed to be talking about real people, but she names the real people in the book. So last night when I was reading Dancing with the Devil, <clears throat> it all comes together. When you know the full story, you can pick out the pieces that she's telling you. So now we're going to have to go back again and reread it all together. But I almost got it. All right. All right, y'all. Uh, one more hour left. If anybody's had no more time, go ahead and do it. All the uh, information is at the top of the chat. I'm at the top of the chat and under the video. Round anymore, fueling suspicions that maybe Combs silenced him. And then all of us know what went down with poor Cassie. Cassie took legal action against Diddy in New York federal court on Thursday, November 16th alleging that the music executive essayed and aired her multiple times. Shockingly, she claimed an incident where she was coerced into having intimate relations with male oh, sex workers. Crazy, man. So I want to backtrack, right? I want to backtrack to a comment you made earlier about Diddy and how, you know, over the years, he's been having all these run-ins with the police. Do you think the feds took notice of that? And they, you know, at this point, they like, yo, we're going to crack down on Diddy? What happens is, is that the police will bring in a CI and will use him like she was a $3 hoe. That's a confidential informant. They'll let you do crimes as long as you don't do no murders and stuff like that. They'll let you go around and pay you. When I was in law enforcement, dog, they paid confidential informants $250 for revolvers, $500 for 
automatic weapons, $750 to $1,500 for uh, semi-automatic guns or rifles and machine guns and shit like that. Some confidential informants got payment like that. And plus they get 8% of a case. 8% of a case. So if they bring in about, just say, Oh, he's, about the, uh... he's saying the confidential informants were getting, but what getting paid for the drug? I'm not drug gun turn in program up in NY. Yeah, but he talking about what they was paying the informants if for it though before they started that. Oh, they before even, they started. Right. Yeah, he was describing Diddy as being a confidential informant. Crimes for automatic weapons, rifles and machine guns and shit like that. Some confidential informants got payment like that. And plus they get 8% of a case. 8% of a case. So if they bring in a bomb, just say, they bring in a case, $100,000. That's 8,000, what's that? Let's do it, what's that? $8,000. Damn. That's eight thousand. They bring in a million dollar case. A million dollar case. That person is getting eighty thousand dollars. I mean like eighty thousand dollars on it. I think I think if you're talking about eight percent. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm saying that to say this. Confidential forms get paid good. But Puff was a millionaire. Him being a confidential informant, him getting money like that, it was favors. Uh, he been getting favors and been paying law enforcement people for years. Oh, shit. Pause it for a second. Ruash, it was December 28th, 1991. To protect him? You understand? To protect him? We had a lot of people on the payroll when we was doing security. Everybody had, somebody might have this, this first 10 hours, that 10 hours or whatever. He was paying law enforcement. He had a budget for law enforcement. Now, if something goes wrong, those people got friends in certain places. Then plus he tells his handler, yo, can you make this go away for me? I'll give you this and that. Now, that could be a lot of speculation. I mean, shit. That, I mean, that's obviously how he was getting away with this shit all the time. But Michael, Gene been on YouTube for about six or seven years now saying the same stuff. Same shit. Or whatever like Something that. Something did happen in 94, 95. But why would you have or be working for a FBI agent if you're not an informant. Why? So when you got that kind of money, you could hire people to make a lot of things go away for you. Like you hire lawyers. Those lawyers have police officers and people working for them and investigators. Those investigators were former officers. So all of them in the backyard and Diddy bed together. Oh, shit. So what you think happened if he Diddy was an informant? Like kid. what made him turn on him? Like I said, some people could retire. His name is too much in the news. Like, listen here, bro. They don't want you to be always <coughs> in the news in a negative form. 57 people in the building, 28 lights. Come on, family, hit them like buttons. There's people that's probably worse than Diddy, but they not always in the news in the negative form. And then, like I said before, when he went against one of the world's biggest distributors of alcohol and spirits, they put out a campaign against him. They called their friends 
they made him look real bad in the media. And a lot of that shit didn't go away, bro. It just compelled, compiled, compiled, compiled. And now with Cassie with her stuff, that Jonathan Odie, Lil mm -hmm. Rob, and the four other people that filed cases. Right. Damn. I think you got like three to four other cases Maybe. that's filed against him that they trying to work out instead of going into court. That's a lot of cases, Diddy. That's a whole lot. Did you hear about the latest news with Homeland Security about how they removed a whole lot of electronics from Diddy House? You heard about that? <laughs> Bruh, they rich. They're going to have a lot of electronics. They're going to have a lot of laptops. They're going to have a lot of computer stuff around there. A lot of times people got to be smart. You cannot hide anything on no laptop. So yeah. if they was that dumb to put any videos or anything on any of those type of electronics, you understand? It's going to come to the forefront. <laughs> Now, I believe he was that fucking dumb. What they're looking for, because it was going on the premises of sex trafficking. They're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be underage in a sexual. Uh, Those pictures that uh. Little Rob put up in the lawsuit. You can literally tell those girls are underage. And the fucking lights are red. And it's dark. Mm -hmm. You girls are underage. Look, if he had what they Contact. say he has, because they say he had an IT guy, right? He got mm -hmm. three, four different residences. So all those residences are probably wired into each other. And they got a security room. Where all of the banks of the banks of TVs, but it ain't like that no more. You can put like twenty of them joints on one screen, True. and it's all just recording and going to the server room. If they was carrying stuff out in boxes, it was probably servers and shit. Text, like they in a sexual act. That's what they're looking for. So now. They're going to go through all those devices. If somebody got any kind of weird fetishes that they got little kids or little girls or something like that in any kind of pictures or any kind of photos that they took out of there, then unless that individual is in the picture, who do you charge? Right. That is a good, that was a good statement. Because the houses wasn't in his name. They was in companies' names that they could say all people had all kinds of access to them. Unless somebody testify that that's Diddy's room, nobody goes in that room but him. You understand what I'm saying? That's when they get the help to come in, the maid to come in. You understand? Or, or the people who work there, yo, where's Mr. Cone's room? Oh, that's Mr. Cone's room. You, got me you understand what I'm saying? He That's Mr. Cone's room. Place. He only want anybody allowed in that room. Yeah, not unless Mr. Cone's is there. They get those people to testify. But when they got a, a big ass mansion like that, that belongs to studios or uh, bad. That's probably why he did that shit, though. Most likely, that's probably why he did that shit and put all them shits in his, his, his daughter's names, his mother's names. Because he was, for one, he was stealing people's shit. And if they wanted to take his assets, if he ever lost the case, can't do that. And basically what he just said, who do you charge? Not his house. That boy films and his daughter and stuff like that. They charge the person who the house is in their name. Sean Would he be the type of person to let his daughters know take those type of crimes? 
Mm. We'll see. Wow. Yeah, that would be messed up if he let his kids take the charges. But they also reported wow. that take type of person mm. and his daughter and stuff like that. They charged the person who the house is in their name. Would he be the type of person to let his daughters know take those type of crimes? Yes. We'll see. Yeah, that would be messed up if he let his kids take the charges. But they also reported that, you know, homeless. That's not the case. Uh, I am case. He only had gene deals on there on certain times. Tripsy just said that because he was one of those people that would have spoke out against him. So he only had gene around during certain times. They all had a schedule. They had like three main security guards and it was the other two that was with him. One of them was with the shit. Right. Obviously the one that was recording him, uh, recording him and uh, Meek allegedly getting it on. What, what grown man is sitting in by the door recording two other grown men doing shit? Nobody looked at that part. They was too busy. I'm not saying I'm not covering for me because if it is him, nigga. All I know is that shit sound like Meek. Yeah. I ain't listening to it though. You done heard it. If you watch that Diddy skit that you threw in the um in the chat, it's in there. I ain't I probably didn't listen to the whole thing. Gene knew about the drugs. It's just, yeah, but Gene been going around for like six, seven years talking about it though. Nobody believed him until now. People spoke out the whole time. If you go look, I'm in the blind item of all blind items right now. And I'm screenshotting, so give me a minute. Land security, when they raided Diddy, they was looking for the footage that Diddy was using to blackmail celebrities. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, you got to look at this. Um, they looking for anything. It's not just Lil Rob lawsuit, uh, the blackmail stuff. Like, they can't do that. They said that it was for, they went in there on the premises that it was for sex trafficking and uh, uh, underage minors in there. So now, if everything is being taped, and he's taping people doing this and they find it in their house. They got to bring the tapes back to him. Mm. They got to make sure that he's the one walking around with the video camera. If he's, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? They got, they got to prove that. And then they got to have people to come in and say that he did that. They saw him with the video camera, like little Rob said, he used to tape them on the phone and all that stuff like that. Maybe he had burnouts or something like that. We don't know. But when they do that raid, they ain't just looking for pictures. Mm. Whatever they find. Whatever they find. They find drugs. It goes to the DEA case. If they went down in the wine cellar and they found uh, cases of Sir Cock with um he called his drink Sir Cock. Cocaine in it, coca oh. in it. They're gonna get that to the DEA. They find a lot of guns and stuff like that. That's ATF. Oh wow. A lot of different agencies can get involved just on going on there on the sex trafficking case. It's whatever they find in there, bro. They're not just going to limit themselves to that one thing once they got the search warrant to go in. Yeah, that's sh crazy, man. How you feel about the people that feel the type of way that, you know, Diddy, he wasn't there when his kids got arrested? I think 50, he even, you know, made a comment about it saying that, you know, Diddy, he got his kids in the bullshit now. I believe he was a coward. There's no way he should have let that happen to his kids. Right. I believe he knew what was going down. Yeah. And he probably thought that's that that's the biggest pause the it the, for a second. Biggest uh moments of cowardly acts I've ever seen. That a motherfucker would just 
up and leave his kids knowing that the fed is coming and let them be humiliated in front of the whole world while you try to hurry up and jump on the motherfucking plane and get them all out of here that's crazy listen to this one and this is from like 2001 2002 cassidy also known as cassie has been known to sleep in the studio for days on end without eating or bathing in order to finish recording on time. That's crazy. That's good. So that means he was forcing her to stay in there. Basically, ain't Cassidy Cassie? Cassidy. Cassidy is a rapper. Okay, so him. Ew. Cassidy ain't never messed with Diddy. Okay, yeah, this is a blind I item on everybody. This is a blind item on everybody. Model actor Vita Guerra stepped on Big Pun's injured toe during a video shoot and got her ass cussed out and removed from the set. Like I said, this is old, old. <laughs> Faith admitted in a roundabout manner she was sniffing coke when she was pulled over by police in Georgia. All right, y'all. You about to get into Tupac something next? didn't have a sexual relationship with Faith, Faith Evans. He only said it out of spite. Probably did. Jada, what's up? It's got all kind of, hold on, let me go back to this because I'm still screenshotting. I thought Cass, Cassidy the little short rapper. From Philly. I'm a hustler. I'm a, I'm a hustler. Mm -hmm. I'm R. Kelly, girl, you want to come to my hotel? We still want to yeah. know what Y'all was doing at that hotel, Cass. I always forget about him. I don't you know why. Know what the fuck y'all? Nah, but he was he he was outspoken about R. Kelly even before the trial started. Listen to this: Baby Birdman never put out Mickey album after two years on the label, so he left and recorded a diss to Baby. Say mm. the diss See, was reportedly again. played on New Orleans radio, repeatedly played on New Orleans radio stations back to back to back when it <laughs> Right. Renegade, that's why right. I said like, go ahead and add on more time. I hey, Renegade. Oh, yeah. I f he was drunk on yeah, East. Like, called the cops on his yeah. yeah, that's why I said I got I got some shit for the day. Classic Hassan. Classic Hassan. This thing called the police on itself. I fucking laugh when I called them to tell them. There you go. There's the gun. Take it. That's what was used to try to kill me. I called you 911. There's the gun. Why are you looking at this gun? And just looking for attention. He got hair sticking out of the car. Eyes cocked like a pistol. This nigga. What I supposed to call Black Lives Don't Matter? The gun is on the floor. They said. What I don't get is he trying to say that the police try to assassinate him. So what the fuck would you call the police for? If they want to try to kill you, why are you calling them to help you? So he wasn't scared to take the gun outside and put it on the sidewalk, but he's scared because the gun on the ground. Right. Lord. And one officer, not even a precinct. And I know, back up, right? I know, I'm the threat, right? I called the police so you could take that, but I'm a threat, right? I know. So there you go. I don't have to talk to you no more. You take that. You're trying to make it seem like it's a racial thing, nigga. You're 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 clearly drunk and out of your mind right now. Back the fuck up, bro. I would have told him the same thing. Yo, that shit off my property. Yeah, get the fuck up off of me, bro. And they, they, they don't want to touch it and get their fingerprints on it. But you Listen said you to took it from somebody. In the original All About the Benjamins video, Biggie Verse wasn't even put in. They had a tap dance sequence with Puffy dancing against the Coca-Cola guy. The shit was really long, but it was interesting. 
wouldn't the Coca Cola guy be Tyrese started in the early two thousands? There you go. Take that. Go on, right? That was the danger of my life. I had to protect myself. I called the police. I did the right thing. I shouldn't have to talk to these officers no more about nothing. Now y'all mad at me because somebody tried to kill me. Right? I didn't find it. Somebody tried to kill me. And I called 911. So why? There you go. Take, just take it to the precinct. I'll meet you at the precinct. I took it from somebody trying to fucking shoot me. There you go. You said I took it from. Wait, 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 wait. And I've been. I'm saying this the whole right. time. You took a gun. Wait, somebody broke in your house, right? You wrestled the gun from him, and nobody fired a shot. Wait, let, let, let me let me give you the full context of this. This man's girl and his children are in this house, and somebody came in to kill him, possibly his whole family. He gets into a fight with the person. No shots are fired. He takes the gun from the person. The person runs off. He doesn't fire any shots. I want y'all to think about that. All the all the men in the in the in the chat. Marquise, uh enemies public, the people champ. If somebody breaks into your house with a gun with your your wife, your family in there, dare to kill you Everybody. and possibly them. And you wrestle the gun away from him. Right. Is that man getting away without you firing a shot? The switchy. Because I'm bugging out of like a whole fucking. He got a, it got a beam and a scope on that motherfucker. Flying aces, peace and welcome. 30 minutes, y'all. If anybody want to add more time, go ahead. Take the fucking gun off of my problem. I, I did the right thing, right? Right? Now, I can, now, now here's the thing, right? Here's the, it's, it's, it's strange. What's strange is the fuck that black people is dying and you ain't dead. Oh, no, I'm saying. What does this have? This is the thing about it. This is how you know he was trying to do it for attention. Because what the fuck does any of that have to do with somebody breaking in your house? You talking about Black Lives Matters and black people are dying and y'all killing black. What the fuck did that got to do with somebody breaking in your house? Right. Was they even black? Right. You ain't getting no description hey. or nothing. But now, here's the thing, right? Here's the, it's, it's, it's strange. What's strange is the fuck that black people are And you're forcing that argument, too, at that. Listen to this one. The locks had a physical confrontation with Puff during the Let the Locks Go days. We know that. They were banned from the bad, bad boy offices. We know that part, too. But then it says, also, the release of the locks didn't really benefit anyone but Puff, who got two million cash and control of Jada's publishing. Then the next blind Wait, item says, yeah. Uh, that's why I'm saying they, we told this, we finished this video to get back into that because we jumping in, in the back and forth. Yeah, mm. I get confused. He's coming at Charleston White for stealing it. Yeah, he he's doing that again. People are dying and you ain't dead. Okay, so you want me dead? No, I'm saying that I called you to help me to get this shit off my property because I know y'all trying to fucking set me up. There you go. There's a loaded fucking gun. There you go. Bye. Bye. Please. You said the first, wait, 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 wait. First you went to Black Lives Matter. And then you said, I called y'all. There's the loaded gun because I know y'all trying to set me up. So if you believe that they try to set you up, why would you call them? Mm. Make that make sense. Somebody busts in my house and allegedly try to kill me and my family. First of all, they're not getting out this door without me firing a shot. I don't give a fuck if they hit the door and the neighbor. You get, somebody's getting shot. If I get that gun in my hands. Two, I'm not going to call the people who I think trying to set me up. Like, this is how you need He's a collage in this fucking video. He's all over the place. He goes from Black Lives Matter the government sending me dick sucks. 
<laughs> the government sending me yik yucks to, to they try somebody try to assassinate me. There you go. There's a loaded fucking gun. There you go. Bye. Bye. Leave. Where the fuck is the priest in that? Well, Brianna Taylor died. So I called you on the phone to take. When Brianna Taylor died. What the fuck? Bro, you're literally forcing this argument. This is how you know that this was a fucking stunt. And I, I, people kept saying that uh, they might be flick, take police officers or police officers. I don't think so. They, these, these niggas are confused. They don't know what the hell is going on. Fuck me, illegal. You got it, right? And I showed you I'm a civilian, right? So what the fuck is you here for? Just, just load them all the screen. You keep screenshotting and load them all up. And then when we done this, you can jump right into it. You heard me? Hmm. I said you might just start, you know, screenshot it and get it all ready. And as soon as well, I got the site up on the computer now. I just wanted to hold on, take it off. I'm just putting it up there so we'll be ready to go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just get it all ready and stuff. So you gotta ask questions, right? Why the fuck it took you so long? Why? Why did it take you so long? When I told you that my life was in danger and I just fought somebody for that fucking same gun. I don't, I'm not a snitch. I, I said I'm fucking not a snitch. You take that gun, take the fucking gun, it ain't in my house. You take it to the precinct. You have it. It ain't in my house. Yeah, nigga. It sound like you got it. With the, see, because Ten Toes us put out another uh theory on this the theory was he got drunk got in, got into an argument with his cut with, with his wife and got aggressive with her she's ready to call the cops so he took the gun out the house and called the cops on himself and tried to say somebody tried killing before she got a chance to do it and if you listen to how he acting Tito might not have been lying it, it sounds like because he keeps saying it's not in my house. Y'all got the gun. Look, y'all got the gun. Wait, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? Uh okay. We got a half hour from uh C Cadillac Carolina Kid. We got a half hey. hour. If anybody else wants to add more time, y'all go ahead, because I'm telling you, we're going to need more than a half hour. Keep Especially the body this, going. This video, this video still got another 30, 30 minutes, and Tripsies is loading up a whole bunch of ditty shit. And we still got well, we, It's random industry shit, but in there we can find some ditty stuff, some uh -huh. random funny pieces, because it say Nate oh, Dog Rob right. for Taco Bells. According to God, he does and ten tools are working together. Yeah, I heard that too. I saw that shit too. I, mm -hmm. I, I hope it ain't so. I hope it ain't hey, so. Sarnetta. Sarnetta, yeah. But for um ten tools, I, I hope it ain't so. I'm not gonna put it for nothing past nobody. Cause I don't know what they be doing behind the scenes. I just hope it ain't so. Tim was the only nigga I felt like had some type of like integrity. <laughs> it's a 30, a 30 shot of Tim, though, right? I would love to have that. That's a Marquis comment. Why do you young boys gun each other? You know my record. Okay. I ain't got to speak for it. You don't have to. But you send two police officers when I call on a fucking phone. Two. Two. This is what y'all send. Two. Well, I don't. I don't feel like. This. I'm, I'm feeling like. You know what? I don't even like police. And I see. Yeah, I did notice that you only see the like little small articles on this man i didn't notice that democratic party said defund the police well yet i still try to back to take up because i know the black community needs it see this community right here they don't need it the wrong of a party look what the fuck y'all doing look what you doing look at your face 
You think the hood can't shit fake? How the fuck is the hood gonna feel protected by y'all? How long have I been on the phone asking y'all to can protect me? And not even to protect me, I protect my fucking self. And y'all gotta sit up there and look at him. The bitch ass nigga. Now he gotta be strategic and be embarrassed. Like, look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. I don't need you to protect me. I call for y'all to take y'all shit. Cause I know I'm if you don't need them to protect you, what the fuck did you bro? You... <laughs> this nigga is belligerent, you Take your gun to the precinct. You got a, a 30 shot. You keep trying to put the gun on somebody else. First it was the robber's gun. Now it's the police gun. Take your gun. Nah, nigga, that's your gun. Extend, though. You got it. I did what I had to do. You know all the details of the gun too. It, the extendo, we got a beam on it. And the extendo. That sound like you're trying to indirectly brag about your gun, bro. Fuck with y'all to take y'all shit, cause I know I'm being set to fuck up. Take your gun to the precinct. You got a, a 30 shot extendo. You got it. A 30 shot extendo. If you took all the bullets out and counted them, how you know it's 30 shots in there? Nobody caught that? <laughs> when you took the bullets out and counted them all, put them back in there? I did what I had to do to protect myself. And I know I'm going to have to. Because what I speak out against, see, I, tell, I, I don't tell people to be fun of the police. Because I know the niggas in the hood ain't going to protect me. I moved out of Bronx about here, but I got to go back where I live at. And y'all, y'all want some fucking. Listen, we're here to help you, right? You ain't fucking here to help me. You took your fucking time. You, you took, I called you motherfuckers to y'all play. How the hell is they supposed to help you when you cussing them out from the very beginning? The very beginning. And you got, you got, you broke, nigga. You brought out a camera stand. I just realized that. You got your camera on a stand. So that means you prepared for this shit. Who does this? Who calls the cop? Who is even in their in their right mind after being almost killed? Has the mindset to go call the police, put the gun out on the curb, go back in the house, get your camera and the stand, set the stand up, and go live. Who does that after almost getting killed and their family almost getting killed? Who who, who where they do that at? Right, he prepared himself for the show. Nigga, you knew what the fuck you was doing. All drunk and belligerent, hair hanging out the do rag, nigga. And the hood is looking for you because you fake your salary more for the fucking hood. How the fuck you want to take that? You think you gotta take care of us. So when people say, see, fuck the fucking police, like, damn, I called you, I gave you a 30 shot. Listen, that's my family. The shooter never make you a 30 shot. I ain't, I ain't a fucking rat. I gave you what I gave you. I had to defend myself. You didn't defend me. Why y'all took so long? And why I gotta be the criminal? Was he, was he just doinking that cop in the chest? Was he just doinking him? Because if I was that cop, get the fuck on the ground. Fuck that. I'm talking to him. <laughs> get the fuck on the ground. Beat him on his Right, people's champ. <laughs> He got a case against me. I'm sorry. I couldn't have been that police officer. I'd embarrass the whole police. That's police. <laughs> Thunder thighs ain't been right since booty been, I mean, been booty left him right. Drop in the video. All right. So let's. <laughs> I'd have embarrassed the whole precinct because I'd have been beating him on. Hey, get the fuck on the ground. I'm tired of telling you, listening to you, breath smelling like a whole brewery. Yeah, I called you. I gave you a 30 shot. Right. That's my family. The shooter never make you a 30 shot. I, I ain't a fucking rat. I gave you what I gave you. I had to defend myself. Do that and defend me. You put. Uh, what I gave you. I had to defend myself. Do that and defend me. He either was close to doinking him or doinking him. That right there. I'd have grabbed his arm, hip tossed him, hit him ground for chance, behind your back, you stupid motherfucker. Scraped his head all on the ground. <laughs> Scraped his face all on his concrete. Shut the fuck up.
sitting here cussing me out. You called us fucking, what, what time was this? Early in the morning? You called me six o'clock in the goddamn morning to come over here talking about you, you, you about to get shot. You cussing me the fuck out. Why y'all took so long? And why I gotta be the criminal? Look, why? Listen, we're trying to be as safe as possible. Listen, man, we gotta pull that a gun has a gun. On no, you gotta pull that set. I took a gun from a motherfucker that shot killed you. Now take it. We don't know what's the setup. We don't get the whole call. We just get the group that gives us, right? And that's another thing. How the fuck is they supposed to get your story and you trying to accuse them of being the ones to set them up? So imagine trying to take this police report. So what happened, sir? How long did it take y'all to get here? Uh, what happened, sir? When Breonna Taylor died, what happened, sir? Who am I supposed to call Black Lives Matter? One more time. What happened, sir? The government sending me yik yucks. Come here. I'll call my partner over here. Come here. Let me talk to you for a second. We about to lock this nigga up. <laughs> I think he did it. We about to lock this nigga up. And I know. So that's why we're just for. See, the problem is. Listen, we're the pro the stuff problem that makes is, is. The problem is. When they say be fun, you motherfucker. I say no, don't be fun, you motherfucker. Because I'm not from this shit right here. I'm from the project. Again. We're gonna try this one more time, Mr. Campbell. Which, 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 your, which, 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 can you give us a statement on what happened? When I told the people not to, when they was talking about the fund, y'all niggas, I told them no. Johnson, get, let me borrow your cuffs, cause we about to cuff this niggas' hands in his feet, carry him to the car, hog style. <laughs> we about to cuff this nigga hands in his feet. We about to carry that nigga to the car, hog style. Instead of putting the apple in his mouth, we gonna put the gun in his mouth. <laughs> Shut up. So when I say don't be fun the police, it's like now I'm the, the enemy. But now I gotta fight my own hood and fight two motherfuckers. Why? Look how y'all rolling up with my fucking shit. I give you a 30 shot extendo. A nigga try to kill me. I got a family in the house. How about this? You can watch the video, you can watch me talk from Troll Heaven because I have to stop the video, jackass. So you just pay yourself, you consider yourself another contribute to Troll Heaven. Come on, guys, we gotta have another moment of silence for Mumi because she wanna come in here getting smart as shit. Another contribute to Troll Heaven. Can you, can, can you type that again, Monique? Try it again. You can't. We have to stop the video every few seconds, jackass. What the fuck I got to deal with? So let me get this straight. Well, I'm not even a son of a bitch. Then why the fuck is he here? Because I'm looking for someone else for a so you looking for someone else for another call at my house? No, I am looking to see if she came this way. She can't. So why the fuck is she talking to me? Then go back to your fucking job, lying motherfucker. Damn, they think they think they're dumb. So the two of you are here for me because I said a mother. Wait, wait. So those two cops stopped to get his statement, and the other cop went to drive around to see if the suspect ran or is ran the other opposite way or in the neighborhood and he cussing him out for it say he lying oh my god right right renegade that's a good statement he said did he ever stop to think that three cops showed up because he called them about a gun and he's a felon on top of that I disarmed the motherfucker to protect myself because I know y'all stick the motherfucker and I can't. Here, take your beat. Here. Yeah, you want me to keep the beat? You want me to keep it? This is an infrared game for the gun that keeps up the 30 shot at You want me to keep it? This is an infrared beam. That, that don't sound like the nigga is indirectly bragging about the gun. Sound like it to me. You got that shit. So shit don't matter to the parole. When y'all raided my house, the big homie, he was 
We're gonna try to be a safe spot. Get a call for a guy. For a gun. I ain't got no gun. I'm gonna talk to myself. Don't shoot me, motherfucker. Boy, shame to the set. They only fame through sex. The fuck with the big jets. Bitches get faded, give a neck, then move to the next set. Bitch, I can't give respect. That's why we live and die. They gotta be a safe spot. Big homies keep laughing. Slide niggas need chit chat. They say women lie, men lie, but I ain't got no regrets. There's another job that's actually right down. I ain't never been. It's actually on this. Me, nigga, get down. I know where the piece is at. It's around the corner from my house. Yeah. I had to defend myself from a setup from y'all because I know whoever was sent to it was sent from the government. And I gave y'all y'all gun back. He said, I know whoever was sent was sent from the government. Nigga, what the fuck would the government want anything to do? Why? If anything, they're going to push your ignorant ass to the forefront. Which I believe that's what they've been doing. That's why this nigga hasn't lost his channel. Because when you when you think of ignorance on YouTube, who's the first person to come to mind other than Young Pharaoh? Don't worry, I'll wait. When you think of the most ignorant motherfuckers, the most ignorant, bad influence for black people on the internet. Who would that be? Uh, it's called Black Lives Don't Matter. Black Lives Don't Matter. Black Lives Don't Matter by his uh, former friend, Five God. Yeah, it sounds like he was playing with it and taking it apart. Right. Because guns is easy to get destroyed. So I gave it back. I called police. Y'all didn't talk to me. One fucking five kills you. Five you got, so you got a thirty. So you got a you got a thirty shot extender when your fucking waist, right? But when y'all raided my house, and I did not wrong, the whole precinct was there. Y'all didn't get. Y'all didn't answer my call. So now what I'm saying? Wait, wait. What the fuck does this have to do with any of this? Him raiding my house. He said, raiding my house. The whole precinct was there. Did you say something? Yeah, I said yo. Um, 17 said, what's up? Oh, and, so um, yeah, it was a cool, it was something somebody, I think it might've been Renegade put in the chat earlier saying, usually that, that's a repeat offender right there. He called the police all the time. They know him. They know he's drunk more than likely. And they really don't want to deal with him. Exactly. Like if they have to take him in, there's paperwork. They'll take the gun, fill out that little form and put it back in the evidence locker. That's not that, the one thing that people don't know. I did a live on this shit where they read on a clubhouse where they read out his uh records. Hassan got caught mm -hmm. threatening people with a BB gun <laughs> with a satchel full of BBs. What twice he got arrested twice in in, in, yeah. in two days or twice in the same day. I forgot which one it was. So and he was drunk both times. And this I think this is around the same time. So they know who he is. He's the public drunk. And he said, when, he said, when you raided when you when you raided my house, the whole precinct was here. Uh when they do a raid, they bring SWAT. When you call, they're only bringing a couple cop cars. Oh, he mad because Homeland Security didn't come for his one little pew pew. Uh-huh. <sighs> he wanted a bunch of cops to show up and be like, look, they're trying to kill me. The government's sending me yik yucks. Y'all tell me, y'all tell me. First of all, I don't need y'all help. I don't give a fuck about none of you real niggas in the street. None of y'all. Hey. None of y'all. None of y'all. When I walk back outside, I'm telling you, I'm not playing with no fucking body. I don't give a fuck about these monkey niggas that y'all sending at me. Y'all took with your party. I don't care. I and then turn to his fucking camera. It's <laughs> done. <laughs> They probably be drawing straws to see which cop gotta go out there. They got his right. they got his address flag. Yo, it's that crazy dude on such and such street again. Which one of y'all going? Right. Oh, he ain't there no more. He, he, ran your turn. Atlanta. he ran to Atlanta. He ain't there no um, more. Yeah, but his file is so extensive, they probably pulled him. Mm -hmm. He don't understand. They ain't trying to take him in. They got enough people in the damn jail. As long right. as you don't act a straight donkey and they can sell he drunk. This is Georgia. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> they pull up. You got the gun on the side of the street and you insisting they take it. Then you get yeah. mad because there's not more of a police presence. New York probably called down to Georgia and be like, look, this fool finna come down there, watch out. Ooh, I can change but my if he... cash tag. Huh? I'm about to change my cash tag. For, uh... Change it. No, matter of fact, everybody already knew. Told you to change that a long time ago, brother. Yeah. No, it wasn't letting me for some reason, but now it's, it's uh, letting me. Yep, your trash cash tag has been changed too many times. Please contact support. Yeah, it won't let me. Oh, well. Well, I don't need y'all. I don't give a fuck about none of you real niggas in the street. None of y'all. Yeah, yeah. None of y'all. None of y'all. None of y'all. I'll play the Bullets Daddy video next if we got enough time. We only got... I have five or extra, so anybody had no more time, go ahead. Well, Daddy explained all that. He moved to a I walk back outside. I'm telling you, I'm not playing with no fucking body. I don't give a fuck about these monkey niggas that y'all sent at me. Y'all took with your party. I don't care. I'm not going to fold. I'm not going to bend to them, you drug dealers. Let me use gangbangers. I'm not folding. But at the same time, y'all see, these niggas ain't got no love for me neither. Uh, not at all. Uh, nigga, y'all playing fucking dumb. I ain't not, I, first of all, I'm not a fucking rat. Oh, you trying to have a conversation with me. Right. Y'all sent y'all informant to set me up, and now y'all want to sit up there and play dumb. When y'all raided my house, when y'all raided my house, it ain't look like this. <laughs> Cause it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to look like that during the rage, you dumbass. And for two, you can tell you drunk, bro. You in and out of like consciousness, like that. I could like I had to beg y'all niggas to come get y'all gun. I know. I know. You gonna help me, right? You right? gonna help me? How you gonna help me? We're gonna try to get the person who was, who was here. I know. I know. But you took so you took so much time to come to my house, right? How much time was it that we until we got here? About forty minutes. Forty minutes. Forty fucking minutes. I know. Yeah, you know, right? I know. Oh, oh, you was lurking. You was lurking. I know. You see, you know the problem is. But wait, why did he move to Atlanta? Because he couldn't. He can't. He's not making that much money, so he can't pay the people that have been extorting. And he's been causing too much trouble. Everybody knows his address. He can't go no. He can't go back to Bronx River. He can't mm -hmm. do. He can't go outside no more. But literally. Well, I want to know why out of all places did you choose? That's what I'm saying. Why Atlanta, though? Oh, we know. We know. We know why. It ain't for me. It's too the Chinese. They finna but, mess him out the little coins he got left in his pockets and leave him outside butt naked on the side of the highway with his head bleeding. And you got his family down there, too. His sister and all them. So why? Well, it's got to explain all that. Watch, I'm going to play the video. I know. I got it done on me. My sweatpants. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I know. I got to get it. That too. Nature Boy and Carbonation is down there. Mm hmm. Oh, he's going to be Nature Boy Pen Pal. Band, use a better and look at his thighs. Listen, here's, here, here, here's the thing. Here, 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 here's the thing, right? Y'all involved. Your Democrats is involved. I speak out on behalf of the public. Do you make YouTube videos? Yeah, y'all know it, motherfucker. My house got raped. I, I don't know this. Look at how his face turned when that EMS truck pulled up. Because he know they called the drunk people. They called him because he, <laughs> he really know he's drunk. And he's scared that they go blood testing with all that. Watch. Well, look at his face. Watch his face foot. Listen. 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 Listen.
listen. Here's, 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 here's the thing. Here's, here's the thing, right? Y'all involved. The Democrats is involved. I speak. Y'all and the Democrats is involved. You sound like Young Pharaoh. Y'all on behalf of the public. Yeah, y'all yeah, know it, motherfucker. My house got raped. I, I don't know this. It's my first interaction. You see it? Yeah. Y'all ain't. He mm. turned around and saw the cop, and you can see him. They start looking at <laughs> He know they about to blood test his drunk ass. Yeah, y'all yeah, know it, motherfucker. My house got raped. I, I don't know this. It's my first interaction. <laughs> and what don't make sense about this raid is you said that the uh, the people uh, got your house raided. Now you trying to say it was them? You said it was trolls calling uh, calling the police and got your shit raided. Didn't catch the, play, the part where he told the cop to get his gun. Yeah. No, I don't think we got to that part yet, but I do know what you're talking about. But uh, he now said it. Go ahead. He said, he said oh. it about five minutes ago. Oh. Oh, I didn't even catch it. But um, now when he, the police asked him, he was like, do you make YouTube videos? He was like, yeah, y'all know it. My house got raided. Like basically putting the blame on them, saying they watch his videos and that's why they they fucking with. Him. But I thought it was I thought it was the trolls and the people that that that, that swatted your house. From somebody that I believe worked for the job. They work they work in the Democratic Party. They work for the Democratic Party. What the fuck with the Dem I don't I don't know this. Why is he keep saying the Democratic Party? What what does the Democrats have against Hassan? What is he what, what reason would the Democrats have, uh, to kill Hassan? You don't even speak politics, nigga. You speak conspiracies. Industry conspiracies. What the fuck would the government and that's another thing. Why would the your government the government what would the government want with Hassan King? Nothing. Makes no sense. You don't have that much in you don't have influence like that. Unless he got a thigh, they got a thigh mission they need right. implemented. He said Puffy stood him up and now he's crashing out. Law and order thigh investigations. <laughs> Send boy to the booty house so ET could go home. Nick would be. What's up, sis? Hey, I took this fucking gun. It was easy for me to take. Were they walking? Now you got it. I'm not going through that. You have it. But my whole thing is, I shouldn't have to go through this. I don't like turning over y'all fucking guns. I don't. I love guns. I'm gonna have guns. They cool. They pretty. I like them the way y'all like them. Right. I called the police to get the right fucking thing. You took your fucking time to come here. No, y'all fucking took y'all time. Bro, even if they did take their time, the fact that you're not telling them what really happened and you just keep going over and over about, uh, yeah, that's what I was about to play next. You keep going on and on about fucking um, the Democrats and y'all set me up and Rihanna Taylor and my house got right, right. It. What happened here, bro? What, what's the story of what happened? You notice he never says that, right? Mm-hmm. He's, he's deflecting so he doesn't have to give a statement. But eventually, when you get when you get drunk, in order for this case to even proceed, you have to give a statement. Or they just gonna have to charge you. 
for having the gun. Because I'm pretty sure it was only his fingerprints on that gun. And if he wiped his fingerprints off, he's a stupid motherfucker because if this dude did attack you, when did you have time to put gloves on and fight him back? So now, what I'm trying to figure out is, and what I want you to figure out is, how y'all can make the people in the hood, black people, feel safe. How you can break this, 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 this stereotype. Fuck all the bullshit. I'm not the rap. I'm not giving you no body. I get you. Yeah, that's why I was saying it earlier. He, he, he wants to force an argument so he can be like, oh, they, they, the government's sending me yik yucks. The Democrats trying to kill me. Y'all see how they was arguing with me. They didn't want to help me. That backfired. What the fuck do you mean? Break the stereotype where we can bridge the gap. Because y'all being defunded. Y'all being locked up. Right, right now you being treated like a nigga. Now you can play the democratic game that's going on in America, or you can figure out how to break this fucking distrust that's going on between black people. I'm not telling you nothing else. I gave you what you shot in my fucking house. Because you couldn't pay me to believe that a motherfucker came to do all this, then try to fuck me up. Because I speak on behalf of everybody. You don't speak on behalf of nobody but your goddamn self. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm not relevant. It's not relevant. You got a 30 shot clip and a fucking gun. I don't know what the, I think it's a nine mil. You got it. Take it. You got it. I think it's a nine mil. He described the whole gun in detail. Nigga, that's your gun. You got it. But I had to beg you motherfuckers to come. Nah, I know I won't beg the next fucking time. Because from here on, I won't beg you next time. I know. Throw up your Masonic sign, bitch nigga. Now he throwing up Masonic sign. Oh, this nigga is crazy. I know, I know. I know. I know. It's funny, right? I know. I know it's funny, right? But I guarantee you. See, the next time, I won't be here. And I'm ready. I know, I see you. I have problems with everybody. I have problems with you, motherfuckers. I have problems with you. I have problems with you. You know why? With him throwing up the Masonic sign and him trying to get his breath in the back of the you, motherfucker. I have problems with Is this the Masonic sign he's talking about here? Oh, that's so Masonic. That, that's so Masonic. Oh, my God. Is some Freemason trying to kill him? <laughs> uh, Tree Treehouse. Huh? She said, What's your name? So she can, uh, Triple C's Treehouse. Put your, uh, just put your uh, link in the chat. Uh, Lilith. Yeah. Your, uh, what's your thing so she can subscribe to you? Oh, that, that, no. that, that is so Masonic. This nigga is reaching. I have problems with you fucking coke motherfuckers. I have a problem with the fact that you motherfuckers don't go in the hood with no compassion because you don't fucking live there. You go where I live and you don't live there. No, she just put the uh, link to her channel in the chat, so all you gotta do is click on it. With no compassion, then motherfuckers end up dead, and it's just a fucking chuckle story. Then when I try to defend you motherfuckers and say, yo, don't defend the police, because the hood need the police. This is what the fuck y'all do. I called on the phone after defending my life. So, wait, let me get this straight. They allegedly know that you've been backing them. And they still sent an informant to attempt to assassinate you you wrestled a gun away from him without firing a shot this whole entire story makes no sense mm -hmm. absolutely no sense i never watched the video in its entirety like and now y'all get here and it's so safe now right um i'm finna drop something in the chat this is the tap dancing guy that we was talking about earlier just save the link for later all right um, I think it was Mr. Knowledge, but I'm, I don't remember exactly. 
I don't call the fucking beat police. I can piss. I've never, I know y'all know. Hassan can't be. I've always been locked up for homicide. This is a new life for me. And when I call you on the phone. Homicides, right? Hold up. Pull it back like five seconds. You do know you telling this to police who got your record. Look at the cop face when he say that. Yeah. This is what the fuck y'all do. I called on the phone after defending my life, and now y'all get here and it's so safe now, right? I don't call the fucking people police. I can piss. I've never, I know y'all know this song can be. I've always been locked up for homicide. This is a new life for me. He looking like, huh? That's not what I just looked up. Right. Yeah, the police the, sitting right behind. He like, huh? I got your record sitting right on the dashboard of the car right now. Not one homicide. How you? You really thought you were gonna lie to police? He moved to Atlanta, Darnell. Ain't no telling. Did we know what part of Atlanta? No. Nah, um, we gotta find out uh, when we get to the police diary video. I'm not playing the whole thing. I'm gonna play a little bit of it. Mm. But uh, we still gonna play Mr. Uh, Knowledge you know, next if we got time. Uh, hey, we got Khalil. 28 minutes left. Anybody want to add more time? We still got Mr. Knowledge, Young Pharaoh video, uh, Bullis Gotti, uh, Umar Johnson, and some more Young Pharaoh. I got time today. My wife got the kids. Today I got time. No baby today. Today I got time. And when I call you on the phone, I'm not a rat, I'm being a civilian. But when I gotta go back to being who the fuck? You ain't, nah, you just full of shit. I took it from a motherfucker trying to kill me. Because I sit up there and I protect two motherfuckers in the Do I look like a fucking rat to you? Do I look like I'm telling you? You got the gun taken. Yeah, I got some Umar too. That's why I said y'all want to get Go ahead. Yeah, all the information at the top of the chat. The, uh, PayPal, the Venmo, and the Cash App. It's $5 for a half hour, uh, $10 for an hour. Ten dollars for an hour, family. Ten dollars for an hour. Also, five dollar uh, video requests. If y'all have any specific videos that, it, even if it's off topic, that y'all want me to react to, we got that too. You got the gun taken. That's it. I came about it because somebody tried to fucking shoot me and I took it. What did that person look like? Your mother. Okay. I'm not giving you nothing about it because somebody tried to fucking shoot me and I took it. What did that person look like? Your mother. They asking you. Your mother. That's how you know the nigga lying, bro. That's how you know he keep asking you details about this man. And every time he asks you a detail about this man, you go off into some other rant. Your mother. For Brianna, the first time they asked him, they was like, who am I supposed to call? Black guy, <coughs> don't call her. Second time, he was like, well, Brianna Taylor got shot. But wait, yeah, Darnell, I mean, do we really want the old Hassan back? I mean, all he did was cry in front of the freaking fish tank and cuss everybody right. out. Right. That nigga is fucking hilarious. Oh, Caroline, I'm, like 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 hour I'm not giving you nothing what else. Right when I called you on the phone. You said what now? He's, he in the truck. He said he an hour away for he can add money to send you a cash out. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 um. So just roll to the end. Yeah, that's on yeah. I, 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 if you, if you say you gonna get that hour, I'll, I'll add it on. Don't fuck me over, Carolina kid. I you trust. know Carolina kid, a trucker. He got know, his it, next it, game. It, 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 it's only a few people that I would have did that. For, so. Right. Carolina Yo, kid, Carolina kid, which truck stop you like? What you be doing at them truck stops, hmm? Carolina kid. Cackalacky, Carolina kid. Wait, uh, wait for it. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I was wondering where the fuck man was at. That took forever to fucking come. Now y'all so happily. It, it, it looks it look so beautiful now. Y'all look beautiful now. You look so beautiful now. It looks so pretty. 
How the fuck? And y'all watched my video. Because I sat up there and I spoke to a detective that hung out with me and fucked the fan. And she told me, like, yeah, yeah. why the fuck did it take this small? This fuck. I got children at the thing. Children in my house. I got babies. All right, well, Carolina kid, man, they just gave another hour for you to do what you do. That's if you're still doing it. So we're trying to help you find this person who tried to hurt anybody. Why the fuck did it take so long? It didn't take long. I told you, it took three to five minutes. Uh, I mean, maybe it was like Do you seven, but it took some time, right? Do you it realize how long I was minutes. live for? I don't know how long. Now I know, I know, I know. Because I wasn't, because this street nigga is not supposed to sit up there and call the police and ask y'all to help me against y'all. Because I know the nigga that came to this fucking house to kill me was gutting me. So now you got a 30 shot clip. You got and this isn't proof of what I said about these pro black niggas. These pro black niggas. It's a trigger. It's a trigger. Government trying to kill me. The government did this. The government did that. That's a trigger for pro blacks. So when they hear these motherfuckers that they follow say this shit, they automatically go up in arms and believe it. Mm. And they know that shit. Why P knew it? He knew it. Uh, the fair. I mean, uh, 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 the bubble lips. Polite. Because that's how they conditioned them to be. Think right. about what they money. talk about until they get the money. It's all about right. black power, black supremacy. Then they get the money, say, fuck the black people. Then when they get in trouble, it's the man trying to get me family. Y'all got to right. come together as brothers and sisters and help me. That's what I don't get, like, with polite, too. I'm like, nigga, you ain't taught none of that shit since you got that money. You've been teaching money. Look, he was sitting up there. Fuck. Being all holier than now, soon as he got with um Ron Artest and took took off with the bag, all that mess started. Then it was fuck the ghetto and fuck the hood and fuck all you in the motherfuckers in it. Mm -hmm. But then when he got arrested, all of a sudden he pro black again. It's just like atheist, atheist till they stub they toe and then it's oh Jesus help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he That's exists then, huh? I'm still in that. I'm still in that. That's a good one. I like Ubermoist butter biscuits. <laughs> Two days. Mm hmm. Infrared beam and you got a fucking nine millimeter. Got it. You got a nine. So now he specifically knows. He waits so he knows. What type of gun it is, and the shot the window hole, and in the attachments. Nigga, that's your gun. I you just noticed, Darnell. Hold on. The, the, the assassin came with the whole kit, and Hassan just ran him off, and he left it. Right. Ooh. Without firing no Mental shot. gymnastics, you have to take yourself through to believe these ninjas. Right. I don't understand how they follow us do it every day. You got to live in that land of delusion. Yeah, exactly. That's why he's always drunk. And he's if I'm going to speak on not the funny. Bro, you know you a pudgy nigga when you can see your belly. <coughs> baggy hoodie at that. You saw when he had his arms crossed? <laughs> you know you a pudgy nigga. You know you the fat. <laughs> Oh, That's what me. makes Darnell's comment so funny. Right. He ain't out of breath. He ain't got no scratches or marks on him. No nothing. Look, even the cops know this cap. And Atlanta is very, very, as soon as he said he was a big YouTuber, they they pulled up expecting cap. Right. D Mecca. Hey, D Mecca. Oh, yeah, I'm going to finish this out. If I'm going to speak on not defunding the police, what the fuck is y'all going to do? Is you, nah, is, you here, is you here to make sure that white people don't look like the way y'all used to look during the days of slavery? Are you, no, 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 no. Are you going to fix, are you going to fix the image? That y'all have from the days of slavery, or you gonna come treat black people like niggas? Because he really think he's preaching. 
Hold on, stay pause real quick. You think he's saying something powerful, family powerful? Make it bigger so I can take a screenshot. Hold on, let me take the uh, chat out. Take this off. There you go. Hold on, I'm on the wrong daggone page. Okay, (laughs) one second. I'm sitting up here watching the actual video, waiting for it to come up. <laughs> it got to be a fat. Oh, man. Are you talking about you will punch somebody in the chest and make their shoulders clap? Nigga, you'll run out of breath halfway through that punch. Okay. <sighs> Hold on, give me a second. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga throw a punch and run out of breath halfway through it. Nigga, I... <laughs> I need some oxygen. <laughs> Hold on, was there a clear shot of the police car, or any or the ambulance? Uh, when was pulling in, I think. Clear enough that we can see which agency. Uh, I think I think you did see the letters in the back. There it is. The set. They only fade through sex. Fucking with the big chat. Yeah, I speak it all. Look, got holes all in the red. We're trying to have a conversation. We're trying to have a conversation. We're trying to have a conversation. I ain't never been pressed. Nigga, press me. Nigga, get deaf. You even fucking with my philosophy. Who you bang on the rest? All I ever see playing both sides. Shit, get niggas left. Fuck politics. Niggas, niggas sound the same. They come up in the car. Hold on. Break the, pull it back to when he opened the door. Where we can break the gap. Because y'all be involved to rap. I shouldn't have to go through that. I took they work in the Democratic Party. Uh, they work for the they work, they work, they work, they work yeah, Don't worry about this. I'm going to work with what I got. work for the Democratic Party. I took they for the job. It was easy for me to get home. There it is. Here it is. Yeah, y'all know it, motherfucker. My house got raped. Police and EMS. That's all it says. It ain't got the name, though. And they got them new cars where you can't see the, the name on them on the side until they, like... <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, until a flash of light or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the fuck fucking you ain't Louis Vuitton, you but the rent pay. No, I do. I know, right? I feel cool. Now, how the hood's supposed to trust you? Throwing up your Mason style. It's dialogue. Throwing up your Masonic sign. The same shit Black Lives Matter. Throwing up the Masonic sign. Police officers represent Black Lives Matter. So when they sit up and up, they talk about defund the police. That's Black. These niggas is Black Lives Matter, too. It's all a fucking agenda. Bro, you need to stop going over there stealing people's content because you don't even know. You're not mm-hmm. even getting it right. You just mixing and matching. <clears throat> I know exactly what he means, but that's not that's not what they meant. That, that's not what they he said. Even the do rag little drunk. That this is me. <laughs> when this happened, I literally had entered YouTube. I think like that week. I think it was like that week. But I only saw small clips of it. I never saw the whole video in its entirety. I gave you a gun. Motherfuckers tried to rob me. They ain't get me. You got your gun. I wasn't going to take it in my house because I knew that was the setup. You got a 30 shot clip. You got a motherfucking gun. I defended myself. Y'all got what y'all got. I'm not giving you nothing else. Now, what you want to do is, when you're going back into the black community, protect them. Because the reality of it is, you got black motherfuckers that don't want to live like that no more. They're still defending themselves. Bro, the fact that you keep doing this shit lets you know that you called them over there so you can try to make a video like this. Mm -hmm. You just needed an excuse. Nate Kush, peace and welcome. He said, Hassan Campbell is a former (laughs) sex worker of vampire. (laughs) Nate. I remember watching this. I was thinking they were going to shoot him. I thought, yeah, yeah. That's why people thought that um, he had hired them or they were all part of it, this whole thing. But these motherfuckers were confused in the motherfucker. 
I guess it's because they're in the, the, the neighborhood that they're in. And the fact that y'all being defunding, y'all playing this democratic game, the game that's being played in America to break America, that ain't gonna have America great no more. People gotta defend themselves. Take that fucking setup gun that y'all got in my crib, that 30 shot clip, take it to the precinct. I'm not testifying on nobody. I defend myself, get it, get it to fuck a body. Bro, if you're not willing to give up a description or testify, there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. Darnell, that, Darnell, that is a gun. Yeah, it is a gun on the ground. You came in late. Yeah, he described it too. That's how we know it's his gun. He said, he got a 30 shot extendo, nigga, which you took. <laughs> he got a red beam on it, and it's a nine millimeter. Who knows? Who knows? The, who knows how the, the the exact details of their alleged assailants' the weapon? It freaks some people like they keep I'm not even paying attention to it. All I know is he got a gun. That's the only thing that matters to me. It Imagine busting up somebody, busting somebody, busting in his house. Nigga, you on the ground. Nigga, is that a nine millimeter with a with an infrared beam and a thirty shot stendo? Nigga, get the fuck on the ground. When you sit up here, you deal with other black people. Understand that everybody black ain't a fucking criminal. No, that's it. Bring my mother back from the dead. I wish I could, man. You know that's my pocket. Right? Go back. You need, you need any other help? How do 20 sound? It's burning my pockets. Are you talking to me? Yes. I shit. That's cool. Thank you kindly, Carolina kid. Thank you for supporting this war. Yeah, uh -huh. thank you for supporting this war. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you for support World War Three. Not nation for life. So scared for my motherfucking life. My body, my body guard got my gun. They said, "Ain't no man." No, y'all got time. Y'all play military mind games. When y'all raided my house, it didn't take this long. We gotta raid my fucking house. Uh, what you mean? You know, how you know a lot? How long it took for them to set up? All you know is from the time they busted in the door to the time they left. You don't know how long they've been circling your house and bro, right. nothing you said makes sense. Yeah, and it's supposed to be that many police there with, when they when they raiding your house. My office, my office was in my fucking house. When y'all kicked in my door, y'all left me out here. And y'all didn't even sit and y'all just raped my house. That's good. That's good. And I had to sit there defensively like a fat. Let's move on. When you find another black person, understand that everybody black is fucked up. What else can I help you with that? Take your fucking gun. And that motherfucker, because I'm not testifying, take the fucking extended clip, take that gun, take the infrared beam, now you have a whole loaded gun that I could have been doing. I, I guess it, I'm going to be honest with you. I like guns the way you like guns, but I can't have them. I'm telling you. So you take that shit. Yeah, would it still count for two hours? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that'll still count. Because I, I would really mm -hmm. would love, and honestly speaking, I'm from the hood. There's some of these gangbanging, faggot ass niggas that I would love to shoot that act like I'm not a retarded nigga. Growing up with a fucking project. From this video, we can definitely tell you you're a remedial. Just get paid with a quick save. I made it my home. Nice take your gun, take your, gun, take your local clip, take the fucking beam back to the precinct. To the yeah, you He's have it. Are you He's trying to put the take your gun, take your loaded clip, take your red beam. Why do you it's, specifically keep, uh, oh shit, this is my lawyer. Uh, hey, Shadow, I got you. You got the mm -hmm. video? 
right. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, but if we can play the sparrow one, or we can play this. Yeah, one. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Play that one. Answer the phone. Okay, answer the phone. Put yourself on mute. We got some important business, family. Important business. So we gonna do a little interlude of Young Sparrow with the meth mouth going on here, because you can tell by the screen still that he got the, the clinch job. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Listen. Listen. It's the old oh, shadow. She said she F R E E fuck nigga figure cause I'm F R E E fuck Wait. Wait. Uh uh. She F R E E fuck nigga figure cause I'm F. What in the. Just say I'm sitting there's a menace. <laughs> Just why? gotta be little as a mofo because how he got on um, the hoodie hood dreads and a hat over the hoodie hood in the dreads. that's what i said the other day when we played this joint i was like did this nigga tuck his dreads in the hoodie and then the hoodie and the hat mm -hmm. go ahead finish it up no darnell he wants to be the bad batch in his music you want to have my baby now. Now. I hit her with it. I ain't I ain't grounded pounder. I just hit her with the bitch. Stop playing with me. You know how you, you, know how you nuggy. You know how you nuggy your nephew or something. So I, my dick is clean. That's not a and nugget. I make sure my dick is clean. <laughs> how many times have you nuggy somebody? Bitch, stop playing with me. That's not <laughs> a nugget. Is just going like this on top of the head. But his dick is clean, Remy. He makes sure his bitch dick clean too. What? I ain't never seen a bitch with a dick before, but okay. Well, I'm fucking him. Jesus Christ. I said, my dick is clean. And I make sure my bitch dick is clean before I'm fucking him. Where's Ola at? Y'all don't, don't hear me talking to y'all? <laughs> What's wrong with his nose? <coughs> What's wrong with his nose? It's on mute right now because I don't want her to hear what I'm saying because it's going to start into an argument, but I don't give a fuck with this bitch, miss. <laughs> That bitch don't miss shit, and that bitch don't love shit. This bitch is a grimy ass fucking thief. This is the grimiest bitch I ever met in my fucking life. That bitch don't miss shit, and that bitch don't love shit. This bitch is a grimy ass fucking thief. This is the grimiest bitch I ever met in my fucking life. I don't know who's more of a dirty bitch, her or fucking Baniqua Hardy. Like I said, like I said, I got it on froze. I don't feel Baniqua. Like I like I said, I would never in my life. This bitch is a lying ass bitch. I would never believe shit this fucking whore ass bitch say. Like I said, don't never lie and say I hit you. 
I would never in my life be with no bitch that a lie and say I was hitting them and raping them. Don't you ever say that. And on top of the fact she's a fucking thief ass piece of shit. This bitch is a dirty ass Sacramento nigger ass piece of shit bitch. <laughs> That's what the fuck this bitch is. And if I never had kids by this fucking whore, this bitch would never hear from me again. <laughs> I don't I even know, Jaden. Worth that. Period. I'm only calling for my kids. <laughs> this bitch is a lying ass thief. That's what the fuck this bitch is. A lying ass piece of shit, thief ass bitch. But let me ask you this. How 10 different people steal the same money? Hmm? No, Camille, real name ain't Beniqua, is it? How do 10 people steal the same money and they are in no way, shape, form, or fashion connected to each other? Mm? Answer me that. No, I just posed the question. How do 10 people steal the same money? I don't know. And, 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 and a good majority of them got more money than he ever had in his whole fucking But I'm life. saying, in, in essence, that's what Pharaoh is saying because he keeps putting the theft on on different people. It just depends on which day of the week it is. Rick I Ross does owe the money. A while ago, I was like, how is yeah. people supposed to be splitting up this little bit of money? But not even splitting. They all stealing the same money. Makes no sense. That's a yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd be hella mad. Period. If they, if, if they were splitting it, I'd be hella mad at the cut. <laughs> right. That. But not yeah, even splitting it. It's like he done gave 50, 11 different explanations. And in 50, 11 of them, it's a different person that stole the money. So if somebody already stole the money, how somebody else come and steal the money? I, I never thought about you, that either. That, that, that you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Back all the money she stole and her family better give me back all the money they stole and whatever property they brought behind me. see right now. Shit. They He's saying it. either Camille or Golden Beauty stole the money, right? So, mm -hmm. therefore, what they stole, because Rick Ross already stole your money and Double Blind sold your house. Right. So, what money did she have to steal? Young Ethereum. Young Ethereum. Yeah, basically, Don Mega. They're gonna get shot the fuck up. White hmm. boy, that. I don't give a fuck about no Oakland, California. Period. Period. But let me come off mute real quick. Pookin. That's Boo. That's Zodi. <laughs> Zola. <laughs> Zodi. Oh, that's Ami. Hey, Ami, what you doing? You playing with your Play Doh, baby? <laughs> huh? <laughs> he been talking to Samson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go in there and hit that nigga with us. I gotta go in there and hit that boy with the fucking look. Look at the fluidity. Look at my fluidity. Look at my fluidity. I gotta go in. I gotta go in there and hit that boy with a jiggle. Ooh, the jiggle. I gotta go in there and hit him with a jiggle. The jiggle, y'all. Look at the, the jiggle. Right. Good grief. Look, I ain't never seen no hetero man have that many zesty moments. And in my goddamn life, and then get mad when somebody called it zesty. Consistently. Carolina kid didn't say he sent it already, did he? I don't remember. He said the last thing he asked. He said, "Oh, really?" Sam said, "The pressure is hilarious." Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to Samson, but I'm into the moon like that bitch Alice Samson. Because it's hard being black and gifted. Sometimes I just want to throw it all down and get left it. My kids is in the house. Who am I?
Come on. If I die, take a look. Take a look. You want to know how I can You can help me. Because the reality of it is, when y'all raided my house, I was live and it took five seconds. And when I told y'all that kick come get your illegal gun that tried to set me up, it was quick. Hassan, stay out here. Hassan. Nah, you're not gonna walk, knock on my door my wife and my kids like that. I, I did. Okay, so we're gonna make sure they're okay. 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 Well, um, technically, they, I'm just, the cops talking to him like he crazy. Oh yeah, technically Notice they can go the all they want. Mm. He said, "Hassan, out. don't go in there, Hassan." True. And they said he trying to run from the ambulance. That's what that is. Ambulance. <laughs> I never forget. So that. you can walk. The ambulance. Y'all can walk with me. And, walk with my me. Mama up and, took her and to I'm the giving you permission because I ain't a fucking. Crazy. You said what? It was this little kid, and um, something had happened, and they asked him what happened, and he said the ambulance took my mama to the hospital. Shit. Sure. <laughs> hey, Colin, we'll come up behind you. Hell yeah, I've been fucking drinking before y'all set me up. Hell yeah, I was drinking before y'all set me up. Y'all set me up. <laughs> <laughs> You just literally admitted to them that you were drinking and you were possibly, most likely, nine times out of ten, are just belligerent drunk making this shit up. You just gave yeah. me evidence that you made this shit up. And bless. You can stay off the camera. Matter of fact, you can stay right where you at. They ain't got to go no further than that. That's my wife, and I ain't putting on a fucking camera. You want right by Stay off the camera. Matter of fact, you can stay right where you at. They ain't got to go no further than that. That's my wife, and I ain't putting on a fucking camera. You walk right by him. Nigga, move your dumb ass out the way. Say it's your house. We already looked up the wall in the house before we got here. My children, no, they not all right. She ain't all right neither. How the fuck they gonna be all right? We gotta go through this. And this how you know that you you're, you made this shit up. You won't even let them talk. Mm -hmm. When a person does that, that let they keep trying to talk over the other people that they, they, they trying to uh, talk to the other witnesses, that nigga lying. Huh? You, you want them to slip up? You could absolutely talk to my wife real fast. Yeah, you surely could. What I drank? You ain't asking me about the gun, the perpetrator, the gun, or nothing else. Nigga, they asked you about it thirty fucking times. This video been going Right. I said this video been going 23 minutes and this whole 23 minutes the cops been there right yeah and he act like they ain't been there but two minutes he just is yeah. drunk he, no, but listen what he just said what I drank you ain't asking me about the gun the purpose of the gun or nothing else no, no, I, I know, I know, but you want to know what I fucking drank. Shut the fuck up. Fuck. You want to know what I what I what I've been drinking? He said you didn't ask about the the gun, the perpetrator, or nothing else. They've been asking you that for the last twenty fucking minutes, and you've been deflecting. Mm -hmm. As soon as they ask you another question, oh y'all don't want to know about the selling? Yeah, motherfucker, we've been trying to ask you that for 20, 30 minutes. Nah, I don't want to talk about none of that. I want to say fuck you. What I want to talk about? What I, what, what I want to? They just say you want to talk about the gun? Nah, I don't want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. You ain't asking me about the gun, the purpose, maybe the gun, or nothing else. No, no, I know, I know, but you want to know what I fucking drank? Shut the fuck up. Fuck you. Nah, I don't want to talk about none of that. I want to say fuck you. But I want to. 
You say now finally you want to talk about the gun? No, I don't want to talk about that. This sounds like YP, but she was like, like, when you bringing my kids? Okay, I'm going to see you <laughs> For how long? Uh, we'll long. No, no, no. That's too long. What? <laughs> Talk about what, what, what I want to talk about is the fact that when you walk and you step in front of another black motherfucker, I want them to fucking trust you. I want to talk about that. Fuck out of here with your mind games. Y'all look so beautiful. But I tell you one thing, I never sit up there and tell y'all to come get y'all gun again. I use that motherfucker. Y'all demons. Black lives is a setup. Black lives don't matter. They don't matter. The black Black Lives Matter and the Democrats are setting you up. Is that, is, that, is that what you're trying to claim? No disrespect, but you sound older. Oh, probably because uh, I'm talking in a lower voice. Black Lives Matter is a fucking setup, and they work for these same fucking demons that's in my fucking yard right now. Demons. They all demons. Y'all devils. Black Lives Matter. Fuck Black Lives Morgan Freeman wise. <laughs> Lives matter. Fuck your whole fucking set. That's what they represent. Your Democratic fucking party. You want to talk to me? Talk to me about what? About what? Talk to me about what? About the little fucking eight year old that got shot? You want to talk to me about that in the Patterson Project? In Patterson Project. See, he keeps bringing up all these, you know, controversial situations with the police. That has absolutely nothing to do with his situation right now. Deflected. And again, this is when they're asking him about the gun and the perpetrator, the so called perpetrator. And he keeps going to Breonna Taylor, the little eight year old, and Black Lives Matter, and the, the Democrats. And no, in the Bronx. But, oh, you don't know. Right, because you don't fucking live there. Right. You want to talk hey, he doesn't live there. You, you, you're absolutely right. What the fuck are you going to care about some shit that ain't going on in his neighborhood? Tell me about the, 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 eight, the 18 year old from Cortland Project that got shot after he graduated, right? Yeah, the basketball player. That was defunded. Yeah. Nigga, you playing pocketball like a motherfucker. Tell me about the, 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 eight, the 18 year old from Cortland Project that got shot after he graduated, right? You are playing pocket ball like a motherfucker right there. Nobody caught that but me. Say that one more nope. time. This nigga playing pocket ball. Mm -hmm. Nobody caught that but me. This nigga scratching his balls a bit over live. <laughs> Finally, he sniffed his hand. Now, Ty Boogie, I'm not just <laughs> <laughs> Basketball play that was defunded. Yeah, when they say defund y'all, and this is what the fuck going on. What you want to do? Listen, understand it sucks. I grew up a criminal. I grew up busting guns. That's what that's I was busting my fucking gun. I don't live that way no more. What the fuck is you going to do to protect the people that's trying to live right now? What the fuck do you grew up busting guns got to do with them protecting the people right now? And what does protecting the people right now got to do with what the fuck you got going on? Like, so you all he, tried, he tried to live different. Yeah, you all over the place, bro. You just, you just saying a bunch of shit all over the place. No, are you going to be de defunded? Are you, are you going to be defunded? You want to be de 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 a Democrat? Or are you going to be a, a, a party that's going to sit up there and say, "All right, you know what? I'm down. I'm, I'm down with the party with, with Trump and everybody that's trying to save America." What you doing? What you doing? But if my kids call you, are they going to be safe? Yes, they are. If I pull up. Because the reality of it is, when you watch my videos on YouTube, I speak out against gang violence, drugs, and everything else. So I'm public yeah, I'm a piece of all that shit. That's why more and more cops are showing up. Mm, you know, you can't take... <laughs> And they surrounding him. He don't even notice. He's so fucking drunk. He don't notice that. Right. Surrounding. You can't surround the reality of your way out of it. Out of yeah. this one. Yeah, you get it. The reality of it is. When I sit <laughs> back up here, you didn't, you, you didn't realize the reality of this situation and sit back and analyze that, did you? Uh -uh. And analyze that they were surrounding your goofy ass because you're being too aggressive. I just now told I was like, wait a minute. There's more cops out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They, they blocking the road and shit. 
at the point at this point they like um I, we ain't even worried about this sailing i we want this nigga to do something one more thing aggressive I got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. got me fucked up. I got to fight the hood and fight y'all too? Oh, of course I got to fight y'all. Of course I do. Bad altercations with the cops don't last 20, 30 minutes. That's all I wanted to say. We lucky, we lucky. Uh, we say they Republican motherfuckers. You can tell every last one of the motherfuckers is a Republican. You can call them Democrats. Stay over here, right? Now I'm going to talk to my wife. This is my house. No, I'm not going to stay over here. I'm not under arrest. Then so why the fuck are you telling me I can't? Yo, close the house door. The fuck is you telling me I can't come to my house for? Why? I'm not under arrest. Why the fuck is you? Can't go back to my house. So now I'm a, the fuck out of. I think I think the wife really told him why. Told him the truth. Did he say because we finna see if you okay? Yeah, and then he said, we can't go back to the house. I think the wife don't want him back in there right now. Mm. Yeah, Big T, what's up with you? Hey, Big T. In my face. Get up off my pop. Stupid nigga. Oh, that was a real cop car, baby. Don't say nothing else to them. No more conversation being that this nigga want to tell me I can't walk in my house. So why the fuck I can't walk in the house right now? No more conversation for them. Close the door, lock it. Close the door, lock it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get the fuck off my property. My property. They ain't for the fucking people. He, yeah, yeah, this nigga. Mass nigga. What's your, what's your badge number? I know. Yeah, they can read it. So now I can't go in my house because I'm under arrest because I called you. Bro, they didn't told you three times you're not under arrest. Three times. Yeah, I heard this man say, you're not under arrest. We just want to make sure you're all right. Get off my property, then. Why are you telling me I can't go in my house? Uh, you're talking to your wife right now. And you're talking to fuck is you think you want to interrogate my wife without me? fuck is wrong with you? That's what that is. Didn't the cop just call that his girl? Yeah. Didn't the cop just say your girlfriend? Mm -hmm. They're not legally married to her, so they have every right to interrogate her and the kids. Mm -hmm. That's it. She gives them permission. They don't need yours. Mm -mm. And it's her house. You keep talking about get off my property. So now I'm a threat to my own fucking kids because of you. Because I told you, give me back my. You? You blaming them for being a threat to your kids, nigga? You are obviously a threat to and a danger to everybody around you right now. You can't give a complete story about what happened, so which means you look like you're lying and you're the one who had the gun. Which you probably was, because according to Ten Toes Down, you, you were threatening her with a gun and was getting physical with her. And she was about to call the cops. And your drunk ass ran outside and called the cops on yourself and came up with that story. And that's what it looked like to me. Because you can't give no description. You've never given a description of, of what this person looks like. Or you were wearing nothing. Get off my property, then. Why are you telling me I can't go in my house? The fuck is you think you want to interrogate my wife without me? The fuck is wrong with you? That's what that. So now I'm a threat to my own fucking kids because of you. Because I told you, give me back my gun. Then. Give me back the gun you found on my property. Because I told you, give me back my gun. Then. Now you want to interrogate my wife without me? Hold on itself. Mm -hmm. Give me back my gun. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh huh. Listen, that's that. So now I'm a threat to my own fucking kids because of you. Because I told you, give me back my gun. Then. Give me back the gun you found on my property and get the fuck out of here. Then, huh? Give me back. I call this monkey nigga. Because I told you, give me back my gun. Then. I'm a threat to my own fucking kids because of you. Because I told you, give me back my gun. Then. Give me back the gun. Is wrong with you? That's what that. He called himself too. Give me back the gun that y'all found on my property. Nah, no, no. It's your gun. Come put your hands behind your back, sir. That's it. Sure okay. So now I'm a threat to my own fucking kids because of you. Because I told you, give me back my gun. Then. 
Give me back the gun you found on my property and get the fuck out of here then. Huh? Give me First of all, they can't give a gun back to a felon. Me back, I called this monkey nigga to, to save me from a gun that I took from somebody else, and now they want to make sure my kids are safe, right? And that's why your mice, I understand, my son, I understand, and this is why, right? With 3600 people following, this is why, right? So now you protecting me from my own fucking kids because I gave you a gun that somebody tried to kill me with because I look like a fucking sucker. Get the fuck off my prop. Get the fuck off my prop. Bye. And I'll never call you again. Thank you, Greensburg. Cause now you gotta treat my wife like we suspects. I know, so I could, but I can't talk to my wife like she. They didn't treat the wife like a suspect. They treated you like a suspect because your story's not adding up. Your story's not adding up. We're talking about everything else, but what supposedly happened. And when every time they ask you about the, the assailant, you deflect. And then when they ask you, what was you drinking? You talk about, y'all don't want to ask me about the gun or the assailant. And then he turns around and says, okay, let's talk about it. You say, nah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not a snitch. That sounds like deflection, Mr. Campbell. Dumb bitch. I know, right? But I can't talk to my wife, right? Get the fuck off my property. You fell. The community. Why? I reached out to you and that's how you treat me like a fucking suspect. Fuck off. I'll never call you. I'll get another one because they're going to sing off. Now get the fuck out of here. And this is what the fuck you do. You fell. Because you want to treat somebody like a fucking suspect. Nigga, I'm a fucking shooter. I was raised to be a fucking shooter from a young nigga. And I called you on the fucking phone because I knew y'all was trying to set. If you was a shooter. Why did this guy get away without you firing a shot? Bro, nothing you saying makes sense or add up. One minute you a shooter, the dude got away without you firing a shot. Next minute, you know, you, 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 you a fucking preacher, an activist. You you a shooter, a preacher, and an activist all in one in this, this fucking video. Me up, or somebody was trying to set me up, and I took that gun and I gave it back to y'all. I will never give you nothing fucking else, you fucking demon ass niggas. You're fucking demons, working my mother. I called you trying to do the right thing. I will never do the right thing again in my fucking life. In this house, I'm a seller. And you the face of this, this fucking evil. You had the chance to be the Trump player. You want to treat everybody like a suspect, a su fucking suspect. Give me, put the gun back in my fucking driveway so I can protect myself. I act like the cameras ain't see the. Put the fucking infrared beam, the gun in the fucking clip back. Put it back. Cause outside of that, I gotta protect myself. You ain't gonna protect me, you bitch ass nigga. You don't even understand how many white people that follow me, that follow me and support me. You a fucking shame to your own fucking people. Trying to separate me from my fucking wife. <laughs> Look at you. Look. I don't give guns up. I shoot them. I've been locked up for homicide three times. And I ain't saying I'm guilty, but I'm a shooter. And I changed my life to be a fucking fan. No, you haven't. You have not been locked up for homicide not one fucking time. Not a one. That You didn't even do the three years that you said you did. You did a year and a half for domestic charges. Beating women up, pushing them down the steps. How do you turn a fucking homicide to a simple, simple assault? Make that make sense? It's, it's not even possible. You can't turn a homicide into a simple assault. Damn and got set up, and I know I'm being set up, and I gave you a fucking gun with a 30 shot clip, and this is what the fuck y'all treat like. This is why people went, yeah, defund the fucking police. Fuck y'all. Defund y'all. Defund you. You took your time coming to my fucking house. And then y'all treating me like a suspect. Perfect example of why the police ain't no fucking good. In Greensboro. Right around the corner, it took y'all that long. I know. I know. Go fuck yourself. You know who I am. You know who I am. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, he staged that shit. He was he was already getting the old. He had an appointment that day to get an old bullet taken out of his shoulder. 
So he, like the opportunities, opportunities he is, he took full mm -hmm. advantage. Of well, internet, go fuck yourself with your mother's mouth. Go fuck yourself. You know who the fuck I am. Y'all know who I am. No, I ain't got no fucking warmers. Take that 30 shot clip and that fucking gun with all these fucking police around my motherfucking. Go fuck yourself. Bye now. I'm leaving too. So I walk with y'all motherfuckers. Now you can leave my fucking shit. Cause I know the police ain't good for for nothing. And now I'm the perp. Cause I called you motherfuckers to do what the fuck you ain't gonna do. You motherfuckers. Don't never call the police. They ain't gonna never fucking help you. Black people, we ain't got nothing to rely on. Donald Trump tried to help us, but he ain't gonna do it. These niggas are fucking demons. They demons. So, oh. Now you got a 30 shot clip. I gotta walk over my shoulders and look over my fucking shoulders for motherfuckers that wanna kill me because I sit up there and I talk about black on black fucking crime. And y'all. Motherfuckers wanna kill him because he talk about black on black crime, y'all. Niggas ain't gonna fucking help me, so fuck it. Black people gotta kill each other and y'all ain't gonna help that neither. Y'all not gonna help it. Babies dying all through the fucking hood. You grabbing y'all fucking guns looking like y'all posted up. Fuck y'all. Go back to the precinct. Make y'all living. That's all you there for. And there's people who thought this shit was revolutionary. Hold on. You can just do it. It's motherfuckers that really thought that Dear Cross, tell them Haas, he a revolutionary. Motherfuckers really thought he was a revolutionary for this shit. Black people dying. Little fucking eight year old died. Patterson Projects died. I got a passion behind what the fuck I leave. I do. Black fucking kid, eight years old, died. Murdered for what? For, so what you doing about it? What because you you the fucking police? What could you do? Your job. Your job. My job is to be Go down you got brothers and sisters down in fucking Patterson. But we don't want our community. Y'all do. Our job is to do green. So when I sit up there and I and I sit up there and I tell you. My life is in fucking danger because I speak about, about Thank you, Carolina kid. So we got we just did an hour. So we got two and a half left. Mm-hmm. Of the shit that go on in America with this nigga shit, and y'all treat me like a nigga, then why, why, why the fuck I can't be a nigga? Nah, nigga, I'm a criminal. You segregate me and my fucking wife. For what? I'm treated. Oh yeah, for those who, uh, if I didn't tell anybody, uh, for those who didn't know, my uh, when my live got stopped the other day, it was the Umar Johnson and uh, the Rihanna clip. Like a nigga and understand something. Thanks a lot, Mr. Knowledge. Understand, understand something. Understand something. In the hood, we tired of black killing black. But when it comes to y'all motherfuckers, we defend them. Hey, Kevin. They're gonna kill us. And I thank, thank, thanks for uh. I'll bring that up, uh, and then that's why they probably didn't whoop his ass or, you know, react the way they normally would react because they knew he, he was on live. And that's why he did that. You motherfuckers gonna kill us. And then when you make it out of the hood and you say, yo, I just, defend, I just defended myself and took a 30 shot clip from a motherfucker. And I feel like it's a setup. And I let you motherfuckers get it. Take it. I don't give guns back. I like guns. My dick called like porn. But I gave it back because something just didn't feel right. And I let y'all come get the shit. And y'all gonna fucking interrogate me and my fucking wife? Like, nah. I was trying to get your statement interrogated. What were they supposed to do? Just come pick the gun up? All right, Mr. Campbell, we'll see what we can do and leave. He said, treat me like this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Peace what together? Peace what? Peace what? The fuck out of here. All you had was asking logical questions that any police officer would ask. All right, now this video about the end. Um, we got the bullets got he exposing Hassan, uh, moving to Atlanta and why he moved to Atlanta. Uh, I have uh, Young Pharaoh going on the Jesse Lee Peterson show talking about the black woman he's got. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other shit. Uh, <laughs> I'll let y'all pick. Uh, do y'all want to uh, do a little bit more of Hassan and see uh, why he moved to Atlanta or what's up with this Atlanta situation? Or do y'all want to go straight into Young Pharaoh? I want to know why he say he moved to the A. I know we all have our um, no, I wasn't speculations, but I want to know what he say so I can laugh. Uh huh. It feel right, and I let y'all come get the shit. And y'all gonna fucking interrogate me and my fucking wife? Like nah. Peace what together? Peace what? Peace what? The fuck out of here! All you had was me. Yeah, and you're the guy who stole the other guy. So we're trying to. So why the fuck is you talking to my wife? And then you took your time to get to hear when I told what's going on. I'm not a fucking rat. But I know y'all sick of rap. Y'all don't even understand. Sometimes your own government makes it against y'all with y'all being defunct. That's stupid. Some of y'all, and then some of y'all playing the along with this democratic game. Some of y'all. Nigga, talking about this Democrat shit. These these motherfuckers are clearly Republicans. You can tell by the way they stand, by the way they look. You can spot a Republican. Even if they black, <laughs> you know the motherfuckers is with the motherfuckers. He said, my Mexican buddy, hold on, he said, Samson keeps giving him that, that ball-ish <laughs> because pure makes him <laughs> shut the fuck up. Some of y'all, America's old daddy. You said what? They said two for Gotti in the chat so far. All uh, right. Him up because it's basically the end of the video. He was cooking this nigga. I ain't gonna lie. He was cooking this nigga. Shout out to Gotti on this. I even commented on this joint. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, Gotti. Yeah. <laughs> he actually did a 360. He did. He actually Went right did. back to where he started at, which is good in this case. Oh, he took it all. Oh. God, he is like dead. Oh no, I wasn't on that one. It was different. Go back and look. Hassan was fucking with niggas that had an issue with me. He fucking with D Chambers and all these niggas that had bad intentions for me. I used to thank Hassan for giving me, you know, um, a heads up on certain shit. But nigga, you fuck with my ops, nigga. You 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 fuck with Loki Shmoola, nigga. I don't fuck with that nigga. So you fuck with niggas I didn't fuck with, nigga. I didn't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, my nigga, you talking about Remy Roja, nigga. You the one told me, yo, yo, chill with that. That's my man, girl. And I'm looking at you. You said this woman tried to put a bag on your head with the 1090 Jake, nigga. How do you... Like, that's the thing that always made me look at her song... And I question his actions a lot of times. Because why would you fuck with niggas that don't like you, bro? That's my that thing. A nigga that really is rocking with you, supporting your platform, promoting your platform, telling other people to fuck with you. You doing all that. Yo, Yola, hit me up behind the scenes on the um the DM, bro. Let's do it. Yo, I might bring you. Yo, I want to bring your brother to Clubhouse, bro, because I'm back on Clubhouse. You know, I'm back on Clubhouse. Um, the 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 page is B Gotti. That's my new um Clubhouse page, y'all. B Gotti on Clubhouse. Everybody, cause you in fear. Okay, you yeah, took move to York. Your life. Okay, you a fraud. Um, you ran to Atlanta cause you were in fear for your life. 
Boom goes the dynamite. You ran to Atlanta because you were in fear for your life. His motherfucking life. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. He's scared for his motherfucking life. Boom goes the dynamite. That nigga went to Atlanta. He ain't got no knife. And the cops got his gun because he turned it in. <laughs> I don't think that's why he ran down there, though. One of the reasons. Okay. You in fear for your life. And you know it's not comfortable for you in New York. Because you know a lot of these rapper niggas want to get at you. So that's why you moved to Atlanta. You talk all that, but what happened to you in the Bronx River, that little fake stunt? That make no sense. Because Atlanta is like where they go when they go down south. Niggas like him, he must be off somewhere in the boonies. He ain't in Atlanta. But he did say something about he got properties in Atlanta, a property in Atlanta a couple a couple months back. He was talking about just buying a property in Atlanta. And I heard him say it, but it really didn't people, register. And I thought he was people just talking. say Atlanta, but it's like <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> it's it's like Miami, you know, it's so many parts of it that you might not actually be in Atlanta proper. And he ain't got the kind of money to live in Atlanta proper unless he living in the hood. You either living good or you living in the hood in Atlanta proper. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. And you know, it's in between in the middle class move to the outskirts long ago. He said, I think God signed his back up north now. He just posted a video this morning. I'm pretty sure the space he was in is at his house up north. Okay, okay. so he just visited Atlanta. Could be. I mean, he might be. He might be bouncing back and forth. He, he, he so said he bought property. Too. I thought he was just talking some bullshit. But if he did he buy a property, he won't be bouncing back and forth. Sneak okay, up there. Remember Pharaoh when them 50, 51 acres in Costa Rica mm -hmm. now? But. He could be, he could just try to save face and make it look like he ain't running. Sneak up here to do a video like once or twice a week and then sneak back down there. Mm -hmm. That's just so the he can go outside. Uh -huh. Yeah, so he could be outside. Atlanta, y'all know how he give it up. You pulled, you ran to Atlanta because you in fear. Okay, you took all that money that you made over the years and and got that house in Atlanta, right? You already told me. You said it behind the scenes. You said, "Yo, Gotti, um, you know I'm, I gotta, I'm buying another house. The other house. You said it. Your family don't live in that other house. You said you, you moving, and you getting another house. Too many niggas know your address in Westchester, so you move from Westchester to Atlanta. You're still." On and that's what made me believe him because everybody <laughs> has a fucking address. <laughs> Big T, you hell. He bought a chicken farm raising thighs. <laughs> but, you um, see what I said? I'm scared for my motherfucking thighs. Mm -hmm. Let me, um, I gotta go run, take somebody to go pick up their baby. But it ain't All gonna right. take long. They right down the street. All She's right. waiting for her car to get fixed. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. On the house, but you moved. Um, a son, you gotta be truthful with your stories. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be truthful. You, you tell a story that your mom's was a bad mother, your father was not in your life, which is not true. Not true. Your sister won't say the same thing. You won't. You you know that. But you've been running with that narrative that you was some. Dude that lived a fucked up life. But you're not gonna tell the world that you didn't live a fucked up. You didn't live a fucked up life, Hassan. You didn't. You wasn't in Bam House in Bronx River, because Bam didn't live in Bronx River. Bam lived in Union Port Road. Y'all wanna know where Union Port Road is? Union Port Road is with Sporty Thieves. Y'all know the rap group Sporty Thieves? Did y'all hear what he just said? He said, you wasn't at Bam House. 
in Bronx River because Brand Bam never lived in Bronx, Bronx River. That's a major, that's a huge chunk of his story that's just been debunked. And I don't think a lot of people caught that. That's a huge chunk of his story that's been completely debunked. You can't say you was around him as a kid in Bronx River because the nigga didn't live in Bronx River. According to Hassan, that's where he met. That's where he used to go to Bam House at. Bronx River. But apparently he never even lived there. Get your monkey ass out the boat. Where they shot the video, no, no pigeons, was on Union Port Road. It's a kid's store right there. The movie theater, this is right behind. My grandparents lived right in the movie theater. This. Bam lived like two billion, two buildings, two buildings down from my great grandparents on Union Port Road. Right? So I know Union Port Road very well. Right? Everybody in the Bronx know Bam. Everybody in the Bronx know Bam lived in Parkchester since the late 80s going into the 90s. So how was Bam in Bronx River like you like to say? The story ain't adding up because it ain't happened to you, brother. Wow, he said he was living near the late 80s going into the 90s. Wouldn't that be that time period? No, it would be an earlier time period. I sound like 50. So it would have to be in the 70s. I don't know. No, 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 no. It would be in the 80s. Humble King Reloaded. Peace and welcome. So you got to stop running around with this narrative that this shit happened to you. You know what I'm saying? And I and I really I really did believe you. At first in the beginning I used to be like I used to question it like something wasn't right. Now we already know that, Yola. I used to question it. But then I was like all these niggas are tagging them. It might be true. But then it was your characteristics, certain statements that you made, made you questionable. And you sit around somebody long enough, they tell you who they are. That's true. true facts. If you're around somebody long enough and you let them talk long enough, they will. Put that nigga on full blast. Gotti might be all right. Right. I told you. That, you ain't hear the conversation I had with Gotti? I, I think I'm the only first, the first nigga that was able to get two niggas from the so-called dirty section to see the to admit when they was wrong and see that they was wrong. I'll Remy, one week. In one week I did I said i am put you tell me. In one week I did that. In one week I did that. Him man behind the bar. Shout out to both of those channels. Expose who they really are. Please smash this like button, man. We got 55 people in here. Smash this like button. Let's get 100 likes. Let's get 100 likes in here. 55 people in here. We need to get 100 likes in the building. This is going to be a good live. Because after this, I'm about to do another pre-recording. So let's get these likes up. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Shout out to Beast Stinger. Man, I'm about to work on. We working on this project. Trapped in the culture. Oh shit. The lies and the deception of a song Campbell. Best believe. That don't sound too good for our side, bro. If he really got all the evidence that he said he got, and he go to these people that was around during that time and they say what bullets got he saying that they're saying. Oh, you're fucked, bro. It's over. It is over. Because all that, like a good 150,000 subscribers are probably actually real victims. And the other, what, 3,050 are all just there to watch that nigga to crash out. So you're going to lose a good chunk. I'm getting all those Bronx legends, them Bronx River legends, all them legends from the Bronx. Will be in my documentary. Believe that. But let's get back to what I was saying. So Assad, 
he <laughs> questions his sexuality. He's in question of that. And oh yeah, I'm I'm going live in Bronx River. Let me let me let me make this let me make this thing clearly. I'm going live in Bronx River. See, shout out to Maine and Milkman. I fuck with Maine, right? But you see, I got a history, and I got family, and I got a lot of people that is going to let me come through Bronx River. I was coming through Bronx River when I was a shorty, okay? So, yes, I will be in Bronx River, live in Bronx River, mm. doing the documentary. I will be live, in, and I'm not doing... How Bullet Gotti allowed to go to your hood, but you ain't... That's, that's, that's crazy. Now, I just now thought about that. Anybody else think about that? Bullet Gotti can go to Bronx River and do a fucking live on you, Hassan, Pissy Poppy, Put Fat Pudgy Bastard. He can go and do a live about you in your hood. But you can't. <laughs> Doing the pump fake and shit that these other that niggas do. Hurt. I'm going to be in Bronx River. And you won't see me in Bronx River. Because before, I could have got the, I could have, I could have did the interview a long time ago. But I said, nah, that's the bro. But you was doing a lot of sneaky shit behind the scenes. And I always... Never understood why a lot of dudes said the nigga always say, yo, I saw don't fuck with you. I saw don't fuck with you. But now I realize, nigga, you ain't never fuck with me. We never was cool. I thought we was cool. That's what I told him. I was like, Bullets, you can tell that that nigga really wasn't fucking with you. He was trying to use you as a crash out. And Bullets be like, yeah, I know. I'm seeing that now. So shout out to Bullets, man. But nigga, you thought of using me for what you thought of using a nigga for. Which is cool. You know, yeah. people use people every day. As a crash out dummy. He wanted you to crash out on everything that he couldn't crash out on. But you... Sacrificial lamb, if you would say so. You're not a genuine nigga. You're not about helping niggas. you about helping your ego. You know, you notice that every time I did a live stream of a song, when people would come up here, right, he would leave. Right. You know, and we all live and learn. You know, I really thought the homie was a cool nigga. You know, I really, I really thought he was a, a good brother. You know what I'm saying? And I, I supported him and I supported his his message and what he was doing. And I saw that everybody else was 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 attacking the brother. And I was and when I came on YouTube, I never was about beef. I was really about working and networking with other bloggers. So when I, I don't know, Gotti, because I do remember you coming at him. And then that situation where the balls was going in your pockets. I mean, I look, man, I don't know what happened. All I know is I saw them niggas going in your motherfucking pockets. The little Mexican bulls. How did you can say they didn't rob you? I don't know. But that's what I'm telling you from what I saw. And then Hassan did a video, like, basically trying to, like, make fun of you. And then the next thing I know, y'all was cool. So I was a little confused on that. But like I said, you're doing the right thing now, and that's all that matters. When he connected, when me and him connected, because he was the biggest thing smoking. When me and Hassan connected, and we linked up, and when he bigged me up, when they was throwing them videos out there about me, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, I, I respect that. I respect that. I became his moderator. I told you I was his moderator from like 2019, going in. 2019 to 2014, 2013, I was a song moderator, you know? So I supported the nigga because he respectfully supported me. But son been snaking me, you know? Son been snaking me. Son been hating on me. Son uh, I, I told Gotti that the first time we got into an argument, I was like, bro, y'all be on the panel, other people's panels together. And you be talking directly to him, and he'll ignore you like he don't even see you. He was treating you like a side piece. When you see a side piece out in public, do you say what's up? Fuck no. Disrespected me 
you know what I'm saying, looked at me as a crash test dummy instead of a, a equal partner in the in the in the movement. You know, I'm I'm looking I'm looking at it's team. It's no I am. It's no I. It's we. You know, it's no I and team. But in his mindset, it's always I and team with him. You know, it's always him, 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 him. It's not about we. So that's why you'll never see nobody pop off over there. It's over. After I left, there's no more YouTube. What, what, what YouTube is he going to create? Coral, he's smashing, my nigga. He fucking that. We know what that is. Okay? Oh, I, saw shit. I didn't even hear that part. He said he fucking Coral. Coral, is that why you be sitting there letting him talk to you and embarrass you like that all the time? Could that be the reason? That he's always cussing you out and talking to you all crazy and embarrassing the shit out of you. Could that be the reason? I couldn't think of no other reason. You're not getting no subscribers off of it. Would you at like 2,000? And so that can't be worth it. Or worth it. And when y'all had that uh, conversation when he was talking about he had the whole hood glizzies in his mouth. For kissing that girl. You kept going against the other girl for saying, you know, I ain't fucking with no dude if you fucking with a man. You, you, you was kind of like sticking up for her side. It, it was like weird. So it kind of lines up with what Bullet Scotty is saying right now. He clapping them yeets. Damn, Cora, you, 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 you're pretty too. God damn, Cora, I can't believe you. You fuck with sucking niggas like that, Cora. I'm disappointed. I I am so disappointed. We a glizzy gobbler. On ain't married. He keep telling y'all niggas he got a wife. He don't have a wife. He got baby mamas. He don't got a wife. This is the jury of his non-peers. He got he don't got a wife. He got baby mamas. His life is a lie. Everything about him is a lie. Yeah, I Everything about him is a lie. I couldn't do that. Like I, I couldn't like have to like keep up with the lie after lie after lie after lie. Like it's so many lies that he piled up on top of each other. That same thing with Pharaoh. They didn't piled up so many lies on top of each other. They can't even keep up with them, even if they go back and look at the video. But some of the lies contradict others. So when they get called out. They are. They want to. They want to cuss you out and make threats because there's no way to defend them, themselves against those, those contradictions. Him talking about he got all this money, all this this bag and all this, but he was he was complaining about a lot of shit. Let's keep it real. He could have helped out a lot of people. Right. You know, he could have helped out on some. Philanthropic work. He could have did a lot of philanthropic work. Philanthropic. Is that a word? You know, saying he could have did a lot of positive work in the community, but he chose not to. <laughs> because his his mind is he wants to get rich. I think he's trying to say philosophic, but he said philanthropic. Or die try. That's what his thing is. Die trying. Die get rich or die. Uh, no, get rich or die getting thigh. No, get rich or die trying. If you watch his platform, he want to stun on y'all. That's what he do. He stun on y'all. Yo, I'm about to come with that nice toy. I'm about to buy that new tie. I got a house in Atlanta. I support a nigga that's stunting on y'all every time he talk to y'all. He don't give a fuck about his fans. That's the same thing I said about Pharaoh. How y'all supporting somebody that's stunting on you with your money? These niggas was literally supporting the nigga that was stunting on them with their own money. Nigga that ain't never had no bread. He's stunting on his fans. Y'all ain't never seen him do no cash prize giveaways. Yeah, this nigga told you he was going to give females 
uh, 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 buy all the single mother's furniture and all that. Salute, salute, salute. He said, I'm going to buy all the single mother's furniture. I'm going to get everybody furniture. I'm going to do all of this type of shit for my supporters. I'm going to get back. I'm going to be better than my song. Shout out to DC in the building. You already know. Shout out to Southeast, Northeast. Shout out to the whole DC, man. Whole Chocolate City, man. Even though they try to take the chocolate out the city, it's still Chocolate City in my book. You know what I'm saying? Still Chocolate City in my book, man. The home of Marion Barry, man. Shout out to DC. Hit that like button. But let me get back to what I was saying. So, he told his supporters, and please, smash the like button. If y'all coming in here, smash the like button. Let's get 100 likes. It's 73 people in here. We should have more likes in this motherfucker. Come on, man. Smash the like button. Because we're going to go in depth. We're going we gonna to break this nigga down surgically. Break this nigga down surgically. Documentary on this nigga, it's over. When I do the documentary... And I do the interviews with niggas in Bronx River and them other interviews that I got on this nigga, you want to see dude as a fraud. You want to see dude as a fraud. Because one thing about me, I'm not like these other YouTube niggas that you be beefing with. I'm really in tune with them niggas that you say is your big homies. You got to remember, my step pops ran with them niggas. My moms know them niggas that you be talking about. Know a lot of them. Hey, Bullets, I ain't trying to come at you, but bragging about your step pop and your mom knowing them niggas is not a flex. I just want to put that out there. This ain't to come at you, but I'm, I'm actually trying to say this to help you, bro. Don't that, yeah, it's not a flex, bro. Saying that your mom was in the projects and, and, and your stepdad, that, that, that's not a flex, bro. I'm trying to say this to help you, bro. I don't, you know, I don't know how you gonna take it if you see this, but I'm, I'm letting you know this ain't that this ain't to come at you. I'm saying this to help you, bro. That is, it's not a flex, bro. It sounds quite the opposite when it, when you the way you you know. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Them niggas in your hood, no Jerry, no all of them. A lot of niggas in your hood. So don't get it twisted. Cause I'm not like them other YouTube niggas. I know a lot of people in Bronx River. That's the problem. You did. So it's not that hard for me to get into them lines. I keep trying to tell y'all niggas that. Keep trying to tell y'all niggas that. So let me get back to what I was saying about her song. So. Her son is a fraud, okay? Her son is a fraud. The whole beef with Sarnetta, because I'm about to expose this. I'm about to expose Ten Toes Down and Sarnetta. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop! Stop! I wasn't even going to do anything. Don't get mad at me because you outside playing and your, your weed fell out. I can't believe it. <laughs> My daughter weed fell out at the park. <laughs> Right? Bust me upside my head with her See, wig. people are so stupid no. that y'all don't peep no, game. A song used to tell me he used to talk to Sarnetta behind the scenes. A song used to tell me he used to talk to Tang behind the scenes. <laughs> now, <laughs> every time he did a live stream, he told them niggas to pull up. I ain't got, I ain't got no Why you gonna call well, I said that she got to put my wig back. Uh, well, she'll be back. She's coming back. Where did she go? She want to go pick one of your cousins up. Oh. But, uh, hey, hey, bullets. Uh, he said, leave the babies alone. She beat me up with it. He leave me, tell her to leave me alone. But she is back playing with it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that, that's something for a weave, bro. But, uh, Hey, Bullets, what, what's up with all the sniffing, bro? Why are you sniffing so much? You got a cold? If I was you, I, I'd get that under control. You know how them internet niggas get. You know how these internet niggas get. You sniffing a lot, bro. 
That's all this live stream. <laughs> now the ten behind the scenes. <laughs> now every time he did a live. <laughs> Bullets, I is your idea, bro. I stream. He told them niggas to pull up this live streams. But let me make this clear to y'all. Y'all really thought that beef with Sarnet and her song was real? No, it wasn't. They staged that shit. They staged that shit. They don't have no beef. You know why they don't have no beef? Because a song be with Ted Toe's brother, Troy Outlaw, all the time. Okay? He be with Troy Outlaw all the time. He try to act like he don't know Ten Toes. He knew Ten Toes. Know his name. He know everything. Shout out to Philly Trenches in the building. Shout out to Philly. It's a real OG right there. I fucks with Philly Trenches. Fuck that nigga Girly TV. Gully TV. Keep firing on that bitch ass nigga. That nigga can't come to fucking Philly. You heard? That nigga can't come to Philly. Oh, we were we, Philly that made, made that very clear. We we, we made that very, very, very clear. The second, we ain't even, we ain't even, why? We ain't even watched the, um, before we even watched the Gilly the Kid video, we, we saw the title and was like, oh yeah, that nigga ain't coming here. We can't disrespect, the, you can't disrespect Gilly in Philly, bro. We got a lot of love out here. A whole lot, a lot of love. Even though I heard Beans uh, knocking the fuck out. And this was before Baby. Because they had an argument on the uh, uh, on the radio. I remember <laughs> yeah, Gilly was like, yo, shooter, yo, click. Yo, shooter, yo, click. That's how he answered the phone when, when Beans picked up. And he was like, damn, somebody sound real mad right now. Beans was like, you sound real upset. Now, I had that energy when I come down there, and then I heard, you know, they got into it, and being hit it with a make mop. Got his back wet. <laughs> it was raining out that day, and it being hit him with a make mop, and got his back wet. Now, this, 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 this is the rumors. But Baby said he was there and confirmed it. And this, we, this was going around Philly when it happened. And this was like at least 15, 20, maybe 20. At least 15, maybe 20 years ago, maybe. He said that product come. Yeah, yeah, Bullet. I ain't gonna lie, you sound like you've been talking to Samson. You flying to the moon like that bitch, Alice Bramson. Because it's hard being black and given. You just wanted to throw it all down there and get lifted? Life got hard. You picked up that card with the smiley face. And call them over to your place. I don't know, bullets, man. That's, just, that's what that's what the chat saying. You doing all this sniffing? Uh, I'm just pointing. I'm just can't pointing come to Philly. Control that sniffing. Tell that nigga the interview. Any JBM, any nigga from Philadelphia, because I'm gonna say this real clear. That nigga is a snitch. Yo, the, Ar Ab and them niggas had that nigga scared to come to. Yeah, yeah, AR, I remember AR was trying to kill Hassan. That's why I was like, yo, you better shut the fuck up, bro. Because AR, ain't, ain't, he wanted them thrown off niggas, like thrown off niggas. And he was so feared in Philly that the niggas that shot him, nobody took the credit for it. How you shoot somebody and won't take the credit? You know he's not going to snitch. That's how feared the nigga was. I remember uh, my brother, big mom was doing some business with him and she fucked up the money. So we driving through the city. She ducking her. We go past the uh, OB, uh, OBH block. She ducking in the car and shit. Like, don't go on this block. Don't go on this block. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? They looking in the car because they saw it. And she like, pull off, pull off, pull off. I'm like, what the fuck was that? She was like, nah, man, I, 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 I owe you some money. I'm like, man, you be, I might kick you out of my fucking car. You almost got my whole car lit the fuck up. You see, I sound like Dave Chappelle. I, I could be Dave Chappelle because I keep hearing that shit. I don't, I, that nigga is a snitch. 
Hey, y'all, Ab and them niggas had that nigga scared to come to Philly. That nigga ain't no street nigga. That nigga's a homosexual. Gully TV. Now, let me get back to this nigga Hassan Campbell. So, this fraud ass nigga Hassan Campbell made y'all niggas believe that him and Troy Atlaw had beef. Uh, him and um, Ted Toes Down had beef. They never had beef. And my bro, I'm not going to put my bro out there, put me, Tony behind the scene. He said, Yo, Gotti, them niggas don't have beef. They be with each other all the time, chilling. Andre, salute. I ain't see you in a minute, bro. He said, yo, them dudes be behind the scenes chilling all the time. Got he? And I'm like, nah. Ten, say it ain't so. Please tell me this nigga lying, Ten. Please tell me that this nigga. Ooh, that's the whole thing. Oh, wait, my ass. Please tell me this ain't true, Ten. Please. Ah, you wildin' nah. This nigga be violating this man family, violating this nigga moms. They can't be chilling like that. They can't be chilling like that. Salute. Hey, bike, salute. I don't think Ten would have let a nigga violate his moms the way he, he did. And not fuck Hassan Campbell up. He, if they was, I'm pretty sure they wasn't after that. The shit that he said about Ten Toes mom. I hope this ain't true. I really wish this ain't true. I'm wishing this ain't true. If, if it is. Smash that like button. We got 95 people. Share this live. I want everybody I to share heard. this live. Because this live it right here is going to be very interesting. This is going to be the best live that you ever saw on YouTube. Because I'm about to finish this nigga song, Campbell. And I told y'all, I'm not going to talk about this nigga no more on my platform. I'm not. Until the documentary. Till I'm working on this documentary. Because I'm telling you, when I do this documentary and I do these next couple of interviews on my channel and I go to Bronx River, I'm going to show you how much of a fraud and a liar this nigga is, okay? Because he been reaching out. He been reaching out to try to, you know, do what he do. So let me get back to what I was saying. So been reaching out to you? Hassan. So you been reaching out to him? And you still ain't fucking with him? That's, that's what's up, bullet. That's what's up. Cause motherfuckers was doubting it. Motherfuckers, uh, and I even said it to him, I'm like, bullets, the way you be talking sometimes, it sounds like you're holding on to some hope. But if he reached out to you and you still said, fuck you, I salute you for that. You proved everybody wrong. <laughs> so I hope Stays that his beef. Okay? With Ten Toes Down. The Bill Ten Toes Down channel up. Damn, he stays his beef. Yeah. With 050, the Bill 050 channel. Up. I believe that. He stays. I definitely believe that shit with 050 because they was over there buddy buddy one day. And now all of a sudden, you know, they did. I thought uh, 050 was on some snake shit too. Like, I don't really fuck with that channel, man. They'd be like, they'd be on some snake shit. They'll call, they'll have, they'll have you up on the panel and, and, and talking to you like y'all brothers and then pull somebody else up on the panel that you beefing with and start laughing at you. What type of fuck nigga shit is that? What type of fuck nigga shit is that? Shit, like I literally saw him do it to 10. I saw him do it to a couple other people. Like, y'all have him on the panel. Yo, yo, brother this, brother that. Yeah, this is my man's right here. Duh, 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 duh. And then all of a sudden you hear him go, uh-oh, uh-oh. Tack of the Clash of the Titans or, you know, uh-oh. We about to get it in. Quick. Somebody that that person beefing with come up there and air him the fuck out. And they sit there. Laughing in the background. I'm like, I saw them chest shit happen with 10. I'm like, what the fuck? What type of fuckery is this? I don't even know who that is. Sounds like hella fake. You don't want to know. They call 050 the movement. <clears throat> China Brim. The bull, the bull that's got the shit going on with um, Cardi B. Saying Cardi B snitched or something like that. That whole snitching thing with Cardi B. That case that just happened. That Brim dude. Him. It's his beef. And I, first of all, nigga, you fucking 40 years old talking about your name China Brim? Isn't Brim a, a blood set? Nigga, you should not be 25 years old and still a foot soldier in a fucking in the, in, in the game. 25 and up and you still a foot soldier? Nigga, jump off a fucking bridge. You are a lost cause. You ain't move up none of the ranks. 
You, 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 yeah, he got to be older than me. I know he's older than me. He's either my age or older. Yeah, it's the view game that they're playing. Yeah, he is, right? Okay, yeah. Do you like the nigga? You like 40 something. Talking about brim? You still got brim in your name, bro? I could I can't respect that, bro. I can't. I can't. You niggas is lost causes. In my eyes. Yeah, and the name sound kind of feminine. Feminine. <laughs> and that name kinda sound kind of, kind of feminine. You can get mad all you want. I don't give a fuck about you niggas over there. Y'all can say whatever the fuck you want. I'm back. Tried to tell you. With five guards. The the over there. You, yeah, you said, yeah, I did. You did definitely try to tell me. I just did one. I, I, I still don't kind of believe it about 10 toes, but some of the stuff that he's saying, uh, I need to hear Ken inside of this before I make my judgment. But right now, it, This it, ain't it, the I'm, first... Look, this ain't the first round at the rodeo. Right. Ooh, you got this ain't the first person. My bad. I don't want one so bad. I, I need me a fucking cherry Coke or a cherry Pepsi. <laughs> so bad right now. I can't wait till this live over. I'm going to the Wawa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to the, to, 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 the, to the loud pad. Speaking of that. I, I had this at the house already. Uh huh. Speaking of that, who got something? Who got something on that loud pad? Uh, uh, and spit, spit, spit that two hour uh, with Tripsies, which I don't mind because it's been time she spit it with me and didn't even have to. But that was my uh, the coke. That was my that 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 that, that been that ten dollars for that loud pad. Five guard channel up. He stays his beef. With zip with the trip, the bill zip with the drip channel up. I believe that too. I believe that too. I believe I don't know about five, bro. But zip, I definitely believe that. Because think about it. Nobody listens to Zip unless he's talking about hot sign Campbell. Look at his videos, look at his views. Look at his most viewed videos. I'm gonna tell you pretty much how it go. People hanging in a click, right? Mm-hmm. So this click. Click. Sales, they a click, but to the outside world, it look like they beefing. So they get the higher ranking members and get them beefing with the lower ranking members and shit. Whatever kind of scenario, and they just making up plays on YouTube. They've been doing it for years. Back when we was over there with McMike, that's what made us all leave because Sinetta was like, "Yeah, this nigga be telling me he loved me behind the scenes, and then he played the tape." See, that's the thing with Sinetta; he always record you if you ever talk on record so right. he got he got take i'm saying i'm just saying that in general not you as in you but no, i'm saying general. like i never 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 uh, do you want to talk to me talk to me through text messages and some shit like that. Talk yeah, to i don't live. even i only talk to him on the live that way he uh, can't deny it. shit and he can't say i said something i didn't because we got the right. proof right here Angie said, "What kind of pop you got?" So, um, coke. Oh, got my mouth water. Got my mouth water. I had it hot outside, so I grabbed a cup of ice because I forgot to stick them in the fridge yesterday. I put mine on the balcony. It ain't cold enough down here for that. <laughs> yeah, I did stop. That bitch be hot. <laughs> I did, did, did. No, nah, at night it'd be cold, and then I forget to bring the fuck back in, and then I wake up in the morning like, ooh, it'd be hot, dude, but. <laughs> but like that's what they do. They take the new people that does, that's joined the click or whatever. But see, the thing is, only like eighty five percent of the click is down with it. The other fifteen percent that ain't really down with it just keep their mouth shut because they cool, which mm-hmm. basically makes them complicit. So that's why I don't even be going over there. You know, I didn't go over there before that because I had different issues with them, but then that was just the cherry on top. You know what? I tried that quads, and when you smell it, it puts, when I smell it, it puts me in the mind of Christmas for some reason, but it actually don't taste that bad. Mm. Like Christmas dinner. I just looked at my thing and realized I got some shit on Jay-Z too. Mm -hmm. 
Be careful with them celebrities, because you know they say J-Lo running around striking shit, so the other ones might too. He never going to help nobody that support him. He helps out niggas, buddy, that support him. He never going to help nobody that support him. He helps out niggas. It, after, after everything you say, bro, you got a cold. I ain't heard you sneeze once. What the fuck is going on, man? It could be post-nasal drip, but no, that's yeah, too fast I, and I, systematic. Yeah, it's, I, I want to believe it's a cold, but the way you're doing it. That got issues with him. Supposed issues with him. Because he don't really got no beef. That's a pop shit and apologize ass nigga. I heard this conversation. Listen, I'm telling you real talk. He got a full conversation with Mano on the phone and he apologized to Mano like a bitch. Okay? But this the nigga you... You didn't went on the internet talking about how you killing Mano and you dragging Mano and you doing this and you got on the phone with this nigga and, and apologized? Oh, that's sissy behavior, bro. That's sissy behavior. And I don't mean like sissy. I mean like punk sissy. Like scared to fight, cowardly. Sissy can mean two things. So let's get this correct. If we all go and strike me talking about I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a homophobe or some shit like that. Sissy also means punk and a coward. That's what sissy I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the other one. He said post cooler drink. Yo, they all be doing that zip. And zip got that cocaine stutter. You ever hear it? that nigga talk? Nigga. <laughs> Just go do the bump. And you're thinking about it. You can tell. Because you got your brain all scattered. You call the illest killer in Bronx River. Nobody heard of him. Nobody heard of him in the Bronx. Nobody. Nobody. Uh, Nobody. I could name you multiple rivers. I asked you on my scalp. This shit itching like a motherfucker. I need to spray some of that shit on my head. Street niggas from the Bronx. I know all of the, the top niggas in the Bronx. I knew them niggas since I was a shorty, nigga. I keep telling you, my mom's from Patterson Projects. And eating that good grandma's cooking. My nigga. Shorty, nigga. I keep telling you, my mom's from Patterson Projects, my nigga. Bullets. I'm going to say this to you one more time. I'm pretty sure you're going to say it again. But using your mother being from the projects is the opposite of the flex. You feel me? It's the opposite. I understand what you're trying to say, but the way it's coming out, it sounds like you're, you're using it as a flex. I understand that you're saying, I know this information because my mother is from there. I think you should say it like that. Next time. Just an observation, bro. Ask the, the legends that come from them projects. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares. All right? So, I tell people all the time, they be listening to a like, nigga because he like, sound right. like his story's official and all that. His story's not official. There, you know what I'm talking about? Was it? You ever heard of that? Uh, remember that one uh, cartoon called Putt Putt? <laughs> <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was like it was like Oregon Trail. It was a computer game. His name was Putt Putt. Mm -hmm. That's what's it from my mind. Putt Putt. It's nothing official about a song. All right. Shout out to BMO. Welcome home to BMO. Hey, yo, Mo, put me in line with B. Come on, man. You trying to make me break my word, Quaz. You trying to make me break my word. Y'all don't really don't break his word. You, 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 you're tempting me. I gave him my word that, you know, as long as he don't go fucking back, fucking with our sign, I won't talk bad about him, you know. And then we had that good conversation. So you're making me go off my word, Quaz. You're tempting me, Quaz. Excuse me. Nick, nigga. Mm -mm, I just said, excuse me. So, what you 
No, I burp, man. I was going to say, I ain't hear no, I ain't hear that. You, you got to be one of the bottom parts. No. <laughs> <laughs> BMO, Mo. I, I already talked to Damon. Shout out to Damon Mullins. I already talked to Damon Mullins. He already told me about his song. He already told me. He this said that right in here, life. Man. Put me in line. Whoa. What? That shit you just put in the chat. That Quaz put in the chat? No, you in the group chat. Oh, you talking about the Roman Catholic or the one before that? Uh, yeah, the Roman Catholic. I ain't seen the one before. Yeah, that's the that's the blind item I was telling you about. But yeah, the, I was looking. I pulled him up because I check it like every couple of hours, and it said Wiki updated one hour ago. I say so. Let me hop my happy ass over here and see. So I look, and it said that, and I was like, wait a minute, he was a what? In the what? Oh. <laughs> now it even makes even more sense. He was prepped and ready. Prepped and ready. With BMO, man, I gotta. I want to make sure I'm the first nigga to interview BMO. I want to be the first nigga to interview BMO. Oh, that shit just registered. What? Oh, that shit just registered. Mo, because I want people to understand this nigga lied and said he was going to shoot BMO with Xavier Williams in the streets. He said he was going to shoot BMO because I want people to share this live. He said, and I'm going to find a video. He said he saw Xavier Williams, free Xavier Williams in the street with BMO, and he was about to shoot him. Y'all keep listening to a nigga that's telling you shit when niggas can't. These niggas is coming home, Haas. And you know your stories was live. That's why you left New York and went to Atlanta, nigga. You went to Atlanta oh. for a reason, nigga. Your sisters. In that makes sense. That makes more sense. That, you know, all them stories that you done told about how you almost shot at Pistol Pete. And he, he was always almost about to do something. <laughs> Dated. Can you do a thumbnail with that? Like him in the in a clergy outfit? Yeah, Reminiscing yeah. of red and blue pills standing barefoot on Stone Mountain. <laughs> but that makes a lot of sense though, because it was a lot of gang members and I mean not gang members, like groups like from the JBM uh, Sex Money Murder. But mm -hmm. he was talking to people and thinking that they would never come home. Oh sidebar and, bro. What? 50 has replied to Stevie J. Yeah, you did. You said that earlier. Yeah. You said There's a clip of Jocelyn Hernandez. No, no, he don't reply to him again. I'll put it up. Put a picture up. It's on his stories. What happened? Hold on, wait. Let me dang it. I want you oh, to stay, up. nigga. Let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Bitch. What else? Make this big. Hold on, wait. Start over. Let me make this big. Fifty burned him without saying nothing. Fade, nigga. Bitch. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Bitch. What else? Oh shit, you said you wanted to fight 50 on TV. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> yes. Jocelyn tapped that tater tie. Hold on, wait, it's another one. This nigga is Great city. They're saying you're a bunch of fucking criminals, drug addicts, and pedophiles. That is not the whole city. That is a very small, specific section of the city. It's called Diddy's House. That is that's And that came out a while ago. That was the short that he got <laughs> put. Listen, Andrew Schultz is the go was like the, they was trying to call him the goat of the year because uh, no 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 major uh, people wanted to put his uh, Netflix and all them. They didn't want to put a special out, so he said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna drop it on Netflix." Shit blew up. I think it's like eleven million. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, Scrappy too. Y'all remember when he fought Scrappy? Hold on, let's. let's, let's 
This is when I was talking about. Oh yeah, Scrappy did have him in the bushes. That's one of the things. That's why I said, I'm like, these niggas can't fucking fight. You want to fight 50 niggas, you can't fight. Here it is. 50 can't can't fight fight. them for legal purposes, probably. Hold on, let me go there. Switch it up. Oh, you know, up at the top now, you can switch between chat tabs. Instead of copying and pasting or sharing yeah. and resharing. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if you, yeah, I didn't know if you had seen it. Yeah, that's what I was doing all the time. Okay. Scrappy can't fight neither. I thought Scrappy would have more hands than that. Nigga, your name's Scrappy. Why would you I think do? that? Because the name's Scrappy. You're supposed to have some type of knuckle. That's what we call it. That nigga is an 80s baby. They could have named him after Scrappy off a pup named Scooby Doo. Yeah, true. That was my favorite character. Let me at him. That's why they call him Scrappy like to fight. Let me. He was only yeah, one Yeah, but that Scrappy was- couldn't fight, though. They always had to grab Scrappy because he was going to get his ass beat. Sure. They did. I had to save Scrappy many a times. <laughs> Let me at him. I'm getting dizzy. Some all the flamboyant <laughs> you had you know me worried for a second, bro. Don't Will, do that. Will Ferrell, uh, Tyler Dagger Knights, I get up getting dizzy. <laughs> oh, we <gave> this. <laughs> 702. Remember that security guard through about stage? Oh, my God. He yanked the shit out of that nigga. Okay, like, we are square. about to fight. Did one time? Uh, a couple of people. I ain't gonna lie, Stevie J looks like Who was that they fought that he fought on the basketball court? I don't know. I don't watch this shit. Neither do I. I just always doing the doing the clips. And Man, shit. I, always, I always get stuck somewhere like my sister house, and it's always a marathon of this mess on when I'm there. That's exactly what this nigga looked like, too. What? I knew was the reason why I hit this nigga's face. I ever show you a picture of my father? Yes, yes, you did. This nigga he looked is like a it's and, and Sean and and fucking this and uh Deion Sanders. You can you can you, they look like all of them somehow. It's too much. It's too much flamboyant. That's all you yeah, yeah. in love and hip hop. Here we go. Yeah. Well, that's that pit boy. That pit bull. Oh. That pit bull, nigga. What was the pit bull when y'all was wrestling in the bushes, nigga? Oh. Oh man, relax. Pop a blood. Nah, I popped your eyeball. Now I'm just with you. (laughs) Jack, get at the studio tonight. Ain't nothing anything. On the music, it was on some BH1 type stuff. You know what I'm saying with Eve. You know what I'm saying. That's all I knew. You know what I'm saying. And I ain't gonna lie, Scrappy. You, you, you too old to be such a fucking mama's boy. Your mom, but Double D, what's up? Your mom busting up in the room while y'all, you know, doing shit and telling everybody that diamond pussy smell like a, 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 a fish market. All in your like, I, I mom, I buy you a, uh, you got you, I got to buy you a, a condo or somewhere somewhere else to live. I'm sorry, you fucking up my, you fucking up my sex life. I can't. He ran out with Mama D had her own house. No, I'm talking about when I saw it. He's my, they were living together. Yeah, because oh, she had her own house. Did he fill up in his shit? Or oh, he, he was up in her shit. shit. One of the two. Something happened. Didn't Mama D go to jail? She went to jail or rehab. I don't know. I didn't watch this shit like oh, that. Man. I'm confused. <laughs> The way she was acting, I was nah, like, oh, I'm homie a clown. Man. You know what I mean? I didn't need that. I still need it. So, mm-hmm. cash out the PayPal at the memo. Thank you, Kylie. I really know, homie. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was my first take. And then, you know, I ain't finna let nobody disrespect, you know. I ain't know that. But, Appreciate you know that, though. Well, I never let a n- talk to her like that. You feel yeah, me? I right. never. I never. That. If I cut your b- out right now, if I cut your b- out. I'm going to keep it funky with you, too. Like, even my son's mother, if I see somebody cussing her out, I'm a defender because that's my son's mother. Not for her, for my son. And then 
I'm going to cuss her the fuck out. <laughs> say, I should have let him mop, Nick mop your ass. <laughs> I don't even know her. <laughs> I ain't even know who she was. I like the fuck. What's the problem? Who are the matter? But then it's your That's what chicks get it wrong at. See, my mom is the type. Soon as you turn your head, wacko, 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 wacko. I don't know why chicks do that, like in the middle of an argument. And you always see it. When they turn their head, get smart, whatever, and do the hand motions and shit in your face and turn your attention, and that's when the mm-hmm. wacko, 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 wacko start coming. Yeah, ladies, learn from this. Don't take your eyes off your opponent. I ain't taking my eyes off you for shit. <clears throat> I was confused right there at that moment. I'm sitting there looking like, what? Like, you. What are you trying to get at? No, we didn't. This bitch is all up in my grill, questioning me. I know they smell each other breath, too. Is this the chick he left for Diamond? From a crime mob, fuel mob, whatever the fuck they. Nothing, no, nothing he cool. left her for Bambi. That's Erica Mendez. No, this was he left her because this is this is baby mama. That's the one his his mom was mad at for fucking both of the ones. Diamond left him for Soldier Boy. You remember that? Day? I think I think yeah. that was after Bambi, because Bambi is also his baby mama, and Mama oh. D didn't like her. Oh. But she I, with love and hip hop. Um, this the one she liked. Had that's why I'm saying it had to be there because it was the baby mom she liked. She was sticking up for her. What the clip that I saw, but it was a while ago, so I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Yes, Remy. That's yeah, yeah. Jada said it too. Yeah, you left the, Diamond. Diamond is all right. You know, she's not bad looking, but. She ain't better than her. Diamond ain't got no body. Her body skinnier than mine. I could that's I couldn't be with a skinny chick. We 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 be starting fires and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbing bones together. Right. We be starting fires and shit. I need some meat. <laughs> I need some meat up on them bones. Spark the whole bed on. Well, him and Bambi ain't together oh, no break. more, I don't think. The reels on Facebook the keep me updated on these fools. I ain't trying to waste no more of oh, this extra time. Yes. Let's get on to the fight. Where is it at? It's Where gonna be it? on the next episode. <laughs> it <is. Yeah. laughs> you know what I'm saying? You seen her getting off the ground? Retaliation is a must. You feel me? Not that I wanted that. Yeah. Oh, she hey, baby mom got crashed, and then I grabbed like listening to her because I was there to talk to him. I was like, bro, look. I was talking over her, like, hey, whatever, woo, 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 woo. But then we got into it. I had got to Stevie after we got out the bushes. And, and like, then we got into it. I had got to Stevie after we got out the woo, 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 woo. But then we got into it. I had got to Stevie after we got out the bushes. And, and like, I started swinging on homie. Let me and go, I grabbed let me go. homie. And I was trying to, I, I forgot, I don't know why, I grabbed him. And I don't know about taking off on him. Bro, you trying to save face? That nigga bear hugged you, straight back. Uh, yeah. You ever, you ever been bear hugged by somebody stronger than you? Ain't nothing you can do for Ben. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, you can't get all buck later on. All right, that's that fight. I mean, that nigga can't fight. Bro. All right, he, he can't fight. All right, <laughs> right, Jaded. They was just embracing. Back to embrace it. Are we moving on to uh, Sugarfoot or uh, Umoist? We got two and a half hours. Y'all ain't never see that Jesse Peterson joint? I ain't see it neither. I want to see that. I don't see that. I don't know. I think I did do a. Deke will say they both didn't win. I think he did. Well, that's what I'm saying. How y'all fight? Nobody win. They was hugging. That was aggressive hugging. That was right. not a fight. Little brother. He was, he was, he was, he was, yeah, the little brother fight. That's, that's what I would have felt like, a little uh, big brother. Come on, man. What the fuck? You embarrassing me out here. 
I'm glad I never had to go through that with my little brother. We ain't them type of people. You getting strolled on immediately. <laughs> you getting strolled on immediately. The last nigga that stole my bike, he got his ass strolled on the same damn night. They didn't know. <laughs> this is a part that got Diddy attention. Hug me. Hug me. <laughs> Stevie just wanted to grab him. He should have. He should have. He should have grabbed Jocelyn. Grab him and hold him. <laughs> just grab him and hold him. Gotta grab him and hold him. He should have grabbed and held Jocelyn the way she was whooping his ass up on that couch. Right. Yeah. Yes. If you fighting on the couch and somebody got you like this, <laughs> still Fox, beating your ass. You lost. <laughs> First she was like this, but when she switched sides, it was like <laughs> Fifty just slam dunked Stevie J without saying yeah. one word. Yeah, he didn't even have to respond and be like, "You can't even be like, yo, but you ain't respond to him challenging you." Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> right. Black woman is God. It's been said that you believe that the black woman is God. So do you really believe that the black woman is God? From my understanding that I just laid, which I'll give again quickly, yes. Once again, <laughs> God is the highest extent of the mind. And you don't smoke pot, right? You know, I don't. So I have with me young Pharaoh, young Pharaoh, and he is a YouTube. Got beat up on that couch by Barbados Slim from Futurama. <laughs> he said, "You don't smoke pot, right?" No, no, no. Ken, a self-proclaimed yeah, yeah, that teacher uh, uh, of spiritual uh, uh, spirituality. So I want to talk to Young Pharaoh about the Great White Hope, uh, God, uh, white uh, racism, uh, black uh, black crime, and yeah. black queens. Uh, Young Pharaoh, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Peace, peace, family. Thank you for having me on how I'm doing. How's the audio? How's that, Joe? <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Thank you. All right. How you doing? All is well. What does it mean, oh, young God. Pharaoh? Bro, you notice he ain't start doing this chin thing until he got his rings? Mm. Bro, yeah, how many times? How many times do you, that's how you know you're insecure. How many times do you have to show off the jewelry? I got three different chains that I wore throughout the YouTube streets. They all still perfect condition. I just don't wear them. I feel don't need to. You've already seen them. What am I showing you for again? Right. Like it's you said, no so I get robbed. Yeah, I yeah, that's a or, or, or get me a motherfucking murder charge. That part? He said he still look dirty. Man said, peace, peace, family. Well, the other, the, the two Remy Jones, I don't give a fuck. But the one with my family on it, oh yeah, you going you might have to take that off my cold, my cold dead body. Well, uh, I first landed upon uh, my name around the age of fourteen, fifteen, uh, doing some soul searching and, and digging deep mm -hmm. inside myself. So you know, he was M uh, Yeah, let me stop you right there. You lying? You was little feet. Little Kiki from uh, Gilbert Street. Then you was M Nasty. Then you was uh, Pharaoh Law. Then you was Young Pharaoh. And now you're, 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 you're General Otten. Yeah, That's so around 1415, he was M Nasty. Right. So we're, we're, these niggas be lying about their origin. I'm so trying to condense this little story. Um, I've always been fascinated with Egyptian culture. I remember, you know, even in middle school where we would read the history books. You know, I will always take my uh my my history book and go to the Egyptian section, and um I was always spiritually drawn. Nigga, how many history books have you seen in school that had more than a page and a half of the Egyptian section? It wasn't even a section. <clears throat> no, it was a chapter or two. You get a fucking book. I we got like a, a page and a half. Maybe, and it was mostly pictures. It was like one paragraph, <laughs> and it was mostly pictures. They didn't tell us shit, and the shit they did tell us, they made them seem like cocky, arrogant assholes. 
the slavery part, I refused to uh, participate. I got suspended. I refused to participate. Drawn to this specific hey, African civilization, even though there's oh, been many, this specific one has always spoke to me spiritually. So when I was yeah, right. they did, ago, did two pages. You know, it was at that mm-hmm. time where psychologically <clears throat> I chose to identify with myself it was a chapter, though. or trying but to come into what you would call feralhood. And I was young at the time, so I identified myself as young feral. So that label has been with me since then. How old are you? He's a motherfucking liar. You was a young feral until you was like 19. No. I'm 25 years old. Amazing. And so oh. is it true <laughs> you believe that white people are defective? Yes. I mean, uh, the, the, what the fuck did you name it? Jesse. Stop talking to Samson before you get Come on. What's up with you? Jesse guys? got his own problems. Yo, Samson got a huge clientele on YouTube, I'm telling you. They drug him out the closet? Oh, they did. Where yeah, somebody man. came out and so called exposed Jesse Lee. Oh, the, the, the white dude, right? I believe yeah. so. Ain't that what happened, y'all? I think I did. I was me to put it in the chat, wasn't it? Mm, could be, but that had been a while back. If mutated uh, germs. Okay, uh, I have to correct that. And the reason did I you say that? that? Did you say I that though? I want to I want to give my uh understanding completely. Okay, but first of all, because people say that people say things, a lot of times you haven't said it. Did you say that? I probably have said that. Did most, you did you most, say it? Most definitely. Let me let me uh give my understanding. When I first came into uh let's say consciousness, <sighs> I came in or not even consciousness. I've been conscious for some years now. When I first came into an organization of consciousness, I came through what you would call the 5% nation. So the 5% nation uses what you call the 120 lessons. Which and I think to call it consciousness is fucking stupid because to call it consciousness shows that you don't have a full concept of what consciousness is. Stay woke, brother. You're not asleep. You're conscious. You're not in a coma. You're conscious. Right. Say that. It was uh, when I first heard it, I was like, conscious. <clears throat> I thought we was all woke. Yeah, yeah. They adopted from the nation of Islam, which teaches that the white man is the devil, uh, you know, weak and wicked germ, the story of Yaqub and all of that. So due to me doing my own person. So you, that's another reason why you hate Muslims. You were what you were a Muslim. Because 5% of Muslims, right? Basically, that's what he just said. I'm not sure on that one. That's what he just said? Jaded. Then you wanted to make money off of Islam and brother Ben X and uh, uh, Rizzo wouldn't let you. You got a whole thing here. You got, you, got, you got reasons to have hatred against them and it ain't got nothing to do with the knowledge or the shit that you were putting out. You just naturally hated them for not doing what they wanted you to do, what you wanted to do. Personal research um me being a 25 year old adult now not an 18 19 year 19 year old 20 year old you know youthful adult do i believe that yakub or that story or you know white people being uh created from defective germs of black people and weak and wicked to be true at this current time no do i believe that only black people are true human beings and all non-black people on the planet earth are neanderthals yes Whoa! Yeah, the second part, okay. But the first part, you literally preached that to GG33. He doubled down. Well, he said he do believe that part. He no, but he said, first the he said no. But he literally <laughs> said that to GG33. Oh, okay. Proposition in regards to the earth were not recognized as true Islam in the Sunni and Shiite traditions, okay. Probably basically loosely rated nation of Islam origin story. Okay. And so speaking from a scientific point of view and a non hate yeah, point of best, view, yo. I believe hmm? I don't want to say believe, I know yeah, according yeah, to science best. that yeah. if you are not black, yeah, you are best. not a human being. You are only ninety three percent human being, seven percent <laughs> Neanderthal. And so I wanted to correct that because 
uh, the question that you asked me if I initially. And that's bullshit because it's only white and Asians that are that have Neanderthal and canine DNA. You said if you're not black, meaning all other races. So you took that and made up your own twist to it again. Initially just answered it, it sounded hateful. So at one point in my life, I may have been running and gunning in underneath that five percenter mentality. So that rhetoric, yes. So you, you if I'm hearing you correctly, you think that non black people are not humans. I uh, don't I don't think that. That was published in a 2011 edition of Microbiology and Evolution. It was also confirmed by multiple college professors that if you are not of descent of that mitochondrial Eve gene or... Uh, I bet you he won't name none of these college professors. You are not a descent of the African female gene pool. You are only 93% human being, 7% Neanderthal. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not a Muslim. Are you a Christian? No, I'm not. What are you? Do you believe in God? Not in a religious sense. I do believe that there's a higher octave of consciousness which organizes a uh, physical reality for us to experience. Yes, I do. And so, um, you, I don't know all what you said. Do you believe in God? Yes or no? He just told Not me. Not in the sense that, let me get Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, you showing your real fucking intelligence right there, bro. Yeah, you're not as smart as yeah, you think. Yeah, he wants him to answer yes or no. Yeah, he's trying to skirt around the question. No, he said he said not in a religious sense. Yeah, so he wants him to, you know, expand. On that. I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying he didn't understand it. He claims he's the smart. He he thinks he's the smartest black man alive too, sis. I don't fuck with Messy Jesse. Man, one of them. Did you ever see DC Young Fly interview with him? Oh, my. Mm-mm. Give you uh, my understanding. I, I don't know. I'm black and slow. Give me some understanding. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you believe in God? Yeah, no, you you intelligent. I just want to distinguish it from the religious point of view. Right, so I, give me yes or no and then distinguish. I want to say yes. My understanding of God is that God is the mind. So I don't believe that God is a man. I don't believe that God is a Jesus. And I also, you know, teach that the black woman is God due to black women being the first physical humanoid expressions of the creator on the planet. But just one level above that teaching that I stand on, when somebody asks me what is God, my reply to them is God is the highest extent of the mind, which uses elements and matter to express itself. So what I mean by that is this. You have one internet, you got billions of Instagram accounts, and each of these Instagram accounts are expressed through the individuality and and psychological states and markers of the controllers of those profiles. So you got one internet, you got infinite amount of computers. Your brain is your biological computer. Our mind is that one internet, it's that one consciousness. So me and let's say a bird or a plant, we all share that same frequency, that same mind, that same consciousness, but we interpret it different due to our brain structure and our genetic format. So when I say I believe in God, I believe that there's octaves of thought in the highest level of thought, or in this case, our subconscious mind is the creator, but we don't access that. Yeah, we don't access that on the same level because we have different genetic makeups. So So who did those studies you told me about earlier? Who did the studies? Which studies? about white people being, I mean, that blacks, anyone, non-blacks are not humans. Who type, did, in, type in on, uh, the fastest way you can pull it up right now, go to Google and just search, I believe it was June or July. Oh, Two thousand eleven edition of Microbiology and Evolution. Just type in all non Africans are Neanderthal. 
Microbiology <laughs> and Evolution, 2000, either June 2011 or July 2011. Do you love white people? Um, I don't hate anybody on the planet Earth, and I don't have a specific, you know, target on anybody. I'm just a true speaker. So if I talk about... Oh, man, that's a, that's crazy. He said he doesn't hate anybody. And doesn't have a, he doesn't specifically target people, y'all. How long ago was this? Uh, I don't know how long. About, you know, people selling drugs, I want to talk about black people. If I talk about systematic racism, I'm going to talk about white people. So I just don't, I don't pick and choose who I want to tell the truth about. I just don't think that, you know, white people or black people or Spanish people should try to inflate uh you know the yeah agenda, jesse don't play about that white I mean, man to, to try to inflate me having an agenda if the ball is specifically being passed in their court so i don't i don't hate anybody i just tell the truth if i see a dirty politician and he happens to be white i'm going to speak to that if i see an ignorant black person and he happens to be black i'm going to speak to that but so you 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 you, you speaking out against uh four wait before donald trump was wasn't the opposite of what the fuck did you see Yeah, that's that a lot of aging in four years. A whole lot of aging. He looked like his dad. Oh yeah. Uh strip seeds. We got pictures of his dad. Oh Lord. Was he actually in the military? No, but it's pictures of him with his dad. Okay. He's playing you guys a guitar. He played a guitar. They both did. Hold on. Mm. One. You see it? Mm-hmm. Rockhead. Oh, rockhead nigga. Mm. <laughs> look at his look at the picture of his solo picture of his dad though. Tell me this don't look like YP right now. <laughs> gotta be in his forties. Wait till y'all I'm gonna see mm. Gotta be in his forties too. I don't, I don't. Pick so let me shit. ask you this: Do you love white people? Um, I love everything. I don't. The reason I'm, I'm hesitant on answering that question because I don't know the angle you're asking me that question. So, so let me ask one more time. Do you love white people? I love all things. Yeah, How about people. white people? Do you love white people? White, white, I yeah. love all things. But uh, you, you say you're real smart up there in the head. Do you love white people? I love all things. How about the white? I'm, How about listen, white people? The reason I'm at, the reason I'm I'm answering that question is because the way I am, because I don't know what's your angle in asking me that question that way. Why does that have to be an angle to ask? if you love white people because you know before i come on here that i am um predominantly psychologically in favor of uplifting the black community so when you ask me a question like do i love white people that would be the equivalent of asking malcolm x does he love white people so the same way malcolm x stated he doesn't hate anybody and he's willing to interact with and work with anybody that's for the upliftment of and, and, and evolution of humanity that's the same way I feel yes so due no, to man. my stance and my Yeah, he always beating around the bush. Allegiance with uh black culture. I you can't just answer movie. a question like that blindly, not knowing your angle. So Amazing. You Do you love black people? I love all things. <laughs> How about black people? I love all things. I'm gonna answer that question the same way I answered that question. Ask me, do I love all people? Let me ask, what is a uh Neander? I ain't gonna lie, he ain't letting Jesse, uh, uh, Jesse set him up, <laughs> set him up like he did everybody else. Thaw, what is that? I love all people. For what that. what is a Neanderthal? Okay, a Neanderthal, right? When we speaking in context of, I have to say human beings, even though everybody is not considered a human being, considered <laughs> I mean, considering the science. Okay, a what Neanderthal. Science? 
humanoid specimen would be a humanoid entity which has branches of its DNA linked to canine and primate genes, a.k.a. dog and monkey genes. So let me give science here. Make, I make a long story short because this is, we don't have. Yeah, but that's your Asian people too there, buddy. You, you do know that. The Asians that he loves so much. History with the guys, AJ Phantom. You well, you can you, you can you can you can, you can keep your black royalty over there. You you your, your young feral black royal loving ass up in troll heaven. Troll heaven. Can we have a moment of silence? Up in troll heaven. Heaven. Everybody take your hats off. <laughs> you, you, you can love Pharaoh up in troll heaven, goofball. How about that? A Neanderthal is a human which has monkey DNA. <clears throat> and um, that's amazing to me. Is it true that you describe God? Well, anyway, um, how come you never mention your 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 your, your, your beloved Asian folks in their DNA? Because they are the only other person on this planet other than the Caucasian that has uh, uh, Neanderthal DNA. Hold on a second. Oh, let me ask you somebody. Uh, no, I don't. I'm on parole. You said what? I said I saw somebody put in the chat. It's funny how all these grifters end up on each other's shows. No, because they all hang together. Right. They set these up. They can look at each other and tell who down with the grip and shit. They slide them a little money to come on their podcast and they Gucci. Yep. He said, well, we are gathered here to send off another fuck nigga. <laughs> Troll heaven has received another true view. <laughs> it is pleased. <laughs> the waters carry you under the bridge of Troll heaven. Will you <laughs> thirst no more? <laughs> 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 you on parole? That's for any yes, of other goofballs that come in here with that bullshit. Straight to troll heaven. I'm not allowing it no more. What'd you do? I was allegedly charged with. I don't know. I know he's on Instagram. Oh, and so, but you don't smoke pot. No, I'm on parole. I don't oh, because anything. you're on parole, you cannot smoke right now. Well, I'm on parole. I fly a very straight wing. I had five. I did three and a half years in a prison, five years on post. I've done four years straight, no problems. And so once you're off parole, will you go back to smoking pot? Well, once I'm off. No problem. You told me. Uh, you told me what's the name of you on stabbing. Uh, you, you threatened Brother Islam allegedly. Did you? Hold on. You threatened Brother Islam. Hold on, we the jiggle. Let me see what the fuck he just put in here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Mr. Knowledge, funny shit. Look at the fluidity. Hey, Mr. Knowledge, when you put that clip up with the fluidity, you should have put my clip in there. Where I was like, is this the fluidity is he talking about? When he got knocked out. <laughs> Is this the fluidity you keep talking about? Oh shit, he put it on. Look problematic. <laughs> go in there and hit that nigga with us. I gotta go in there and hit that boy with the fucking look. Look at the fluidity. Look at my fluidity. Look at my fluidity. I gotta go in. I gotta go in there and hit that boy with the jiggle. Ooh, I gotta go in there and hit him with the jiggle. I gotta go with the jiggle. I ain't gonna lie, this is kind of fucking boring. I want something more exciting. Uh oh. Like this. Oh, the video. <clears throat> something more exciting like this. Because we didn't finish this the other night. Uh, 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 oh my God! Oh my. 
Uh, uh. <laughs> this nigga is faking his ass off. Who's in jail? Your mom about to come back. Can you please bring that Pepto Pepto Bismol? <laughs> yeah. Pepto Bismol. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. So yeah. when I got out, out of jail, this this bitch. The whole time I was in jail, was not doing shit I told her to do, which was to read, eat healthy, and work out. I get out of jail. I give her a shot. We break up. Be we break up because crash out be oh, We break up because she says she going to the, to the gym. But she was cheating on me with her ex named Mike around the corner. Hold on. No, I said to say this. I'm just telling you. His gun stance was on beat. Me and my son, mom was never in a relationship the entire time of us knowing each other. And the one time that I gave her a chance to be with me, she didn't want to be healthy. And then on top of that, you cheating, you cheating when you're saying you're going to the gym. I'm in the house thinking you're going to the gym and bitch you fucking your ex. Okay, so that's why we broke up. Hold on real quick. Mm-hmm. How's everybody doing? So my thing is this. No matter what she mad at me about, she really mad at herself. Because if you wanted to keep me, all I asked you to do was eat healthy and work out, which you refused to do. Because my baby mom used to be like 130, 140. I'm not even making fun of, fun of her. She used to be like 130, 140. Now she like 200 fucking 30 pounds. And I'm not it's making fun of her, but it's like. Shit. They got shit to do with shit. Can you bring me some water, please? Thank you very much, baby. I'm not making fun of her, but it's like, how you mad at me? Because you don't want to be healthy. And I'm talking to bitches that I'm attracted to. Bitch, I'm not attracted to you. You don't want to work out. Bro, you were, she was big when you met her. And she was the same size. Like, bro, you, 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 you literally told us that she was introduced to you as the chubby chick. So you are attracted to her, nigga. Enough to have a baby with her. You don't want to be in shape. You don't want to read. Get the fuck out of here. You don't want to eat healthy. Okay, so now my baby mom, this whole time that I've been doing, or doing what I do, do, This whole time, while I've been building this nation, I feel like he this bitch been running to the club. Why he build this nation, y'all? He's building a nation, y'all. Running to concerts, <laughs> got niggas selling drugs out of the car. My son in the car, bitch. Didn't, some nigga didn't crash the car. My son be in. My, 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 mind you, he's always in, in Texas. Always in Texas. She's always in all the way in New York, and he, he, he somehow. Knows all these things. Got niggas selling drugs out of the car. My son in the car. Bitch, didn't, some nigga didn't crash the car. My son be in. And this bitch is thirty something years old, still trying to run the streets. But she calling me a nerd or a white boy or an internet ass nigga. When clearly I'm not a white boy. You know I got white friends, but no disrespect. That white man know I go right at his ass. He know I go right at his ass too. Here first when he wrong. And so uh, how much time we got left? For our art. She mad at me 
change distance. Let's because she don't want to be healthy. She ain't want to be healthy. And she mad at me because, bitch, I know that I know this bitch is putting my son into danger because I didn't seen her do it with other people's sons. And there's been times I've been on the phone with, with niggas that's hustling. And this I hear this bitch in the back background pulling up. Why is you pulling up the trap houses with my son in the car? Two things wrong with that statement. One, if she was doing that before you had a baby, that's your fault for if she really was doing yeah, that, that's your fault to have a baby with her. Two, you said you don't fuck with or talk to nobody from Buffalo. <sighs> So who was you talking to that she was pulling up hustling? Now, according to you, you don't, you don't, you don't talk. You don't talk to nobody from Buffalo. Yeah, his skills is trash. Tyson Garcia, peace and welcome. Ikea, peace so my welcome. issue is, Tyson, why does this bitch think it's okay to run my son to the street, but I can't watch my own son? Now, here's the thing. Like I said, I don't know what the, <coughs> what the fuck. This goofy ass, goofy no, no, ass no, penguin no. body built ass bitch been doing with her sex life. I don't care, to be honest. I don't care. All I know is this: she must be a dyke or something, because every time I see this fat bitch, she trying to swing on me and fight. I have not yet whooped the ass. I'm telling the whole world now. This bitch ever. You, you have not whooped her ass? You didn't hit her with a bitch get, bitch, bitch, get off me? And try to call the nigga. We just played the video, nigga. Uh -huh. We just played the video of you describing whooping her ass. Ever swing on me again in her life? I'm going to break this bitch. I'm going to break this bitch nose and knock all her teeth out of her mouth. And so I said to say this, man. Every time I see my son, mom, this fat hoe try to spark it on me. This bitch 230 something pounds. I don't know if she. Every time you see her, she try to spark it on you. No, it was you both times. Just the second time, she had her family with you, family with her, and whooped your ass, and you still bitter. Uh, about it. Bitter. That's what it really is. You want to get your lick back. You thought you was just going to bully her in front of her family and nobody was going to do or say anything and they whooped your ass. Uh, I think because she weigh more, she could beat my ass or something. But this fat hoe keep trying to fight me. On my son's birthday, her and her friends jumped me because I asked to see my son. Now, here's the thing. She... <laughs> Bro, you're in a party. You know y'all going through a custody battle. And you know she, she's not supposed to give you him. And you try to get your son to ask that shit to, to create a problem. And it didn't hey, She wasn't having it. It doesn't matter how you slice it. You knew you wasn't supposed to ask that. You're in the middle of a mm -hmm. custody battle. You're not supposed to. Unless y'all got some type of court order, you're not supposed to even bring that up. Right. Says, but this is the uh, the best lawyer in the world, y'all. She keeps she keep breaking my shit, tearing my shit up, make, make and trying to hit me every time she see me. But then after she spark it on me, she try to run to the run to the run to the court system and and file a compl complaint and lie and say I'm 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 the one bothering her, when in reality I have n never put my hands on this fat bitch. That's two lying ass statements. Do you forget that you you record yourself calling these women, harassing them, and they keep telling you to leave them the fuck alone, and then they hang up on you. You pick the phone up and call them right back. You don't bother them. He bothers them consistently, consistently. on a damn near daily basis at times. Makes no sense. I've never swung on her. All the time she swung on me. I never hit her back because she was a girl. Okay. And that was your excuse for hitting him in the first place. You forgot about that? I played that video of you in your garage. 
and your excuses was all three of them swung on me first, so I beat yeah. their asses. That's what he said, word for word. She's lying, and now she's sitting here. Uh, uh, uh. She's lying, oh, and now she's sitting here. <laughs> Uh, that is so uh, nasty. Uh, 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 oh shit. Uh, and now she's sitting here trying to raise my son against me. Trying to convince my son to tell the courts that I beat on his mom in front of him you did she don't gotta convince him you were you were standing right there when you did it you forgot he was one of the kids that ran up to you asking for some juice and you flipped out on him mm -hmm. so i had court you need to convince him all the only thing she would eat the only thing she would have to do is say tell the truth about what you saw recently nothing happened then i went to court on the i was supposed to have court on the fourth but now magically it's pushed back to january <laughs> i'm like why do y'all motherfuckers no disrespect why these white people keep pushing my fucking court day back why is this all this unnecessary shit? why i just can't see my son all i want is to see my son i know if my heart is broke and i'm dying on the from the fucking inside out I know my son is going through the same thing. Every time my son called me and asked to come over, whenever she hear him ask to come over, she hang the phone up. So now it's like you, you. According to Camille, it's not him asking. It's you trying to get him to ask her. So she hangs mm -hmm. up the phone. According to Camille, it's you asking. And from what we've saw, seen on the phone, that's exactly what you do. He doesn't ask. You tell him to go ask his mom. Yeah, go ask your mom this. Go ask your mom that. Remember he told her to ask his mom some crazy mess, and that's when she hung the phone up? Right. Some mess about some people. And she was like, oh, that's enough. Now, how you magically push a court date back? If the shit, if, you know, maybe her lawyer did it. Or maybe the judge has some type of inconvenience. Right. And you forgot, didn't you 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 cussed the judge out, tell her that uh, she she human trafficking and they had to kick your dumb ass out the out the out the Yes, judge. that happened. <laughs> Programming him to be afraid to be to 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 ask to be with his dad. I, why you want my son to be afraid to ask? You know what I'm saying? To be to be with his father. Fuck all that. Why was you good the very next day? That's what we want to know. <sighs> if you were so you were dying of cardio cardiomyopathy in this video and you had four minor <laughs> strokes. Why were you fine the next day? I've never seen somebody have four strokes and they face hey. not true or be paralyzed yeah. in one of the body. I've never seen somebody have more than one stroke and it didn't fully affect their body. So you're the luckiest nigga on the planet. Uh, and so I haven't talked to my son since his birthday. Now, here's the thing. I drove 22 hours from Texas to Buffalo to see my son. When I get there, I ask him, like, yo, I want to take my son to visit the land in Costa Rica. She like, uh, he not going to Costa Rica. I'm like, I got 51 acres of land in Costa Rica. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you let him come visit that? He ain't going to Costa Rica. He ain't get no passport. I'm like, yo, why are you trying to ruin his experience? Why you, why you don't want to let him go to Costa Rica? I think she was trying to save him from a certain experience. I don't think she was trying to ruin it. I think she was trying to save him. Yeah. 
You think you're gonna be the, you're gonna be a different person because your kids is around, nigga? You 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 are mentally gone. You you said it out your own fucking mouth that if your kids grow up, to, your daughters grow up to be like their mom, you don't want nothing to do with it. And if your son wants revenge for what he, what you did to our mother, his mother, you'll off him. You he gets shot too. Did you not say that? See, so who craziness. Want, who would want to allow their kids to go with your crazy ass to Costa Rica? Nobody that I know. Exactly. They don't even want to let you have them in Texas. What the fuck make you think they even want to let you leave the country with? Them? So then I said, okay, let me get my son Seth, so I can up? ride him around in the, hey, in the vet. It's his birthday. Drop the top, ride him around Buffalo, Buffalo on the vet. This bitch talking about, I don't want to, I don't, you can't see him without me super, supervised. I'm see, like, I've never right. yelled at my son. I've never hit my son. My son love his dad. If that doesn't matter, bro. You're not in your right fucking mind. Are mentally impaired. You are mentally, what they call it, unfit. She feels as though you need a supervision, a supervisor. You and, and the thing about it, you couldn't even be around your your, your daughter for an hour when she start crying. You, you, you panic and call over duty. That's how that fight happens. You have not been around these kids in so long. Who knows if you even know what the fuck to do? What's your son's favorite food? What's his favorite cartoon? What does he like to do for fun? I bet you you can tell us that. And if you can't answer those questions, then yeah, you need to be supervised around them. If you bring my son in here right now, he gonna say, Dad, can I, can I stay with you? Every single time I talk to my kids, they ask to come to their dad, dad's house. If I call my daughters right now on this live, I swear to God. I know damn well your daughters ain't asking that, especially with that video of you uh, treating one better than the other. I know damn well your daughters don't want to be around you, especially after that phone conversation that I played the other day. They're going to be like, Daddy, can I go to Daddy's house? <laughs> Ask Violet, my, my baby say it every, every day. So it's like, you don't want to let my son shine. Like, why you don't want to let my son see him shining? What is that? So I'm like, okay, cool. So now, boom, she finally dropped him off. I chill with my son. We cool. Now, here's the thing. My son mom is pretty much committing a crime of robbery, what? kidnapping, extortion. You're what? kidnapping my son, and you telling me I can't see him unless I send you money. That's extortion. I don't go fuck with nobody say where'd the robbery come from now peep game boom you just you just you just named all three charges robbery kidnapping extortion how did she kidnap your son when she has sole custody of him as of right now uh how's he she extorting you when she went through the legal process to get money because you wouldn't give money to them unless they slept with you you tried it with Camille and she wouldn't go to the hotel. And you told him, I'm not giving you shit. Where's the robbery? You notice he's getting right over that? It's pretty much committing a crime of robbery, kidnapping, extortion. You're kidnapping my son and you're telling me I can't see him unless I send you money. That's extortion. I don't go fuck with nobody say. Now, peep game. Boom. I, she asked my son to, she asked me to buy my son an outfit for his birthday, which I was going to do anyway. And then I buy him and her some food. Cool. Now, when we get to my son's birthday party, right. no all her ghetto ass, ugly ass, ratchet, hood booger, piece of shit friends. You don't nobody never see their baby daddies. You know? Bro, but what does this story have to do with you, you, you having cardiomyopathy and four strokes? That's Nothing. How you just wanted somebody to pity you. You went about it the gangster way. You try to go off on her. 
that backfired, and now you're trying to get get some pity. Wait, let me fake like I'm, I'm I'm dying of a broken heart. They tell it that way. To see if I get see if I get anybody to donate. She won't <laughs> let me see my kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I love the babies. I ain't gonna talk about the babies, but fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. Well, I love the babies. I ain't gonna talk about the babies. Well, fuck them. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn. All of them br bring their kids, right? My son, mom, this fat oompa loompa ass oh. motherfucking tussy pop built ass bitch. This bitch ain't play with my son one time for his whole birthday. Only me and my blood sister, Annie. Play with my son. Me, only me and my blood sister. So what about the other 364 days a year? She, she don't play with him then? That's one day out of 365 years. I mean 65 days, I said years. What about the other 365 days of the year? Mm-hmm. And you sound stupid. Like she didn't play with him once. Maybe because she was busy organizing the fucking party herself. Because she had to do it herself. Sister played with all the kids. The fact My that she's going back 10 years, all the way up until this date, trying to like make her look like the worst mother possible, lets us know that you're full of shit. You just want somebody to go over there and harass that girl. Because you can't just say, you can't, it's not like the beginning where you would say one thing bad about them and then your whole fucking following will run over there and harass the shit out of them. It's not those times. So you got to throw yourself a pity party and make it look like you dying of cardiomyopathy because of a broken heart and had kind of strokes to try to get them to run over there like, he's over there dying. Here, let that man see his son. That didn't work neither. My my son, mom, this fat bitch, and the rest of her oompa loompa, oompa loompa body built ass friends, they ain't they didn't they didn't play with these kids the whole time. If I wouldn't have drove to Buffalo for my son's birthday, right. he would have been playing by himself for his birthday. So none of them playing with it. None of them playing with the kids, and the kids ain't playing with him. The whole family there, but ain't nobody playing with Lil right. High Room. Just him. Shut the fuck up, bro. You, you just sound like a nigga. Okay, so now here's the thing. This bitch ain't play with the kids. One time. One time. At the end of the at the end of the event, her her mother tried to ambush me. Now here's the thing. Her mother's supposed supposed to be a Christian. But you the one encouraging your daughter to be a grimy, grimy ass bitch. And I swear to God, I, I've been being respectful to her family the whole, whole time. When I, when I seen her family, I was respect, respectful. Now I'm on bullshit. I swear to God, I punched that bitch mom in her face. I swear to God, next time I come to Buffalo. I swear to God. And you went to Buffalo and then go look within five fucking feet of that house. You wouldn't even go on the same block as that goddamn house. You went there and didn't even go nowhere near that house. Not even to see your kids. Because you knew Andre was waiting for you. You knew Andre was waiting for you. You going to bust a cap in your ass. Now listen. At the end of the night, white lady come up and she asked for the bill <laughs> now they try to surround me and put me on the spot it's her her, her fake christian evil ass mother all her friends <laughs> and the kids and her and her mother no all right black pop oh shit, i forgot about that
Peace, peace, family. It's the General Froze. Welcome to another Fire for Fire for live stream. I just want to say y'all niggas can suck my fucking dick. You're not coming with me. Fuck y'all niggas, bitch. I'm retired. All y'all niggas can stay over here. Suck my fucking dick. Now, with that being said, I just made a new YouTube channel. Uh, Y'all mean go subscribe live and it just is what it is. Like I said, y'all niggas can suck my fucking dick. You're not coming with me, niggas. Suck my fucking dick. But with that being said, I just want to say that one more time. Suck my fucking dick. But, um, hold up. Hold up. Smoke with y'all. Let me fix this goddamn title. See, because I ain't going to hold y'all up. I ain't going to hold y'all up. I'm not. He said he'd rather deal with them hip. I ain't going to hold y'all up. I'm not. So, we getting ready to do the news. I don't know what to tell y'all. Click the link in my bio. My new YouTube channel is right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Young Pharaoh Inc. is my new YouTube name. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. Y'all not coming to the chip. Y'all not coming to the chip. No disrespect. Ain't shit that remind me of Chicago coming to the chip. Ain't shit that remind me of shit that I don't like coming to the chip. It starts with the Yakuza. I'm done with y'all niggas. Fuck y'all niggas. I got diplomatic and... Bro, that's 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 evidence right there that that nigga is a fucking grifter. You went from uh five percent of to Kemet to Buddha, no to Aten to Buddha, and now 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 you're with the Yakuza. That's not that's not literal evidence of grifting and just doing whatever. Whatever, whatever sounds cool to him. And you can't just be like, oh, the Yakuza. I'm with the Yakuza and have never spoken to a fucking Yakuza member ever. You In his just, life. Yeah, you can't just jump in somebody's fucking organization and, and be like, I'm with this person. You can't go on a, blood, a corner four of blocks and be like, yo, what's up, blood? I'm with y'all, blood. Community, bitch. Call yourself Farrell Brim. And I'm going to Japan, bitch. And I don't want no America. Like I said, get the fuck out of here. If you don't remind me of Madison Cali, get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Straight up. Leave that girl alone. Get the fuck out of here. Watch. Damn. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get a plate. Let me go get a plate, but you can get the fuck out of here. Hold on. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Period. Y'all niggas can get the fuck out of here. Suck my fucking dick. 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 Period. And if you a racist ass white motherfucker, I'ma call you a cracker. And if you a bitch ass nigga, I'ma call you a nigger. And when that's just what the fuck it is, suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. Period. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. Yeah, it's me all in that sandwich. That look like a chicken burrito. Buffalo chicken burrito with that. Period. Kali cool, but like I said, I ain't... Kali, I'm around, right? But he ain't doing our nigga. He ain't joining me. And they ain't coming over here with me. Bro, at this point... Nobody wants to come over there. I don't know why you keep saying that. Oh, like, he can't join. And this person can't join. I'm not taking this person with you. Has anybody even asked you? Has anybody? Like I said, I'm going to throw some money down there to certain parts. But like I said... That nigga ain't coming over here with me. I don't know that nigga like that. Like I said, that nigga ain't coming over here with me. I throw some money down there, but like I said, y'all can suck my fucking dick. 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 Y'all ain't getting shit. Fuck y'all. Period. That's how, that's what it is. That's what it is. And I mean every goddamn word of it.
I mean, every goddamn word of it. Suck my fucking dick. Period. Suck my fucking dick. Period. Suck my fucking dick. Goddamn, I lost count. Suck my fucking dick. Period. I lost count. Was anybody counting that shit? The, the SMDs? Anybody count how many SMDs you threw out there? I lost count of like 20. Yeah, he's on Instagram. I answered you that earlier when you said that, uh, Ty Boogie. He's still on Instagram. Suck my fucking dick. Y'all ain't getting shit. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. Shit, 400 times. Hold on, y'all. Damn. Hold on. Peace, beast family. It's the damn. Hold up. Camera looking crazy. I'm just we just get ready to do the news. Hold up. There we go. Hold up. He's about to do the news. Peace, peace, family. It's the General Froze. Welcome to another powerful, powerful live stream. I'm live on Twitch, and I did make a new YouTube channel. It's Young Feral Inc. As always, the link is in the description. Um, I'll be able to go live on there by tomorrow. Go subscribe now, and I just want to remind everybody, suck my fucking dick. Y'all niggas ain't getting shit, bitch. I'm retired. I'm going with Japan. I'm with the Yakuza. Suck my fucking dick. I'm not giving y'all niggas shit. I'm retired. I'm with Japan. I'm with the Yakuza. Japan is looking like, who that, who's this nigga? I don't know this nigga. Who's this nigga? Oh, we got, uh, where we at? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Huh? Got 30 minutes left. And I'm building a raw ass strip club and goddamn... Uh, Costa Rica, and if you need some money, you might get it from your bitch. And with that being said, fuck y'all oh, niggas, suck my fucking dick. Period. And if you a racist ass white person, I'ma call you the C word. And if you a bitch ass nigga, I'ma call you the N word. And with that being said, suck my fucking dick. And fuck Chicago too, suck my fucking dick. Period. And ain't shit coming over there to go. No, he ain't say a cougar. He's Carl for president. <laughs> he said, I'm with the Yakuza's. That you know that. The big gang over there that a slice his fucking head off just for simply saying that. Costa Rica, that remind me of this motherfucker. Suck my fucking dick. Fuck y'all mm -hmm. niggas. Out of gang. Mm-hmm. Period. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. Period. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my fucking dick. Carl, peace and welcome. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick. Fuck you. Suck my fucking dick. Oh, they, they, this the reason why they took his, uh, his, uh, Oh, that was for, uh, TikTok. for TikTok. He said, hey, quiet. Period. Suck my fucking dick. Video game. What's up, beautiful? Mike Morgan. Suck my fucking dick. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick. Bro. And I'm only right. giving money to the wow. white side of the military. How about that? Don't want to play games? Let's wow. Y'all heard what he said? Mm hmm. The white side of the military. He said white collar. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick. And I'm only giving money he to said the white, the white side. Military. How about that? Don't want to play games? Let's go. Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. Period. Right, seven oh two. Suck my motherfucking dick. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Period. Suck my motherfucking <laughs> dick. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my fucking dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yo, that nigga got me fucked up. Yeah, I was. I was up late last night. I'm back here now, bro. You tuned in, so it is what it is. No, you're not going to the chip. Who the fuck is we? You ain't coming to shit. That nigga like, suck my fucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. Man, suck my motherfucking dick, man.
Like, he cussing out his own. Why are you there? I don't understand his followers. <laughs> I, I really Just don't get his followers. Yeah, I really don't get his followers. Maybe he's like, supporting the wrong people. Yeah. Support him all the way to the grave. He said, go to my YouTube page, support him. Y'all can ask them again. Who's going to get you? Right. Y'all niggas ain't coming to shit. Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my fucking dick, bitch. <laughs> Yo, that nigga got me fucking. My wife keep walking by. She thought I was rewinding it. <laughs> she said, "Why you keep rewinding the same part?" I'm, I'm not rewinding this shit. This is him repeating it. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was up late last night. I'm back here now, bro. You tuned in, so it is what it is. No, you're not going to the chip. Who the fuck is we? You ain't coming to shit. That nigga like suck my fucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. Man, suck my motherfucking dick. Man, y'all niggas ain't coming to shit. Y'all niggas can watch me ball. Y'all niggas can. Let me see who the fuck this is. Yo, who is this? Keep calling my phone. Goodbye. Get the fuck off my phone, man. Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. Exactly. Who the fuck is we? Nigga, suck my fucking dick, nigga. Why do you keep telling a bunch of men to... to, to SMD, bro. Invite me into your crotch area. Just yeah, why are you, why are you, why are you inviting men to your wang, my nigga? Even if I'm trying to disrespect a motherfucker, I'm not. I'm the, the, the inviting a man to your your, your your penis is not a disrespect. It's, it's a, it is a disrespect to them because it's it, an invitation. Yeah, it's a it, it more a, yeah an invitation. You ain't coming to shit. Y'all niggas ain't coming to shit. Nigga, Floyd Mayweather couldn't get your ass. Bitch, you ain't coming to shit. Suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. Suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. You ain't getting shit. Like I said, y'all niggas ain't getting shit. Fuck y'all niggas. Suck my motherfucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. You ain't getting shit. Y'all niggas ain't getting shit. Y'all ain't getting shit. Suck my motherfucking dick. You sure? Carl said, Carl for president, suck my motherfucking dick. I'll be waiting on the boats. <laughs> that was a good one, Carl. I can't with y'all. First day over here. All, all right. Suck my motherfucking dick, bitch. He said because he wants a lady with a clean wife. It's being big Korea. It's yeah. being little, they call me little Kim Jong Un. Suck my motherfucking dick. They Here. call me little Kim Jong Un, nigga. Why? That's yes. extremely zesty right there too. Why are you calling yourself a little version of somebody who ain't your father? That part. I ain't even part. like what people call me, little Reese. That's my father's name. I ain't even like that shit. Don't call me that, motherfucker. We cut from a different cloth. Yeah, that's my pop, but we cut from a whole different type of cloth. I'm cut from a cloth. He cut from bounty. We can pick up. He said, you on this Mike Jones shit. He said, I obviously know uh, Dick Yucks is being given on a consistent basis in our, our nation. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick. Period. Suck my motherfucking dick. Period. I'm not giving y'all niggas a goddamn thing. We Period. ain't asking you. I ain't giving y'all niggas a goddamn thing. Suck my fucking dick. Suck my motherfucking dick. What oh, I wait, let me do it for him. Let me give him the satisfaction real quick, sis. No, wait, Farrell. Don't go. We need you. We huh? need you. Can we have some money, please? Look out for the hood, Farrell. Don't go to Costa Rica. We need you over here. Did that feel better, Farrell? You feel better about yourself now? <laughs> That's what he want though. No, Mr. White Boy, please don't go. No, Farrell, don't leave us. 
would take that clip and be like, see, they've been calling me a white boy. <laughs> he said, YP is the last of the real ones. <laughs> I do with my goddamn joint home because I might take calls. I might let y'all call in. I ain't gonna lie to you. I might let y'all call in. I ain't gonna lie to you. I might let y'all call in and fuck Chicago. Matter of fact, that's the title of this shit right here. That's gonna be my live stream tomorrow. What the fuck is that? This shit right here. And fuck Chicago. Matter of fact, that's the title of this shit right here. That's a fucking sporadic smoker jaw. That was an automatic smoker joke. <laughs> Hold on. And fuck Chicago. Shit, man, matter of fact, that's the title of this shit right here. That's gonna be that nigga call a lockjaw for a second. I might let y'all call in. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I might let y'all call in. And fuck Chicago. Shit, man, matter of fact, that's the title of this shit right here. Yeah, Chicago. That's gonna be my live stream tomorrow. Why are why are why are the men in Chicago gay? <laughs> Look, Shadow Here jumped back in the chat for that one. Hell no. <laughs> ah, he even got Shadow back out the woodworks. You <laughs> saw that, Shadow? That was a, a sporadic smoker jaw. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, might, I ain't gonna lie to you. Twinkle, I might twinkle. let y'all call in. Twinkle, twinkle. I ain't gonna lie to you. I might let y'all call in. And fuck Chicago. Matter of fact, that's the title of this shit right here. That's gonna be my live stream tomorrow. It heavy you gotta smoke. Do you gotta do it with a stutter. Hold on. Man, matter of fact, that's the title of this shit right here. That's gonna be my live stream tomorrow. I ain't with you. Why are why are why are the men in Chicago gay? Period. Why the fuck is y'all niggas gay? Why the fuck is gay things always on your mind? Yeah. Why the fuck is y'all? Why do you want to even know why they get? That's that one thing I never question. Why? Why are you gay? <laughs> I, I, I don't give a fuck why you gay. Don't care at all. Why do you care what niggas is doing in their bedrooms? Why niggas gay? Oh, this when he was talking about they were spitting in booty holes. And it's like, what is that for you to know? Why the fuck is Chicago men gay? Question mark. Oh, yo, mama, I can sister too. Y'all some fucking faggots. Oh, Suck my fucking dick. <laughs> well, you need a love a man to take over. Oh, girl. Don't look any further. Mm. Nigga, suck my hey, fucking dick. Real. Period. Suck my fucking dick. Y'all niggas ain't getting yeah. shit. But anyway, it is what it is. It's up, bitch. I'm about to watch. He been mad at Chicago ever since Knee Slap came up here and asked him new questions. Nice. <laughs> Four piece spicy, miss it. This need just said a four piece spicy. Oh my god. Wow. Yo, when I build my news network in Costa Rica, bitch. The shit that's gonna come out of my motherfucking mouth, bitch, you would never. Like I said, the shit that come my mouth get my mouth get nasty. Peace, peace, family. This video right here is titled "Power of Thoughts." This video right here is in direct correspondence to one of the previous videos I made, titled "Global Rulership and Frequency Manipulation." Now, assuming that you watched that video, then you you'll know. And I'm making an auto correction on myself. Uh, now, alpha state of the brain is from. 8 megahertz to 13 megahertz in a beta state of the brain, which is the worst state of the brain, is from. Young Pharaoh talked about black people. Be desecrated, degraded, and destroyed at this very day because instead of becoming active, okay, in a preservation of african historical sites and monuments they rather just keep doing this all day and so i need five more dollars to take this money off <laughs> just so i can get my loud pack you got me y'all keep sending me uneven numbers and the charges i 
can't take it off all the way. Who got me on that? Five dollars. You need five dollars. <laughs> At what point in time? Right? Has need, there, and because I'm coming by. I need, need two dollars to make it even, and the three dollars for the uh, the charge to take it off off the card. Hi, um, everybody. And I'm speaking on your cash back. Then I have to buy something. I only have it was if I it would be exactly if enough. you buy something for a dollar, it's less than three dollars. It's a dollar away from my house. Pay. It's just I got exactly enough. It all depends. Is the grocery store closer to the ATM? No. Nope. Why do I hear an alarm going off? It was my. I keep getting oh, okay. Sure. Who got me? My observation. At what point in time was the older generations oh, wait. going to come together? Wait, is this mine? What? Hold on. What's the name of this on the chat? This is a link to my video. Oh, 47 minutes. You said that's my loud pack alarm. Uh, right. <laughs> so who got me on my who got me on their five dollars? Motherfuckers. I might come back. You never heard of this from me before. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell him again the same way I told you before. Richard, I don't fuck if Richard was sitting right here, I would say, Richard, why did I tell you I don't fuck with you like that? Because you a thief and you be doing gay shit. No, it's and not that. It's, it's the fact that I got to take it off. And they, they charge you. Yeah, the ATM charge. You know, cash app. You don't have yeah. another card you can link to your cash app and send it to that like a bank card? That's what I usually do. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Mandy. I got it. So... Like I said, I ain't never seen Richard Booty Hole. I guarantee you, Richard Booty Hole like blew out if somebody look at it, cause you gay. What? I bet you might. Now that's how you got this. Is that me? Oh yeah, it is me. I was gonna say, what the fuck? <laughs> that's how you, know you got it. Man's an it. It's my guy. It's my nigga right there. Pause. Hi, Nate. Bro, bro, come on out that closet. <laughs> come on, bro. Come he, on, he, that to, he just fell out that motherfucker. Yeah, fell off the hinges. You slipped, fell, bumped your head on the way out, bro. <laughs> Too <laughs> old. Yo, wait, wait, Jersey. We just gonna let them do it. <laughs> we just gonna let them do it. We just gonna let no. the us in the past do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't do my bike. Uh, I'm playing. Bro, bro, come on out that closet. Come on, bro. bro. He, Come he on, that to, head. he just fell out that motherfucker. Yeah, Don't you fell off the hinges. You slipped, fell, bumped your head on the way out, bro. <laughs> Two walls missing Whoa. from the closet. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, right, Shawana. Whoa, you said what's the cash at? His is that, the of, is that the top of the chat? I'll put it in there. I would just put it in the chat. But it is. You know, um, you can put the QR code up. That's for after the live. But you can um put the QR code up so it's on the screen. So all they have to do is scan it and it'll shoot, shoot them straight to cash out. Oh, shit. You got, yeah, you show me how to do that. But I just put it in. Who said that? Uh, um, Head spinners. Head spinner 67. I just put it in the mm -hmm. chat. Booty hole. First, she was talking about. Whoa. Whoa, bro. Out that motherfucker. Yeah, you, fell off the hinges. you slipped, fell, bumped your head on the way out, bro. <laughs> Two walls missing Whoa. from the closet. 
Gypsies, that has to be a shirt. What? That gotta be a shirt. Two walls missing from the closet. <laughs> we gotta do something with that. And get your monkey ass out the ball. We got so many fucking slogans over here. Yeah, and we got somebody that can shoot them joints out fast and expeditiously. Right. Right. Just patience, Both brother. Right. Patience. Yeah, yeah. And you got shit. good news today? Who? You. Who else up here? Oh, 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 with the uh, the phone call? Mm. Uh, yeah, the process is, is just starting. They just sent me, he just sent me their uh, reply. And I'm going to go over it and then hit her back. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah, right, Shawana. Whoa. <laughs> His booty hole. First, she was talking about spitting booty holes. Wait, when booty? Did say that well, booty? never see you engage it, and then you'd be lying. So, like I said, I ain't never seen Richard booty hole. I guarantee you, Richard booty. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. So it's not like Richard never heard this from me before. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell him again the same way I told you before. Richard, I don't fuck. If Richard was sitting right here, I would say, Richard, why did I tell you I don't fuck with you back then? Because you a thief and you be doing gay shit. <laughs> and then you be lying. So, like I said, I ain't never seen Richard Booty Hole. I guarantee you Richard Booty Hole look like it's blue out if somebody look at it. Because you gay. What? I bet you mine ain't. Oh god. Bro. Come <laughs> on oh, out of that closet. Come on, bro. bro. He, Come he on up that head. He just fell out that motherfucker. Yeah, fell he off the hinges. He slipped, fell, bumped your head on the way out, bro. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> Two walls missing Whoa. from the closet. <laughs> Whoa. You're yeah, right, Shawana. Whoa. His booty hole. First, he was talking about spitting his booty said. holes. See? I told you. He, he said. I ain't never looked at Richard's booty hole, but I can guarantee you mm. his booty hole blue eye. <laughs> That's what he said. Wait a I thought he said blue. He said, "I bet you mine ain't." Yeah, cause you the one. And then he said, "I bet up. you mine ain't." Yeah. Hold on. No, 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 bro, bro. <laughs> you both on the press. I didn't know that you set me up that gun, so I wasn't fighting for you. Yeah. Uh, right or wrong? Okay, because at the time when you set me up for the gun, we didn't have beef. I just wasn't fucking with you because of the shit I seen you doing in the street. The same shit I'm saying right now in front of your face. Why did y'all tell me it was that? So it's not like Richard never heard this from me before. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell him again the same way I told you before. Richard, I don't fuck. If Richard was sitting right here, I would say, Richard, why did I tell you I don't fuck with you back then? Because you a thief and you be doing gay shit, <laughs> and then you be lying. So you got like that. I said, on a girl. I, uh, 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 remember when I said that his sweet his reasons for not fucking with Richard always change. Yeah, that's one of them. That's one of the changes right there. Is that me? I go in that. I don't think it's me this no, time. I think it's the video. I, video. I never seen Richard. Could booty be. Hole. I guarantee you, Richard booty hole look like it blew out of somebody. Look at it. Cause you yeah. I bet you mine ain't. Hey. So I said to say this. I'm like, I don't fuck with you, nigga. You I bet you. Hey. So I said this. Just why? Oh, it's the video. I don't, yo. Mm -hmm. I really. He really said that. I'm trying oh, to write shit made right. my brain skip a beat. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> did. Fuck that. Fucked me up all the way, <laughs> bro. What the. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would his booty hole man? And how I you know his booty hole blue? I don't even want to talk about it because it's gonna make me feel like he, I'm him. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, but, bro, I was just about to give me something to eat. I don't even want. I mean, we, do, we need to say something. To let, let's listen to him say something else dumb <laughs> to clear that out my mind. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, Daryl. He said, I bet you his booty hole. Something about his booty hole. Oh, no, say somebody come go rest. Come here to go rest. I don't give a fuck what the context is. He said something about another man booty hole. That's 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 enough. That's he enough. Said, right I I can guarantee you 
his booty hole blew out. He didn't just say his right. blue. He gave reassurances that he could give you cooperating evidence that Richard booty hole was blown out. And we all know that's a damn lie. All oh, know that's a lie. You don't see nothing. But I go to Richard, your Instagram. Bitties, bitties, bitties everywhere. Mm. He said, I bet you his booty hole blew out. Richard even Whoa. laughed at this shit. Oh. He said, this is, and you be doing weird shit. Like I said, I ain't never seen Richard make hit no kids, but I be like I said, I caught him making a weird face one time at a little girl when her when her parent wasn't looking. And I said, what the fuck you doing that? He said, you caught know. him doing all types of shit, bro. Hold on, wait a minute. Listen Richard to that again. All types of shit. No, listen to the part right before he said he was looking at a child. And yes, that right. was your mic at the time. So, like I said, yeah, I ain't never seen Richard booty hole. I guarantee yeah. you, Richard booty hole look like it's blue out of somebody. Look at it. You get it. I bet you mine ain't. So I said to say this. I'm like, I don't fuck with you, nigga. You get wait, wait, so wait, you and Rich are supposed to do a lineup, bend over in a squat, and people are supposed to examine y'all for me. <laughs> to I prove mean, I am not far too for afraid of him. I never I ain't volunteering for shit. Nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you hey, imagine? You weird as hell. No, I no, need you to do no something for me. Why? What's up? I need you to come over here and judge this booty hole contest. See which one blew out more. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Pause. Hold the boat. What the fuck you just said to me, nigga? I want to fight now. Them fighting words. These niggas get shot for less. Oh, and so I said to say this. And you be doing weird shit. Like I said, I ain't never what seen you just said like, so kids, like, Wait, like, wait. I call, that's the part I wanted to hear. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Man, ain't no problem. Hold on. I ain't trying to go back to the booty hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen, though. She said, I ain't trying to go back to the booty hole. I bet you. <laughs> so I don't want to hear this shit no more. You might make it sexy, really? So I said to say this. I'm like, I don't fuck with you, nigga. You get me. You weird as hell. And so I said to say this. And you be doing weird shit. Like I said, I ain't never seen Richard. Okay. So I mean, like I said, I called him. I ain't never seen Richard hit make no kids. Mm. Huh? No, I, said it said. Said. I thought he said. I thought he said the R word. It could have been the R word. He said I never seen. That's why he said I seen him make a face. He was trying to say the R word. He said the R word. Oh Jesus! Just somebody that sit up and think about problematic shit all day. Making a weird face one time yeah, at a little crazy. girl when her when her parent wasn't looking, Fine. and I said, "Why the fuck you doing that?" He said, "I'm just playing," but he started playing like he was a clown. Yeah, he started like playing like he was a clown. I'm like, "Why the fuck is you playing with that little girl like you a like you a weird ass clown? Who play like that? You know, that shit was just like I said, it was weird. Like I said, I'm not gonna lie to him, even though I hate this man's guts. I'm not gonna still ain't gonna lie on him. But like I said, I, I got a list of what reasons why the fuck yeah, I got away from Richard. That, that you're day. definitely lying on it. And then, dude. like I said, he no. started complaining about so me being in the house with my kids. But I'm like, nigga, what kind of man? So let me get this straight. Richard is a murderer, a robber. He's gay. Um, and he's a prevert. He's a pre. He's a he's a prevert. Uh, but hold on, if Richard is homosexual. Why he worried about Pharaoh being in the house with one? I don't know. But and, and and if he is homosexual, why would he be making faces at a little girl? Right. They said it's echoing. Is it? I I, I don't know because I ain't I'm on here. It could be echoing though. Cause I got hit. I got hit. So now, hold on. So real is it TV? echoing? Let, let, me let us know. Refresh. Hold on, I'm gonna refresh stream y'all. Hey, he said Richard is a super villain. <laughs> oh, he said he said it's not echoing no more. He said it's not echoing no more. Like we both got on here. I don't got headsets on. I'm on my phone. Uh, okay. 
This shit is, he said, Richard is a super villain. Facts. What the right. fuck? Richard is the Joker. Shit. The night of the game. Oh, it's his cousin. What I mean? So he's supposed to stop being around his cousin because he's gay. Come on, oh, man. Wait a second. He just said that Richard got mad because he was staying over at his girl house. So it turned from his girl to his gay cousin. Nigga really said what? what yeah, that's, that, that, that's another thing I'm saying. Is he gay? Oh, is, really he, is, he, does, is he jealous of you getting girls? Is he gay? No, which is it, nigga? You flip flopping. You're, you're, you're so busy trying to, to uh, demonize this man. You make look like the worst person in the world that you're you're flip flopping on. You can go ahead and play. Like I said, he started complaining about me being in the house with my people. Oh, yeah. This like, what kind of Rico uh, from Belly. This is an old uh, John. She don't got, she don't like that. Trip, you say something. Oh, I'm right here. See, she don't echo no more. <laughs> she said she got to get off that headset. <laughs> yeah, she know. But you spend the night at the gate. You don't spend the night like bit. At least I'm always in the bitch house. It's, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. Well, somebody said, right. Exactly. Like I said, but long story short, I'm like, yo. Then what was I saying before this? Tell me, tell me get my train of thought. She's scared to talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, when DJ from the belt. All right, y'all. Allegedly. That's why I'm going to stop this at. Okay. I got to go get my loud pack. Um, if y'all want me to come back for an extra time, uh, y'all know what to do. While I'm out, if I come back from the joint and I see that, you know, people got extra time, I will come back. But other than that, I'm getting me some Gucci tonight. Uh. <laughs> you heard me. I thought I ain't think nobody yeah, was there. Bro. <laughs> I hate right. you. Right. <laughs> Shout out to the chat. Shout out to everybody that stopped by. Especially the people that uh supported the channel. Uh like I said, every live stream is y'all who make these lives lit. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure it's on all so you can be alerted and notified whenever I drop this heat. It's your boy, the one and only, Brenda's baby, here with my sis. Trip C's Treehouse, where it's always swinging. You was just tuned in to Rem TV. We see y'all when we see y'all. Until then, peace. peace. Get out of that, your mother.